Ladies and gentlemen and everybody, welcome on in to the what is this uh lower two, lower one round two race for uh the Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu speedrun tournament. Uh, I'm joined here this evening with G Shark 54 and Phoenix Melior. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing good, doing good. I'm doing good. I'm looking forward to this. This should be a good race. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this too. Oh, sorry, been... sorry to cut you off there. <laughs> no, you're good. This is uh I mean we've seen most of the uh second uh like mostly just set, uh first or top bracket races so far. So we've seen only really one bottom bracket race and I'm interested in seeing more of those because it looks like there's a kind of bigger kind of how how do you say it? Like there's just a like a larger range of skill level at the in the lower bracket and also just kind of You'll see like a bit more inconsistencies, but it like it does make for a more interesting race because you kind of don't really know what is exactly going to happen. For sure, and it really will vary depending on how much time all these runners have had to practice since their previous races. Uh, just like you saw the PBs on screen, that could mean nothing. One of them could have had a lot of time to grind it out. So we have no idea what this is going to look like, and I think it'll be a really good race. Yeah, and we're looking forward to these. Yeah, it looks yeah. like we're getting getting going here. Um... So let's see. It looks like we've got Zion's having some some tech issues with his uh, screen here. It looks like. I'm hoping. Hopefully, we'll get those sorted out. I think he said right before that OBS decided to crash on him. So a little bit of patience oh, as we get started. But yeah, and it looks like Vermillion's the only one who. Yeah, it looks like you know, has, it has a working stream actually. Well, oh, there we oh, go. Okay, we got no. bar. We got bar. Kind of. Oh. There's a happy Pikachu on the screen. That's yeah, always good to we, see. Yeah. What, what else do you really need in life? Let's be honest. Ping, Ping Par is the only one of these runners that is going to be running Pikachu right now. Um, the other two will be running Eevee. Uh, I'm. So people are saying maybe restart. We're going to let Leggy try and figure out the the tech issues as they happen. Yeah, I'm not sure what the plan is here because this is it looks like even even aside from Zeon, like only only one of the racers has a fully functioning stream. So... Yeah. Bear with us, folks. Thank you for your patience. Yes. I hope all the racers haven't, like, completely disconnected and are paying attention so they can be told if we're going to restart or not. I'm looking for the for the tech yeah. chat. But anyway, so first part of the run, people are just going to be looking to see if their starters are runnable. Um, I don't know if any of these runners actually have backups ready to go. But they're welcome to have one, uh, a neutral Eevee or Pika waiting in the wings um, if they get into the game and realize that their nature is unrunnable. Okay. Okay. Kinkar at least is looking at the TV here. So we, we have seen that he is girl number one. Yeah, this is important. We have a girl one and a boy one. Uh, we like diversity here, so hopefully Zeon has also picked something a little bit fun. All right, okay, King Far, it looks like his stream is working now. That's um, good. Okay, two for three. Yeah. That's better than it was a few, like, a few seconds ago. It's, pro it's called progress. Exactly. I, progress. I know, girl, girl three supremacy, Iron. I agree. <laughs> girl three is canon. So, you know, it's not even canon. supreme, it's just correct. Uh, we're going to see here in a moment whether uh, King Par will be able to see if he's got a uh, neutral or non-neutral Pika to begin with, because the CP for Pikachu is going to be slightly different for the uh, non-neutral natures versus the neutral natures, whereas the EVs, there's no way of knowing until after you, uh, after you get the EV and start uh, check the stats there in the lab. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. That was discovered very recently, I think. Um, or at least I think I only saw Echi pointing it out right before the tournament started. Also, I see that King Par has named themselves P. I appreciate that. Shout out to Echi's uh, channel point reward. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of, too. P. <laughs> you know, the Gigantamax Pikachu's call. P. Oh, that's 26 CP, so this Pika is not neutral. 
Okay, so you can only tell if it's neutral versus not neutral. You can't tell if it's actually, like, yeah. good bitch. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. So we'll have to find out what the plus and the minus is. So we know that this could be runnable or it could not be runnable, which is not helpful. So uh, I don't think Pika tends to check until they get to, um, what is it, the Caterpie Trainer? No, the Rattata Trainer. Um, the Rattata Trainer is when they would find out because uh, yes. Pikachu and Eevee is a one point experience difference on the uh, reward experience for KOing your rival. Uh, so Pikachu will be able to find out its stats one fight earlier. Um, to my understanding, I apologize, I'm, I'm not a Pikachu runner, but to my understanding, Pikachu is uh, runnable for every nature, really outside of the minus attack natures. There's been strats for, I think, I think, yeah, I think everything but minus attack. Um, we'll see if King Par decides to um, look and maybe take a backup if, if they have one prepared. So we'll see. Yeah, the, and Eevee, on the other hand, what, th like, basically half the nature is pretty unrunnable. Minus attack, pretty minus, close. Uh, minus it's... speed, and minus special attack are all very bad. All around. Yes. Yeah, it's, well. it, it's minus. It, it's about a 52% chance to get a runnable Eevee. Um, so almost a coin flip. Uh, to get a, uh, a runnable nature Eevee. Um, there are some natures that are a little bit more runnable than others. Anything minus attack or minus special attack. You know, in this in this bracket, we might see somebody try and run that. Um, typically, you know, uh, more advanced runners would tend to avoid those as well. But uh, minus speed for Eevee can be ran. There's just a couple of a couple of fights that might make it a little bit uh, a little bit scarier in certain points, particularly rival three and rival four. Yeah, yeah, and it... you just there's things that you can do to kind of be aware of that you just know okay i am a bit slower i have to play this a little bit differently and that's what really comes uh into getting better at a game like this you have to just be able to adapt yeah it doesn't look like either king par or vermilion runs have checked their starters so we're gonna find out a little bit later yeah i know vermilion told me before the race he is uh he does not have a backup so oh you know, okay saves you a little time checking i would imagine king par would be doing the same thing then because you have a backup if you'd want to you'd want to check, check now. before you get out of lab because yeah. otherwise you just lose time yeah. to to going all that way through the game yeah the sooner you check well, the, sooner you the hard way reset. <laughs> uh it looks like tech is still trying to figure out what's up with Zion, so hang tight folks uh but for now we have a couple runners going back to the lab if anyone's played Kaizo Iron Mon, that's a familiar experience. Or watch Dexter's Laboratory. Or watch Dexter's Lab. Or even seen uh, certain Disney movies. Ah, dang, I can't say I get that reference. Oh, don't worry about it. I just really like llamas. Anyway, uh, <laughs> now we finally get to... I have so um, many more questions than I have. So, don't worry about it. Oh, the lover, Kronk. lover. Now we finally get to the first fight of the okay, game. That's, okay, uh, cool. Eevee has a chance to finish this fight in, I think, two turns if they get very lucky. It is most likely anywhere from three to four. I think Pika is more likely to be a three turn. Yeah, it really depends on, on the uh, the Eevee with a, a plus attack nature for Eevee. If it doesn't get growled on turn two, Eevee does have a very good chance of two-shotting the Pikachu. Yes, chat, that lab. Yes, that lab. Not the lab where they made Experiment 626. No, different lab. That's where I thought you were going with that, by the way. No, no, <laughs> that's why I added the llama part. There's just so Ooh. many labs. Ooh, that, There's a lot that, of labs. That might be a minus... That is a minus attack EV for Vermilion. Uh, Ooh, that, is, okay. that is unfortunate. That's bad. That's not great. Um, anything in the EV can kind of be fixed with experience, though. Um, I was talking to a couple of the more experienced EV runners, and um, EXP is king. Uh, so the more EXP you can get in EV, you could even fix a bad nature. Um, so really, what Vermilion needs is just to find a Chansey that's glowing in Mount Moon, and everything will be fine. Yeah, yeah that's Vermilion zero percent to happen. Point, no, point five percent. Point five percent, and then you add on the chance of there being glowing EV, or sorry, glowing overworld encounter, which we don't know what that percent chance is. I wish we did. Uh, 
but uh, but Vermillion's gonna be going to be losing quite a few turns throughout the run, especially in the early game before he even gets the chance to get the chancy. Um, I yep. wouldn't be surprised if he does do Tail Whip on Brock's Geodude in addition to the Onyx, just to be able to get the chance for, uh, uh, be able to, to more easily knock out that Geodude and the Onyx there. I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if we see um, a two-controller Brock, um, since that one of the requirements for entering Brock's gym is to have a grass or water-type Pokémon. Now, before you get to Brock, the only Pokémon that you can see that fill that requirement are Bulbasaur or Bellsprout, but you can um, get one of those and you need one to get into the gym, so there is a chance that you could two-controller this. Um, your EV learns double kick at level 10, and Bells Bellsprout comes with Vine Whip combined. That might be better than trying to deal with a minus attack EV. Two. That's a good point. And it looks like what do we got here from King Car? I didn't catch um, those stats. I just barely so missed the stats I saw there. the level up, but I also don't know what Eevee stat lines look like. Or sorry, Pika stat lines look like. So I I'm not Eevee. sure. <laughs> so we're not gonna know Pika's uh Pika's nature until we get to the uh the point where oh, Pika nope. learns double kick at level nine. Thankfully Amber oh. knows what Pika main natures are, and this is a mild Pikachu. And mild Amber's got her back. Plenty good. <laughs> Mild is not bad. Yeah. Minus defense uh, can probably be a little bit scarier, but it's, uh... It gets that plus, gets that plus special attack, which is a huge, huge bonus for it. Oh, I think... Here we go. Okay. Looks like we almost have Z on all the there way fixed. There we go. There yeah. we go. Figured out the there problem. There we go. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get a chance to see his Eevee in just a second. Yes, we will. We'll also get to double check the exact nature of the EV for on Vermillion's screen right here. We can, yes, and if we can't figure it out, we can always check on the double kick learn screen since those will be highlighted. What I saw, 15 defense, 15 special attack, and then. So it looks like it looks like he's uh, bold nature. Yeah. With the plus defense and minus oh. attack. I, I, he got the early Pika, which is looks huge. Looks like to we've get got in this, in two the Pikachus in the game. That's crazy. And I mean, you definitely go for that. It's not lure yeah. or anything, but you just you grab that now. I think Pikachu and Bulbasaur are the only catches you really want to do before the lure. Vermilion kind of getting debated by that attack cycle, but it looks like this will get in, which will really help with the catch rate for the for the bugs and uh, once we get the lure up. Plus, he can also use it for the uh, for the Pidgey uh, on the first trainer here. And we got a frick on King Car screen. Let's Bulbasaur. go. Dude, we got Bulbasaur tricks right off ready. the bat. <laughs> oh. Million not seeing the Caterpie there. Those things can really sneak up on you in the grass. Anything small and green, really hard to see. It's gotten, it, it gets worse in every game with Pokemon in the overworld. Every single Especially, game, it, it's gotten worse. There's always going to be something that spawns on top of you in Let's Go as well. That's true, yeah. Alright, Zeon is, where's he going? Yeah. There we are. Let's There's the frick. I hope Vermillion it gets in first ball. To see for the uh, for the po uh, Pidgey fight here. You know what? I would have just for fun. I would have it guaranteed it with a minus attack EV. It's going to guarantee yeah. it for one turn fight. Well, especially since last Jocelyn control and use sand attack, and I think at least myself and one other person that might be looking in the chat right now has had some really bad troll misses from sand attack. Um, I hope I didn't just commentators curse for a million. No, we're fine. No, we're, we're fine. Good. We're, we're good. We're good. He got the tackle. He's chilling. And we can look at this EV again. Yep, King that's Par bad attack. The, King Par got the uh, the frick already. Hopefully, Vermillion can get a couple of good uh, glowing catches here. That's a second Pikachu on that's the screen. That's another by the Pika. Way. Well, that's that catch yeah, that, chain paying off. Oh, I mean, yeah. I always forget about the cat chain. I'm like, wait, how do you find another Pika? Yeah, um, for anyone who may not know, um, it, when you catch a Pokemon uh, in, in a route, if that Pokemon appears on the route, there's an increased chance oh, you... that that Pokemon will spawn. I like the name of OBSY um, for <laughs> Zeon's Eevee. I didn't notice that until just now. That's perfect. Anyway, catch chains. Um, they can be not great for this run since we need to catch 50 different Pokemon total in order to get into Koga's gym, uh, which seeing the same Pokemon over and over again does not help with that. Uh, so 
you have to kind of figure out when you want to catch something to try and avoid a catch chain that won't be good for you. So Vermillion, he deposited the Pikachu immediately because he just doesn't want to deal with any level ups or anything. But he's, That's fair. It's kinda, I understand it, but it is going. he's going to sacrifice uh, the consistency of actually getting the catch here and get, uh, <laughs> to seeing the Weedle catch, which if it just gets in, it shouldn't be too big of an issue, but it looks like it's already... Oh yeah, no! That's two it breakouts broke out. already. Oh. That's two breakouts, and he's used Raz on both of them. That's uh, this, this happened that's to me. So much time off. This happened to me in my race. Uh, so I'm not depositing the Pikachu next time that happens to me. Vermillion could be looking at some experience issues too, depending on where he's planning on going for Belt Route. Um, yeah. He might he might be forced at this point with the pre lure Pikachu and the uh, great catch on the Weedle. Uh, with 1C, he might be forced to have to go for the uh, Route 2 Bell Sprout and possibly even Pidgeot Rat on Route 2. Yeah, hopefully looking for something to be glowing on Route 2 to get that EV up there. Um, he may also be wanting to try and get a Route 2 Bell Sprout um, to see if maybe that will help with the 2C because he looks like he might be lacking experience anyway. So. Skin part, is he looking for that? It looked like he was chasing after the Pidgey, but. That's possible. No, he's going for the, yeah, he's going for the Weedle. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he caught Oddish already. It looks like Xeon already got, uh, he's got Bellsprout, got Weedle Evolve. Must have had a pretty big Bellsprout then, that's good. Yeah, it's interesting. You don't usually see that caught after, like, evolve after one single catch. Uh, what else? Yeah, we're seeing no Bellsprouts. Another Pikachu, a glowing Pikachu for Vermilion, but no Bellsprouts. Is that the is King Par just looks like he ca just caught a Weedle? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, so I look, it looks the, like his pretty... um his Oddish was only level five and leveled up to six there. I wonder if that's going to be a problem for Pika, um, or if King Par will just take the unorthodox strat of using Bulbasaur on, on Brock. I mean, it looks like King Par's got all his captures now, so he does. But I know that Pika tends to use Oddish on Brock. Mm. With Geodude yeah. and Onyx, it makes more sense for the Pika runners to use the Oddish because both those are low in special defense versus uh, Bulbasaur's Vine Whip, which is a physical attack. So Yeah, so hopefully the lower level Oddish is not going to cause problems for King Par. He might. He, he very well could be planning on going for a glowing Route 2 catch oh, wait, as oh, well, which that's would a glowing help Bell's experience. Oh, Vermillion. you love to see that. And there's a Pidgey too, uh, if if Vermillion still needs more experience. Pidgey and a uh, rat. So Zeon has a glowing party on, on his screen. It's Dude, like a rave. So, that is... <laughs> thank God he still... Oh no, he doesn't still need a well, yeah, he There's didn't, no way he's past that. But there's... there's it's a, Look at that party of Weedles. It's only yeah. Weedles. There's, Welcome yeah, to Zeon's only Weedles. You, you cannot pass that without getting a, without getting an encounter. You just cannot. No. All right, look at that. Bring his TV all the way up. You got, the, you got the ten. Wait, he got a Bulbasaur too. Look at that. I think that's a Bulbasaur on the screen. That is, I believe. Oh, it's oh, gone and, now. And it's gone. Oh. Well, um, it lost the run. Vermilion though. I got the is... double frick. Oh good. Vermilion he just, though has just got his level ten and level ten. Uh, I don't the... think he necessarily needs to go for the Pidgey or Rat here. I don't think so. You might not I don't think want he to. Does. He yeah, might they're be not glo they're that not glowing Pidgey or anything because that Pidgey was right there. Yeah, they're if they're not glowing, probably not the best idea. Yeah, he want like the experience is good, but it's gonna be better later anyways. So he's gonna pr he, it's probably better that he relies on it in Mount Moon as opposed to just right now from the non glowing Pidgey and Rat. Yeah, he's got enough um, and the option to use two C Bell Sprout on Brock. Uh, so it's probably better to just leave those to get a higher catch count later. And it looks like we're... Oh, it's, plus, it's a plus attack Bulbasaur, so he's, I think King Par's going with it. Yeah, King you know Par's what? going with the Bulba. That... We, lo we love to see it. Look, this Bulbasaur I is going to carry us to victory today. I love that. He checked the stats on the Bulbasaur. He's like, it's, a... it's, it's good okay, enough. So let's do it. It's yeah. good enough. Yeah. It could be, too, that he might not have realized that his... Uh, Oddish was low level until I, I he think went that's to what happened. this menu because it looked like there was a little bit of hesitation there in the uh, in that menu there. Yeah, I I think um, as I was saying previously, anything green is hard to see in the grass. Probably didn't notice that that Oddish had spawned until after the lure went up. So, all right, so we're a little 
Uh, Vermillion, like what? One catch evolution ahead, but a tiny bit behind. He's gonna lose a little bit more time on the Brock fight, though. Zeon still looking for some catches. I think Zeon might be a little low on experience. Yeah, that would be my guess. He's got Weedle. He got Weedle, he's got Caterpie and Bell Sprout, but Ah, Zeon um he's Zeon's showing is only four. Um Zeon has not marked uh his Eevee, just for he anyone not, in, but, in, yeah. in the chat wondering. Uh that's why he's showing his four. He's actually got five caught. And Zeon apparently Zeon Zeon is listening and heard me say that. <laughs> Does he is he level ten? Ah, uh, I think so. Oh, okay. No, yeah, yeah, no, I remember I saw that earlier. I'm too busy yeah. looking at the Bulbasaur right now. Uh, that is... Oh, that is... Really getting that messed is, up a little bit. Turns out Absorb is really good. That is terrifying for King Car. Yeah, Overgrow, yeah. wait. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, you there's there's no abilities Ooh. in this, uh... Dude, uh, dude King Par is just... Oh, no. I, I, that's... King Car. King Car needs to call in 2C here, at least. I think so, yeah. To be yeah. able to, uh, to, be able to potion the Oddish there are to live. Sacking? Are you sacking potions? Oh, okay. Looks like he's sacking and potioning the Bulbasaur, which I can respect. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. Oh, or, or that just happens. And he dodges! <laughs> Yo, King miss again, miss again, miss again, miss again, miss again. Ah, oh, um, no. It looks like um, we're having a relatively standard fight for Vermilion, except he's minus attack. So I believe that that was the third double kick that finally got there. Um, yeah. So, might be... Could be seeing a Leer? Uh, two tail uh, tail maybe. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. summoning the 2C yeah, is also he calls an issue. I wonder if he thought Bellsprout was maybe in slot 2, which yeah. would have been, been good. So yeah, you tail whip that, and then, I don't know, Poison Sting? Yeah, my, going... Um, He's just going to swap into the Bellsprout. Yeah, here. swapping okay. into Bellsprout. Running a minus attack Eevee when you aren't used to it is hard. So Vermillion was probably just trying to figure out how to make this work on the fly, which, honestly, switching into the bell sprout's probably a really good idea it's it's something that'll definitely trip up even even advanced runners run trying to run a, a minus attack ev because there's yeah. so many there's so many things that you rely on the attack set for with in the ev run in particular or ev portion mm -hmm. of the run in particular that that minus attack like it, it could trip anybody up if you're not familiar in know kind yeah. of what to do in certain scenarios. Uh, to answer a question from the chat, yes. Uh, so King Par caught an unlord a level 5 Oddish. Um, so he tried to make that fight work with the Bulbasaur instead, had to sack the Oddish. So that's what that was all about. But otherwise, uh, King Par and Vermillion looking pretty, pretty similar Vermillions. Mm -hmm. Like, minute behind, but a catch your head, so it's... Yeah. And we have King Par going into the shop first, um, so looks like he's doing a more conservative shop from the looks of it, because I was wondering if these runners would be looking at beginner notes. This looks to be closer to the advanced shopping. Okay, I'm right, because people... I don't... I don't know the stat line for Zeon. Oh yeah, we don't know what Zeon's EV is, do we? I I'm should the, yeah. try to look at that, yeah. We'll find Not out here. Uh, we'll find out when he teaches headbutt here in a minute, though. Ah, uh, yes, good call. Yes, we'll have to take a peek. That's when he way gets easier there. than trying to find out stat lines that I don't know. Yeah, for really also like, going into the shop. It looks like Zion had to catch a uh, catch a second Caterpie to be able to hit that level ten threshold in the, oh, okay. uh, in the forest. So yeah, and that's a little bit um, like it's unfortunate to have to do that but it's yeah good to, it's good to know what your options are when nothing else seems available to you yeah i think all three of these runners got a little unlucky with breakouts and rough attack cycles in the forest so they all kind of needed to adapt and get some better catches to try and hit that that level nine level 10 threshold but everyone's through brock now um hopefully the tech issues are all sorted and we can just get on with the run <laughs> everything will be fine so, and King Power went to uh, went to heal off the uh, knockout from the Oddish, the Oddish yeah. which again I don't know how feasible it is for Pika to try and run a uh, run Bulbasaur as your two C up until uh, it turns into Ivysaur or not. I, again, I'm I'm not familiar with the with the Pika run at all, so I do apologize if. Uh, more yeah, we're, we're runners three, know what's going on so we're three ev runners in this in this comms call so we're doing our best also yes shout outs know is oh, sorry. Mankey is fantastic 
monkey. Uh, everyone, monkey. shout outs to Leggy Starscream, who spent the last 25 minutes frantically trying to figure out what was wrong with the stream. So thank you yes. very much, Tech. Yes, thank you, Leggy. Also, we promise not to slander Pika too much there for you, Leggy. No, I'm not going <laughs> to slander it. I'm just going to... Uh, I will be the impartial commentator. Well, I guess that falls on me to slander Pika. Yeah, you can go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough and about Pika to slander it properly. Vermilion now getting the fastest uh, catch in the run for the uh, for the entire speed run for both versions of the game. Magikarp uh, takes on average about 20 seconds entering the Pokemon Center, grabbing the Magikarp and getting out, uh, which is faster than any other catch in the game outside of Lapras and uh, Porygon. Mm -hmm. And I see that Zeon is doing a uh, beginner shop. Um, so just that so we know what notes the runners are looking at and what kind of strats we're going to expect. I don't have uh, the, both sets of notes memorized, but I didn't see exactly what uh, Vermilion was doing. He was doing X items. I think um, all of them should do X items. It just kind of depends on how many great balls and how many healing items they got. Ah. Uh, so we see Vermilion's the first one into the menu before the first Mount Moon Trainer. Did Vion not grab the burn heals in that shot? Oh, maybe not. Um, I'm trying to think of what can burn you before the... Um, Starmie. Starmie can, skull. but you heal. For a beginner, you actually heal in the Pokemon Center if you get burned, so this is not the end of the okay. world. Okay. Yeah, it's not Ooh, too bad. Vion gets Snek, which is a Ooh, very good catch I like Snek. I'm just a mark for poison type Pokemon in general. Poison types are hype. I love poison types. I'm so glad That's they like great. started to get like some more respect later gens. Sneak. Same with bug types. Yeah, okay. bug types um, kind of underrated because they're always early game. Being you know, early game, it's actually going pretty. It's going pretty well for everyone after after. Yeah, the we're moving now. Yeah, Vermilion's gotten through, no issues. Looks like some pretty clean menuing. Uh, King Par and Zeon have both yeah. gotten an extra catch. Uh, the next big hurdle for these runners is going to be to try and hit level 15 before Misty. Um, yeah. If they don't, they have to actually do the walk of shame all the way up from Nugget Bridge to the top of Cerulean Cape, back down all the way after they've ditched Bill and going to fight Misty, and actually not ditching Bill because that's time loss, uh, and then going all the way through. Right, I'm getting a little scared on the spinner here. I, that, I've got trapped on the spinner before too. Oh no, that like. If you don't know spinner cycles in any game, oh it's yeah, so did he just find a shiny Ekans? Yes, he really? that is a shiny Ekans. We shiny got a shiny. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's green and long? That's not a Pokemon. Wait a minute. Wait, what's no, green and green long? Let's, Let's not go. talk about that. that is... Anyways, anyways, <laughs> anyways. So Vermilion is the first one to the Moonstone room in Mount Moon. Uh, just picked up the Moonstone. Is looking for a Geodude, a Clefairy, and a Paris. We've got one of those three on screen right now. Not glowing, but hopefully we can. Uh, get there. No, I already has an Ekans. No, I don't care. This this Ekans is following Zeon around for the rest of the run. You, and if yeah, we you, if we get an Arbok, I'm fine with it. Yeah, you don't. You don't 100. Uh, it's not about winning. It's about sending a message. This is the real win. The real win is getting the shiny. Yeah, yeah. and you the gotta me save the this is, file like, and put it in home. Shinies matter more than some vic some just one victory. Shinies matter. Hey, I threw an AOP run away with a shiny Snorlax, so I get you it. You made the right call, Matt. You made the right call. Uh, oh, okay. Uh... Looks like Vermilion's got a... Ooh, oh, no, the Clefairy! Right right no. Every time, every time. Oh, every no. time! Oh, it's okay, it's gonna be Clefairies and Parises. No Geodudes. See, there's a Paris. Yeah. It's not glowing, but you know. Look at that, look at that Geodude. It's almost a Clefairy. It's, it's not pink enough, but we know we'll try. We'll keep trying. If you just ignore all the things that make it not Clefairy, then it suddenly is Clefairy. Suddenly Clefairy. Yeah. If you say that though, it's going to be suddenly Chansey, and that's not good. Oh no, I'm King doing Par. Some party management here. No, no, King Par is getting bodied by Sand Attack. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh there good. Go. Okay, okay, he's he's through. Yeah, I mean that's. That looks like a little bit of a problem with oh, okay. getting... Oh, what? Uh, looks like Xeon's EV is actually all neutral. Oh, interesting. It's nice okay. and neutral so EV. So nice and easy runnable EV. I don't actually know if... Um, we didn't get to see if there was a, a backup set, though. Given the name, probably not. 
And we have Shiny Ekans following now. Yeah. Perfect. That's, Let's go. Zeon's the real winner now. Green snake. It's clipping through the ground. That's disturbing. And he forgets to grab the cart. Oh no. Unless he's oh, planning no. on going for uh, Gyarados later, which is always a, a That's an option. decision you can make. On that. It is you an option. Catch, you can always oh, catch Magikarp okay. on uh, 21 there and get uh, get Gyarados for that one level of poke. Yeah. And it looks like King Par found a Geodude before, or just after maybe, the Mount Moon Room. No, he just what was he, in the stairwell before he, it. Yeah, what was that? Joy Cons. Joy Cons. What was that throw? But the question I have is: uh, Is the max level the same as? Oh, look at that Clefairy! Ooh, nice glowing Clefairy. That yeah, is the best even... time to deposit. Yeah. Yes, you don't. Perfect. You don't want. Yep. You really don't want Butterfree to hit level thirteen because it learns, I think, three moves. Uh, so, the right call from Vermilion, I think, to deposit before this glowing Clefairy, just in case. I think it's a ten percent chance that every glowing Pokemon is supersized, which means I think it's about times ten in experience, uh, and that would be a lot of levels. You don't want that. Yeah, oh the, uh, the supersized Clefairy will give uh, uh, fifteen oh, there we go. try of sixteen hundred experience. This points is calculated. If, uh, if it's supersized, um, missing the first ball means that the supersized Clefairy will not give him too much experience. Perfectly calculated, all intentional. Um, okay, not quite supersized, but, yeah. um, but this is a little like, awkward. Yeah, it looks like there shouldn't be. Maybe I don't know how much uh, you get. It feels like no, it's barely that wasn't enough. No, that's... Yeah, this is also no, 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 a no, problem. No, 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 no. I mean for the EV for the EV experience. Oh, this is not enough. Um, I believe you need fourteen point yeah. one, fourteen in a tick, um, to be able to get out of Mount Moon after your catches. Uh, to get level 15, so Vermilion will be looking for something in the grass, or maybe in a Zubat right now. He's nope, just wanted to double check room... the, the Moonstone there. Okay. Okay. Which, for all and... three of these runners, they did get to the room a little bit later than when they would need yeah. to be for the Moonstones to show up. Um, on average, you want to be to this room, depending on what time you set the clock, if you set it for uh, 1134 at night, it'll roll over right around that 20, right around that 25 minute mark. If mm -hmm. you set it for 1133 at night, it'll roll over right at that 26 minute mark or so. So Yeah, so runners tend to adapt based on what their time usually is when they get into Mount Moon. I know that um, top runners, it's closer to like 1137. I play physical, so I do 1133. Unfortunately, the physical time loss is, can just be. It's real. Lot. It's real. I'm pretty yeah. sure Zeon is playing physical as well tonight. So. Yeah, I remember him saying he, he quote, he found his Pika cartridge <laughs> and was tempted uh, to switch to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, I found it. I'm like, well, that sounds slower. Like in, <laughs> in most ways. Wow, you weren't kidding about the Pika hate. My goodness. No, I bet the cartridge is slower. Well, I think I think the EV one's also a cartridge. But I could be wrong. Okay. Okay, and that's Butterfree for Xeon. I think Xeon just caught the first thing in that room, the Geodude. Oh, there was a bonjour on the screen for King Par, and he And King Par word. said no. Oh, okay. No, I think he, he said I think no. it spawned right as he was leaving. He said, he said goodbye. <laughs> Instead of like... bonjour, it was au revoir. <laughs> I was about to ask what's, what that, uh, what goodbye is in French. Like, au revoir. Don't remember that. Au revoir. I live in Canada. I must know. Oh, Canada. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's Canada's cool, but it's not that great. Nah, down. It's, it's fine. Whatever. It's good enough. It's good enough. Look, there's a shiny snake. Yeah, this there is. The whole run, I'm telling you. And you know, Kingpar is being was... very methodical with his movement in this lower section here, there's a lot of times that any runner will get hung up on encounters in that first area before the uh, rocket grunt fight here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see if this drowsy doesn't give anybody any trouble. Um, so Zeon's looking for, um, after this Clefairy, oh, Joy-Cons, I hate you so much. Um, after this Clefairy, looking for the Paris, and I, did, I do see that he has planned to have an Arbok by the end of this run. So <laughs> that's that's the way to go. 
Uh, and also, I'm noticing King Par looks like he does not have a Paris. And I think that's because he saw the first two in the room and said, I got Mankey already that replaced the Paris. It's faster to just get out of here. Which yep, is I think definitely that's definitely a smart play. If you are if you already got the experience you need and you already have enough catches, if the Paris is just going to cause you trouble, you can just leave. Yeah, you, there's no... Why wait when, you, when you're essentially at the same point you would be without waiting? Zion having some issues with getting Clefairy to, to get into the ball here. Oh, I there we go. He was, Finally. Uh, I did see that he was already almost at level 15, so he sh he's good on oh, experience. Yeah. He's yeah. just doing the catches at this point. Yes, uh, so might even, well, maybe not quite level 16 before leaving, but very close, which is always good. That means that um, the coughing with the um, with the Bellsprout and the Eevee uh, should die on that turn two there. So that's good. I am I am nervous on the experience for the Butterfree though. I think he's going to need to make another menu unless mm. he uh, well because Butterfree will hit thirteen on these up or here. or we have to deny three moves. Oops. Oh, King Par depositing the Bulbasaur decided no, I don't need Ivysaur. Goodbye. Um, Interesting. Yeah, he's, and I'm not oh, sure. No, okay, yeah, that was not on purpose. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, <laughs> it must have been a mistake. Um, I think Vermilion. Uh, Vermilion did manage to one-shot the Magnemite. I'm not sure if he wound up X-attacking. I didn't quite He did X-attack, yes. He did, okay. So, wanted to X-attack there to make up for the fact that he, there's a minus attack Eevee. Oops. That, I mean, that's absolutely fair. And absolutely. we got him going into J&J1. King Par. J&J1. Look, looking like on the Super Nerd. I did think JJ1. Vermilion did get the get two X, uh, X attacks then. I did not. Uh, unfortunately. I believe I saw two, him get two X attacks. And oh, one he's got. X okay, yeah. Yeah, he so must he have had one two. X attack Perfect. already. Perfect. So that would, he went for the extra X attack, which is the right call with a minus attack EV for sure. So he's also not quite level 15, which is unfortunate, but we'll hopefully find something outside King of Mount Bar is well shy of 15 as well. Uh, so we're gonna have, oh my, we're gonna have you're right. people yeah. going. Oh my god. I have a shy. feeling that no matter what King Par does, that's a walk of shame for King Par. Um, yeah. I say walk of shame. It's not actually that much slower. Um, it's just some movement. It's it's about 30 seconds because there is a small cut scene after leaving Bill's house as well. Uh, if you oh, know, okay. I was not aware. King Par uh, might have to do candy strats. Yes. I, I don't know if he's going to get enough experience from the trainers on Nugget Bridge and uh, Route 25. For yeah, hopefully King Par here. thinks of that because Unless I. Unless he gets I, Glowing Sand True, maybe. He might get lucky and get Glowing Sand True on Route 4. I feel like that's less likely than going to get the candy, though I'm not sure if King Par knows about the, the candy. Maybe If you know Gen 1, you've probably gone to the back of the house in, in Cerulean and gotten that candy but it might not be something you think about in a run. Yeah, it's... And when you don't do... When you don't do certain strats all the time, it's... Oh, it's hard geez. to kind of remember that that's an option. Oh, that's a pair. That's a... Not that's, a snake. that's a snake. Four snakes. Uh, so Vermillion got really unlucky with that grass. Uh, just only the rat for a long time. Uh, but then the snake decided to show up and save Vermillion a little bit. We'll see if this is enough to get them to level 15. First ball, oh, excellent throw, excellent. getting the maximum be. possible out of this. Oh my gosh, poor King Par, that fight is not going well. Oh, no, that's, yeah, that's a little bit of trouble. Might be able to get through on this turn. Oh, perfect. Just barely enough. Oh, perfect. Okay, so Vermilion gets to go to the gym right away. Zeon trapping the Ekans behind the ledge. I like the style. Sorry, Ekans. No, it's okay. It'll, there it is. See? Yeah. Little noodle going I along. Power of a Pokemon like the shiny Ekans isn't restricted by things like walls and physics. It's true. I mean, it's no Bellsprout chasing after him, but the Ekans is enough. It's a Ekans shiny Ekans. It's all good. <laughs> all right. it looks like, yeah, Vermilion's gonna be going to... gonna be going straight to the gym. Not quite, actually. Vermilion's gotta stop in the Pokemon Center and teach oh, three true. very busted yes. moves. Yes, true. We, yes. It's time to get time to get the broken moves for uh, for Eevee here, which all three moves, each one is based off of the types that Eevee can evolve into in the first generation of games. So you've got Buzzy Buzz for an electric move, Bouncy Bubble for a water move, and Sizzly Slide for the fire move. And we're basically going to rely, Eevee's gonna basically going to rely on these three moves to kind of power its way through the game up until uh, 
up until uh, uh, Rocket Hideout. Yeah, and these moves are heckin' busted. Uh, Buzzy Buzz always paralyzes the target, Sizzly Slide always burns the target, and Bouncy Bubble is just um, 90 power absorb, but a water type move, uh, which is gross. Very gross. Right. Honestly, these moves are just like, if, have you ever wanted to cheat, but you don't like <laughs> the feeling of guilt that comes with actually cheating? Just play. Just play Eevee. Yeah, just play Eevee. These moves are basically cheating. This is like. This is like some five-year-old came up with, uh, like, I'm just gonna make up some dumb moves that are amazing, put it on Smogon, and just wins games. <laughs> King Bar also and, does get a busted move. He gets Zippy Zap, which I believe does, is yes. plus two Electro-type move, always crits. I don't remember the power, yes, but I think plus, that's all correct. Plus two priority, like, always crits, and I believe it's base 60 or 70? I wanted to say 60, yeah. Yeah. 60 sounds right, but I would not be surprised 50, if it was 50, my bad. Oh, okay. Ace 50. So even with a crit, it's basically a base 75 stab move that's plus two priority. Pretty good. Pretty good. The only problem with um, Pika is the coverage is not as good as what Eevee can have. No, I mean, fire, water, or fire, water, electric is some insane coverage that you can't really expect yeah, and from then most Pokemon. Later, you can get moves for all the other evolutions as well, though this run only uses uh, Glitzy Glow, which is the psychic type one. And Vermillion, walk into Misty already. Uh, looks like King Par is indeed doing the Nugget Bridge first uh, quote unquote walk of shame, uh, which will help get to level 15 before going to, into Misty's gym. I like did Zion notice he did not he did not grab the candy, so he might be hoping that he does get enough experience to hit level 15 before yeah. the end of the uh, Nugget Bridge and, and uh, Bill here. Um, it could be a backup strat that if he doesn't, he can just swing by and grab it on his way mm -hmm. around to the gym. And Zeon just finishing up at Mount Moon, uh, working on Jesse and James right now. So something I, something I noticed on Zeon's uh, thing, unless I missed some of his catches, um, he's got he's missing a Geodude and a Clefairy. He did technically get 12 catches, but. I don't think he. I don't think he is marked. I don't think he's marked everything, because um, he did catch so. the Clefairy. I believe he did okay. catch the Clefairy. So, I believe uh, I just so. Don't yes. Think he's been, I don't think he's been uh, marking everything as he's been going here. Which no problem if if he's with with these these beginner runners. Some of them do. You know, it's something I struggled with myself. You know, mm. trying to kind of do everything all at one time Zeon, while trying to speed um... run a game as well. So. Zian also had the added struggle of having to switch um, RTMP servers uh, partway through the run, so... That's, yeah. That is we true. Can give, we can give him a bit of a break on that. Bit of a pass there. Yeah, he just he just went into his box there, and I did see that he does have the Clefairy Geodude okay. and the uh, uh, Paris there, so... Yeah, I find that um, it's easier to mark your stuff, um, like, Route 10, Route 17 in there is one of the better places to try and like figure out your, your catch tracker. Early game, there's a lot going on and it's not quite as easy to catch up. Yeah, I like to do it personally during any evolutions that happen from a yeah. catch. Yeah. Like that's, it's downtime that's built directly into the game. So mm -hmm. if, if you're able to just like take those five, 10, 20 seconds to just be like, okay, what else do I have? Just rethink what you're going to be doing. Also think about what you're about to be doing in the route. Zeon was, um, was going to grab those Great Balls um, right on the way to Cerulean, but decided to check on the snake first, and um, that Ekans' energy is overflowing. You, it just I mean, looks... It's... It's, yeah, it just looks glowing. You can see the energy. You sure can. It's like radioactive. I was going to say it was sparkling. Like a shiny, but I, I, guess, I guess that works. And Vermillion now on uh, Rival 2 here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eevee yeah. gonna have a little bit better of a time on this um, bridge just because of all of the super effective move coverage. And not get the range on the Pikachu because of the minus attack. Because of the minus attack, yeah. So yeah. this might still be tricky for Vermillion just because you've got the advantage, but you also have bad attack stat. He's been adapting pretty well, so I'm like, so far, yeah, yeah. So very, very good stuff to see because it, like, 
it takes a it takes a lot to be able to learn the route and know exactly what to do when everything goes right but it says a lot to know how to manage when things go wrong and i think king par's done a pretty done a pretty good job too the like the For experience sure, yeah. wasn't like the experience is a little concerning but he hasn't let it get to him really he just keep moving moving on he's like i know what the backup is just keep running, yeah. There's there's backups for if you don't have enough experience, and they're not as good, but they still work. So. Zeon's now starting the first gym trainer. What is, this is? It didn't hit six. It didn't hit seventeen, did it? Not quite. Not Looks like yeah, it'll hit seventeen and a half after Misty. Yeah. yeah. I did miss oh. what stats look like. This is a range on the Goldeen here at level 15 and 16. I want to say that means... Short of it. Yeah, I want to say that that means this is not a lot of AVs into attack. I know it's a neutral... Uh, neutral AV, uh, the, but... the special attack. For special this, attack, right, yeah. For, for Buzzy Buzz, yeah. Yeah, because Buzzy all three Buzz... The special attack? No, uh, Sizzly no. Slide is physical attack. The other two okay. are special. Yes, and when we get there, Glitzy Glow is um, also special. Yes. Uh, so looking at the trackers, Vermillion is uh, at 14 pokes, King Pars at 13, and Zeon's, I want to say, at 11. Um, didn't mark the Clefairy. There's the Clefairy. Um, so yes, 11. Um, but it's worth noting that we can't really tell who's ahead or behind based on what we're looking at, because Vermillion is actually um, through Misty. King Par is not. Um, so with that in mind, Vermillion's a little bit more ahead in the story. King Par may be ahead by one trainer, but has not beaten Misty yet. Yeah, this is... It's, it'll be a lot easier to tell uh, right after... Right about during the uh, the house cutscene. Yeah. yeah. After yeah. the house cutscene, it'll be a little bit easier to know. Um, or at least um, maybe on Route 6, it'll be easier to tell who's getting ahead. Um, really, it's really hard to tell who's ahead in the in the run at all until you've gotten to Koga, where Koga has the requirement to get into his gym that you have caught your 50 different Pokemon in the Pokedex. And then everything start, starts making more sense. Um, recently, world record holder Echi was doing a run and just eliminated every single split that wasn't Blaine, bef like before Blaine. Blaine was his first split. Yeah, so, Blaine was his first split. <laughs> now, honestly, and he's like, nobody noticed. And I'm like, of course nobody said anything. That's objectively correct. Like, you won't be able to know how a run is doing until playing anyway, because that's when you have most of your catches done. So early game, everything's up in the air. Um, King Par might be behind right now, but maybe Vermillion misses a very crucial catch. Or maybe King Par finds a Chansey on Route 6 that's supersized, and he's going for a Venonat right now. Maybe this is supersized. Who knows? It's definitely glowing, and I, in a situation like his where he's down on a bit of experience, Super worth it. Barely getting that excellent catch. The circle was tiny as it can go. Excellence and excellent. Yeah, and he gets the Venonat. Venonat can be a so, uh, Pokemon that's super that annoying. That Pokemon catch, can so really that's... troll, so that's really oh, yeah. easy. All right, so he's got um, Pika's at level 15, and will probably hit 16 before Misty. So that's nice. Misty, you shouldn't give any trouble. Um, that Bulbasaur is going to evolve real soon. These are all good things. Yep. And Vermillion's on one of my personal favorite fights of the game, not because of the actual battle itself. Um, battle's fairly straightforward, just Buzzy Buzz two times for the Eevee. Uh, Pika, I'm sure you just zippy zap both turns. But depending on where you're standing when you talk to that Rocket Grunt, you actually have a different background for the battle. Uh, if you're standing on the bridge at all, you'll actually have the bridge for the background. And if you're standing in front of him all in the dirt, you'll actually get the forest background uh, behind the trainer. Vermillion he, going he, for knock skip. Why? Vermillion don't do that. hit that's just, that's Don't do that. He did not go for it. He the jukes hit it. Are, the jukes are impressive, but don't do that. That's just how Good oh. job, Vermillion. Good job, oh. Vermillion. But still. Vermillion, Vermillion's a friend of mine, and I've been watching him as he's been improving. And there's just been a couple of things that he's done, and he's and I'm like, you're not definitely not supposed to do it like that. And he's like, well, what, doesn't matter. How apparently, do how should I do it different? And I'm like, you do this. And they're like, but that's the same thing. I'm like, yeah, but what I said was way safer. He's like, but what I, but what I do works. Well, what I said is more fun, so. <laughs> yeah, but my way works, so what's the issue? I'm like, oh, I guess you're right. So, Vermillion yeah, King and Par are on the same trainer here. Yeah, uh, even in catches on the same trainer, 
Um, but now an entire gym behind for King Par. Otherwise, let's hope. Um, let's yeah. hope nobody ditches Bill. Um, that would be that would be bad. That would be further time loss. Yeah. If Bill didn't want to be ditched, why did he turn himself into a Pokemon? I don't think he wanted to do that. Well, Although I don't know what he does in his spare time. Yeah. My question is, what happens to the Nidorino that he is pulled out of? Because you never see that other door open. That. Uh, th this is maybe why Pokemon Tower This is, this is a question anyway, for the official Pokemon forum. Anyway, Zeon finally, um, what, second trainer on, uh, on Nugget Bridge? Uh, so that's cool. Yeah, he is also past Misty right now. Uh, a little bit lower still on the catches, but... Uh, he is at 12, he does up. have... He is at 12 catches, he does have Geodude caught, he just doesn't have a mark, by the way. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so, so yeah, not even that... Notice, but... Not even that bad, really, because uh, what? Did Zion not catch a Pika? He did not get Pika. Okay. He did not get Pika, and uh, we saw we saw him uh, skip over the Magic card. All right. Well. So Ver Vermilion getting out of dodge. Um, just gonna leave Cerulean City, King Part, uh, grabbing an extra lore, and going back to fight Misty. Um, so. We still have a little bit of that to do for Cerulean, um, um, though I think I think Zeon's fully clear of Misty and is just going to try and finish up this bridge and ditching Bill. Or not ditching Bill, as it were. And Vermilion got the Meowth to spawn on the way back down. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Uh, no, no Arcanine no, you don't. No, for you Vermilion. Don't. <laughs> no Arcanine for Vermilion. No Arcanine. No Arcanine. Or Nina, as it were. Uh, everyone's favorite to... game of Detective. I love Detective Eevee. That should be the sequel to Detective Pikachu, but now it's like Detective Pikachu 2. Who do you want to voice De Detective Eevee in that theoretical movie? Danny DeVito. That was, that's who should have voiced Pika, let's be clear. <laughs> it, you think he's, he's a multi-talented person? I bet he can do Chat also saying Danny DeVito. So I mean, I I just kind of wanted the original to, to be Danny DeVito. So you know, Ryan Reynolds did a fantastic job with Detective. I, he didn't do that um, movie though. I thought. I admittedly still have not seen the movie. Um, I was going to watch it with my partner while consuming maybe some alcoholic beverages, um, and then never got around to it. Uh, that sounds like a great Saturday time. night. You should do movie's it. So. Should movie's do that, not yes. going anywhere. It's not. I'm sh we'll do that soon. Exactly, Jordan. Danny DeVito is the only correct option. I can't argue because I've never that seen the movie, so I'll, I'll get back to you when I finally do get around to watching it. I was when you asked that, I was going to say Chris Pratt just as a meme, and I'm like... Hey, oh, please no. no not, not the Chris no. Pratt. Hey, 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 you know, have you seen the Mario movie? He did not do that. He did I, not do bad, but he as is an Italian, to the point where I have problems he's with it. doing too many movies. Yeah. Anyway, we don't need this diversion has been great while we wait for all the writers <laughs> to get the exciting things. Uh Vermilion just did the cutscene where um, Trace was like, Hey rival, uh, you've got a revive in your hair. Um, which I think is supposed to be like, Oh, you've got an eyelash right on your on, on your uh, face there. Make a wish. But uh, okay. Thanks, Trace. Um you were 11. Anyway, yep. so now uh, Vermilion's going to grab a Nugget Underground and then also a lure on this side over here. Um, use use that lure for Route 6, uh, grab a rare candy, and then look for catches. For Eevee, he'll be looking for a Vulpix, a Jigglypuff, and maybe a Rat or a Pidgey. Uh, but mainly, um, you're just sort of looking to pad out your catch count on this route for Eevee. When King Par gets here, he'll be looking for an, a Growlithe. A puppy. You also, want, uh, you also want to be hitting level 18 by the time you leave this route here. Oh Otherwise, no! Oh level God. three it, is going to be a bad time. It, it was oh. looking right at him. It was yeah, it was the wrong side. Oh, there was no. no way around that. Abra is one of those super nice to get him if you do, but you can't plan around that. It is a bit finicky, and of course, if, you, if it sees you, it will disappear. So you really can't rely on getting it. But it does make things a lot easier. At least Vermilion got the Constellation Vulpix. Yeah, immediate Vulpix, solid. 
Uh, just looking for a puff. Doesn't see it, probably just gonna go and wait on the way back. Uh, I, that's not a good idea either. So Zeon, Zeon just caught a Venonat, and it, his Eevee is already level 19. So, maybe that's a little behind, but good on experience at least. So that's he's, nice. Shouldn't have too many plenty. troubles. Yeah, as long as, um, get all the catches, experience will hopefully not be a problem for a little while. Experience will carry him through. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. maybe- thought about the duck. No. Maybe not the duck. No, oh, uh, he's still fighting. thinking. With, uh, with his catch count, to spawn. with his catch count, I would go for the duck on route, uh, route oh, 17, personally. Oh, Vermillion found another Abra. Oh, nice. Oh, no, well, that was a Joy-Con moment. I love Joy-Cons, don't you? It, oh, my it, God. It went in different directions. <laughs> oh. It went in different directions. <laughs> it crossed over and only the Pokeball hit the Abra. Oh, my gosh. That, okay. That's if you a, if you have Nanabs, consider Nanabs on Abra. I was gonna say Joy Abra is the reason I always grab or I used to always grab the Nanabs on Route there Five is. right there by the guardhouse, just because if you get the Abra and, and you're not comfortable throwing at it, you you're just gonna waste a ton of time with it. Oh, did Zeon um Zeon hit the hiker there? It looks like it. Yeah. Yes, he hit the hiker so. when going for Knock Skip. Ah, uh, see, knock skip is generally, unless you're Vermilion, not a good idea. And speaking of things Vermilion's good at, uh, getting like all the finding getting puffs. All the yeah, getting all the encounters he needs on this route and just getting out of here. That's good. All right, now well, the speaking of Vermilion, we're coming up on one of the harder skips of the run, uh, Vermilion skip. There are two trainers that are staring at each other on the way into Vermilion City. Um, and they, you, if you can perfectly thread the needle between them, neither of them will see you. Uh, you have to do that skip both on the way down and on the way up, so you have to do it twice. It's pretty tricky. Um, I've even seen top-level runners mess it up just on a bad day. Oh, oh no! no oh no! He got oh, out of the grass no. trying to avoid the Pidgeotto and hit, hit the Sailor optional. That it, it's a hard to because I was I, the other day I was doing a run. Um, and the gentleman will also see you the second you step out of the grass. So if you're going for a Pokemon, you really have to remember to stay in the grass. It's it's yeah. rough. You can yeah, go behind the sailor, trainers. worst case scenario. You can, yes. But it is, like, I mean, there's plenty of times where you're just, you're seeing that situation oh, and you're no. like, you just need to get out. Oh, no, it lived. Will he get through? Will he get through and the it confused confusion? Him. Oh, he broke okay, through. Cool. Okay. Thank God. Phew. All right. So a couple of so much worse seen so far from the runners um king par just coming up to this route as well grabbing the rare candy and gonna start looking for that puppy let's see if vermilion can do this lying up on the grass and just and going through easy game it. easy nice. game all right so and one, another one abra spawn for vermilion too that <laughs> catch chain oh my that. goodness did king par get the abra king par got the abra okay cool nice we are two this three on Abra's well this run. So far. Not too bad for encounters. I don't think there's anything glaringly been bad. Zeon got a little bit of problems in the forest, but there was that Weedle Rave that was something to behold. Yeah. And and King Par not messing around with the Abra. No. He was ahead and nabs it right off the bat. Honestly, I respect it. That just makes that so much easier. The thing earlier about uh, Vermilion's cat, I've seen the Joy-Cons. Oh, I've seen them, like, go off. Oh, yeah. Uh like go off but i'm uh one at a time in different directions but i've never seen them cross over each other like yeah that was i love joy cons don't you just love motion controls uh my wii remote would never do that to me <laughs> we'd never your <laughs> wiimote hold on yeah, a my, second my wii remote would remote? never treat me like that king par lining up for vermilion skip it's a tough one so oh thinking about the side duck instead okay that makes sense Oh, and another the, Abra. Or the oh, top, I didn't there's the Jiggly. Okay, so King Par is gonna up. get some catches. I did. Uh, okay, I don't think King Par's seen a Growlithe yet, so probably was delaying the Vermilion skip to try and get his puppy. Yeah, puppy is so much more important the... in Pikachu than Vilpix yeah. and Eevee. I don't know what fight you use the Growl the Growlithe on, but I know it comes with Flamethrower, and that's pretty good. To my understanding, he basically runs it from Rival 4, or Rival 3, I mean, all the way to, uh, till he get Nido King. Okay, so... Pika for runners, like the, please, please correct me if I'm wrong on that. The next three fights? Okay, so, like, the, the rat trainer up on, um, so, the Eevee, the rat, and Rival? I don't know, maybe. That sounds about right. Not um, in that order, but... 
Uh, you wouldn't get Nido King until after until Red Tengrass. Okay. Oh, Tengrass, well, yeah. it, probably until after the fight because you would, Nido King wouldn't necessarily yeah. evolve you, before the fight. You plan to get your Nidoran in the Route Tengrass, uh, and then you see if you can get it to evolve somewhere. Level four. Yeah. Zeon, out of Cerulean. Goodbye, Cerulean. We don't need you anymore. You'll, you'll make a little cameo later. Very briefly. Bad, King bad attack cycle cool. by the Psyduck. King Par going for a duck. Vermilion running into the rival on the boat. I Zion think all the runners have hit level 18, so that's nice. Yes. King Par's, he's making sure his catch count is plenty good. Does not want to yeah. risk anything here. Uh, I think, yeah, King Par's at 19, Vermilion's at 17, and Zeon's at something. I, I'm not sure if it's 13 or if he still hasn't marked everything. Uh, I believe he has everything marked now. He is at 13, okay. um, which, exiting Cerulean, I try to be somewhere between 13 and 15, ideally yeah. closer to 15. Um, so he's he's right on track for where he should be, you know. He a good might route have six go would be for, nice for Zeon. Yeah, yeah, a really good route six, and and uh, Zeon's gonna be be all right for. Oh catch. yeah, the experience is great, which is which is really good. Uh, you know, you just want your catches to also be there, so you're not struggling in the end game. Abrastrats from Vermilion. It oh uh, Bellsprout fainted. Okay, that. Should, oh, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, but you actually don't want Abra to die here because you wanted to get King Par there. nailing Vermilion skip but no puppy and Vermilion showing now yeah. uh, another spot where minus attack kind of comes back to, to bite uh, bite you in the butt with the no kill on the Pikachu with the headbutt yeah I will just point out that Vermilion skip w was panic inducing uh, but it worked <laughs> so who cares Vermilion Skip is always panic-inducing for me. <laughs> Every time I see um, Etiquette in particular do it, I have a heart attack. Because I know he's got a setup, but it does not look like it. Zeon getting instant glowing. Instant puff, puff. yeah. And of course it's glowing, because why Why wouldn't it be with this experience uh, route that he's on? Zeon's going to be level 22 <laughs> for the boat rival, I swear. He's gonna he's, learn. He's, gonna... he's gonna learn double edge. He's gonna learn double he edge. He's gonna learn double edge before he even gets to the Lorelei. You don't actually learn double edge in the beginner notes. I know, but it'd um, be really for Eevee, funny. But he's, that, he's gonna he, be able to do one C strats on the uh, on the the, the if trainer. If Zeon hits level route. twenty-eight in Rock Tunnel, he's just gonna pull up the advanced notes and real quick just be like, "All right, I'm gonna switch my everything now." Time to learn how to use Double Edge properly. <laughs> Time to learn how to use all those super potions for Double Edge. Zion getting the rare candy, which the rare the, this rare candy is a newer, uh, newer addition addition to the uh, to the route. Um, only a, a year Ooh. or so old. Um, prior, we actually would not get the rare candy there. We would do two rare candies on the Star Me in. Uh, mansion at the very beginning and then we would do two rare candies after the Sabrina fight so the uh, the current 3-1 method is a uh, is a newer kind of version of the route here with the uh, actually actually found uh, to be able to to get better experience going into the Blaine fight yeah, so Zeon, um, Zeon went back up because a Vulpix spawned, um, but it oh, looks like it he spawned just before it got there. Yeah, well that was unlucky because the Abra spawned staring at him and then went, oh, goodbye. Um, oh, so that's unfortunate. Go. Oh, hey, a Vulpix. Well, it's there fine. Vulpix. We've got another one. Vermilion is off the boat, just as King Par is entering, about to start the rival fight. Zeon's clearing up his route six catches. Oh, we had saw the ship. We saw the ship. That's um that minus smashing could use a little bit of work. Yes, I'm oh, a left yeah. Joy-Con apologist. Don't don't judge me. I'm left-handed. I, I use the I use the left Joy-Con as my one C and I'm a right-handed player, so. That's fair. I, I, mean, I think it's comfortable. Did, I don't know. I'll be honest, I did one run of this. I did it right-handed because no one told me that left-handed is better. 
Um, and I'm never doing, uh, if I ever do a run again, it's not going to be right hand, like right Joy-Con. Vermilion oh. nailing Vermilion skip on the back up, on, on the way back up, uh, which is great. No more Vermilion skip for Vermilion. Uh, I always find the up slightly easier, um, at least yes. for me, but um, it's always good to clear that, just not have to worry about that optional anymore. Though uh, hitting the sailor, not not amazing, unfortunately. It's, it's it's easy to it's easy to get that on the way back up because you can line yourself up with those floor tiles uh, heading out of town there. Um. Yeah, there's it's it's always something that's panic inducing, and it's one of the every time like it's one of the harder ones in my opinion. The yeah, I think so. Yeah, because it's just there's no like there's no edge you have to walk towards the head. Ah, uh, Zeon, yeah. Zeon a just, bit off. just a little bit too far to the right. This is a really hard skip. So the other two made it look like it was nothing, but it's so much harder. Actually, I'm curious. So is there a consensus on which one is better to hit if you accidentally hit one? They're both fine if you're Eevee, uh, because you just use a super effective move. Yeah. Um, I want to say left... Oh, wait. Is Left Girl the Cubone? I don't remember. Left Girl's the Charmander, which Charmander? I feel like is probably it... better for the Pika. If okay, we had yeah. to choose, though, I think both are bad for Pika. On the bright side, both, Zeon, both just has bad, to hug... but... Zeon just has to hug the right side um, of that route when going back up. So, you know, um, unless uh, unless he forgets, it's going to be hard to hard to mess it up the second time, at least. Uh, and I see Vermilion um, evolving Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff. Um, that kind of tells me that um, there is a, a strategy that um, Eevee can use where they can also use Nido King for the Rocket Hideout section. Um, but using but using the Moonstone on the Jigglypuff tells me that they'll be using a strat where you sacrifice Wigglytuff to make the Jesse and James two and three fights much much safer. Yeah, yeah, the, I think uh... he's still in. Uh still kind of beginner more beginner notes yeah that, that's that's telling me yeah. beginner notes which are totally fine um i think the only downside for that part of beginner notes is if you have all of the longer evos the ones that take more than one level i'm talking about machop or cubone or crabby um you you're gonna have a little bit harder time juggling all of the things in your party like why can't i hold all these pokemon because you're gonna have a sacrifice pokemon and you're gonna have Eevee, and you're hopefully gonna have your Mount Rhyhorn, and you may also have a Graveler to blow up on the Persian. So yeah. all that stuff, like you have all these Pokemon that you need in your party to do all your strats, and then you also need to evolve everything. So it can just kind of be this weird balancing act. Yeah, you either have to just, sacri uh, just sacrifice one of those slots, or you can do a second menu in between fights to switch mm -hmm. out the Graveler and the Wigglytuff. Neither of which are ideal, but what is ideal is immediately seeing that Growlithe on the way Ooh, up for King Car. That's nice. That is super ideal. Um, and King Car cleanly hit that Vermilion skip on the way back up again. Beautiful. So. Yeah, actually, Matt, I think you were testing um, if you wind up getting those longer Evos, just not evolving them, just counting them as like one-off catches. Correct. It's it's something I was testing. Uh, it's something I've been testing for a little while. Um, it, it's something I found just just through playing and, and everything it so it's about a break even whether you have them or, or not it's it's not not a, not going to be a huge difference maker for like you know two or three minutes in a pb or anything like that yeah you yeah, know i think it makes a lot of sense um just because I, I know that counting on all of those evos when you're struggling for party space like especially in a beginner setting it's, oh, it's tricky so i mean you could especially in vermilion's case uh, he's doing a little bit all right with catches. He's got the extra Pika. He's got the Abra and Kadabra. So if he like catches a if he catches a Krabby, uh, then that he doesn't even need to evolve that. Or he could evolve that, and then say he gets Cubone pretty late. He could just choose not to evolve Cubone, and then he keeps the Krabby and it evolves earlier and gets it out quickly. Mm -hmm. It all depends on the experience he gets through Rock Tunnel as well. I mean, if he if if you have if you're running the sacrifice strats and you get a you know a glowing graveler that's supersized, that's going to evolve any four level Pokemon in your party that you have when you catch that graveler almost right away. If not on that fight, it'll evolve before the time you get to where where that that juggling act becomes an issue. That's a very good point yeah. too. So yeah, it, it like I said, it comes down to what you're. How much you're able to adapt, how quickly, 
and how thoroughly you're able to adapt to any given situation. Whether you get a glowing Pokemon, whether it ends up being supersized, and what Pokemon you have in your party, and how uh. how good you're able to do menuing. So, okay, so Zeon is on the boat rival, um, taking the time loss to have Ekans join the fray. Um, not sure um, if Zeon misread the notes, or actually his speed is much worse than I thought, but he used his guard spec on this fight to avoid um, sand attack. Uh, so Which that is... might be a problem for Pitnik or Alicia, since you also tend to guard spec on that fight, and I think he only bought one. So we'll have to is... see how that goes. <laughs> Depending on what his attack stat is going back up and everything, he might be able to 2C Picnic or Alicia and not have to worry about uh, the guard spec okay. for that fight. Okay, um, that would be good. With with a good enough attack stat, you could just X attack turn one there and then knock out the EV on that turn with, uh, with headbutt there and be perfectly fine. Oh, and Vermilion um, instantly saw a Nidoran male uh, up on Route 10, which is cool. King Par is actually on uh, Picnic or Alicia. Alicia. Go figure. With, we were just uh, talking about her. Yeah. Interesting trainer there. That's so that's one of those that that's one of those fights that I actually was experimenting quite a while with uh, with two C fights on, even without having mm, a good enough okay. attack stat. Um, you got less than a 50% chance of it using Growl or Sand Attack on the EV, um, which if it uses either one of those moves, you know, Growl obviously is more devastating than, than Sand Attack, um, but you do have the 10% chance of the Headbutt flinch on turn one there with the uh, with the 2C strat, so um, it's something I kind of played around with. The guard spec is a slightly slightly better odds being able to get through that fight in, uh, in three turns versus the Versus the 2C fight. So, so Vermilion is on Route 10. He found Nidoran Mail and then didn't really find a whole lot else. Um, something I noticed was um, this this route only has four slots in it. Um, and you, you tr want to try and get them all to spawn before you try to catch anything because that catch chain can really throw off what you get to spawn on this route. Um, and I noticed that um, Vermilion was also running around a lot, which, you know, uses your lure steps. So these are the little things that you, like, see with runners that are slightly less experienced uh, because they haven't had to sit on Route 10 and hope for good catches quite as long as some of the more experienced runners have. Uh, which, hopefully, um, by fighting Lorelei and resetting the route, uh, really can go back up and get a couple of the things because um, 21 going into Rock Tunnel, a little bit low. Um, especially since looking at the tracker, I think... Oh, he's got a baby rat. Uh, but you'd yeah, like... he, caught, he caught a Rattata into uh, right before the Nidoran okay. male. You'd like to see either Spiro or Nidoran female, if not both, I think, in this case. Um, otherwise, you're going to start really getting greasy in the late game, trying to make those late game catches. You might even be able to catch a Raticate here, because Raticate is a similar EXP bomb to Graveler, and it's also a similar catch rate, too. Um, I think if you Raz it, it's like 88%. Or maybe even better than that. It might even be. Raz, yeah, Raz double great for the eradicate. If you excellent the throw, is like a ninety. I think it's like a ninety nine percent or ninety to ninety nine percent chance. Of okay. Catching. So it's yeah. not a bad catch. Um, if if Definitely. that's something that maybe he looks at, because that we can just get the experience. Uh, yeah, he's getting a little bit bodied by the fact that he's on a neater end catch chain right now, unfortunately. But he does get a Spiro. That's really good. So he's at least going to go in. Um, maybe only one short um, rather than sorry, one pair short rather than two. That's one mm -hmm. less bad pair you have to catch late game. And King oh, Par yeah. actually had another one of the experience bombs on this route on his uh, on his route with the Nidorino, a glowing Nidorino. Ooh, you, get, spicy. you get very similar experience points to the Raticate. The thing with the Nidorino and Nidorina is that they do those little half jumps sometimes. Yeah. So it's it's sometimes harder to hit those excellent throws to be able to get that maximum catch uh, probability and get those maximum uh, experience yeah. points. Especially with his Joy Cons, it looks like they're kind of a little off here today for first. We all we moment. all hate a bad Joy Con moment. <laughs> yeah. Motion controls are just not not good things. Yeah, I was actually going to ask about that. Like, what do you guys think about going for? Because Vermilion had a glowing Need Arena, King Par had the glowing Need Arena. What do you think about just saying? Hey, there's only four catches. It's not much there. 
just going for the experience and getting one catch instead of two instead of two. If you really need catches, yeah, I think I think you go for it. If you're in a bind, you need the experience. Like I was saying earlier, experience is king, especially in Eevee. Uh, and it's not like, um, unfortunately, King Par is kind of really hoping for a Nidoran male, um, because Nidoran male will be his main for the next section of the run. Whereas in Eevee, you just want experience on your Eevee, man. Your Eevee is your, your, your partner and will be until you switch to Starmie. So you really just want to have your Eevee as well advantaged as possible and catching every EXP bomb you can gets you in a better position. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And and it's something where, you know, my, my most recent PB, I actually skipped Neater and Female and Neater and Male altogether because they weren't spawning wow, for me. Wow, right on. And I got, I got Nidorina and Nidorino because, again, that's what was spawning on the route for me. And, you know, I wasn't going to stand around and, and wait, you know, for the next cycle of, of spawns to change over or anything like that and didn't want to use my repel that early in the run. Yeah. Uh, Vermilion just stepping into Rock Tunnel f caught a Graveler right away. Um, so got the Evo on the rat the Ratata, uh, and it's nice and dark in here. Uh, oh no, there's a gold bat in the way. That's not what you want to see. Uh, there is a lot of Pokemon to catch in Rock Tunnel, though. There's the Graveler, there's your best friend Rhyhorn, who you will ride until you can find a, a Ponyta on a Rapidash later. Machop, Cubone, uh, the Zub, and I think that's everything. Maybe not a Kangaskhan. We don't- this is an AOP. Yeah. Maybe just uh, if you if you encounter it, maybe get some rare char, possibly. Yeah, if you, rare if you see rare char, yeah, if you're feeling it, if you if you're feeling lucky, it's... it's a hard catch. But yeah, it, it is. Uh, yes. I, I will say though, I'm very surprised that Vermillion decided to go with the non-glowing graveler right off the bat as soon as he entered, just because he does have that minus attack EV. Um, I would think you'd want to try and get that glowing graveler later on in the, in Rock Tunnel, possibly maybe after you've gotten a couple few more catches, that mm -hmm. he can get more experience points. So is that way some of those those potential ranges are no longer ranges again. So I do. I, I was do, very surprised by. I do get it though, um, because um, it looks like Vermilion is using the beginner notes. Beginner notes require you to leave Rock Tunnel with both a Rhyhorn and a Graveler. So he very well may have seen that and went, I have a Graveler, I need it. I just gotta get it before I get unlucky. Oh, I would have gone back. That might have been a Rhyhorn. And it is. It is a Rhyhorn, okay, yeah. yeah. I was like, that looked kind of Rhyhorn. That looked case. like that looked like Rhyhorn's booty. Go back. <laughs> um, yeah, Raz that, call to call to call C. Uh, Good. Dion going straight into a Spiro encounter. We got dual Spiro well. action, yeah. Zeon does have uh, a Krabby on screen as well. I did see before he went into Ooh, that, so okay. that Spiro encounter there. That'll be that'll be good for Zeon because Zeon could use the extra catches, but that starts introducing the problem of the party juggling that we were talking about earlier. The nice thing with a lot of Route 10, though, is that they're all, outside of Krabby, they're all one level evolutions. Yes, yeah. So. And he does, I did Ekans. forget, he's got Ekans, he's got Ekans, he's planning Level on getting 16. all the way to Arbok. What is that, 24 <laughs> to Evo? So 8 more? Uh, or for Arbok, it... 22. 22, 22. okay. So he's only like got King 6 Car's more gonna... levels on it. King Car's gonna be leaving with everything except for Krabby, which that's, is more That's good, than that's expected, enough. actually. Yeah. Uh, the Krabby's always yeah. seen as like a bonus, so that's really good. Yeah, Krabby's, yeah. Krabby's the rarer spawn on this route at 10%. So you definitely it's it's the classic you don't you don't look for it you like you don't wait for it but if you get it it's uh, feeling pretty good uh king far yeah barely uh seeing that need arena or that female need arena at the very very end right before leaving yeah king par's pika looks to be maybe a smidge low on experience given all the catches but that being said he's using nido king anyway for the next section so it's probably not the hugest deal yeah, these catch counts looking all right though, at the very least. Yeah, that's good. Oh, and Vermilion just twenty eight, going to town. Yeah, getting rid of get rid of everything there except probably maybe hold on to Graveler or maybe put it away so you don't get some experience. Either one should be pretty good, but definitely get some Rhyhorn in there. Make it, that buddy is gonna be on your side the entire time. Mhm. Mm yeah, we got our Looking friend. Low. Getting Rhyhorn pretty early in Tunnel is good. Um, you don't have to worry about it. Basically everything else is like, I could leave without this, um, if you really, really had to. 
it's it's a good time save as well getting it right oh, yeah. early in uh early in tunnel it, like it it legitimately can save you know a minute plus depending on how early into cave you can get it all right so now zeon had a glowing need arena so all three of them had either a glowing need arena or need aran it looks like zeon might respawn that route because looking at the catch tracker still needs um need aran or Rattata. may have missed it i don't know um you know, guys, when I think of Lorelai, my head turns all around. <laughs> Ice mommy? <laughs> Wait, what? Gentle as a butterfly, she moves without a sound. Um, I called her on the telephone, yeah. she says be there by 8. It's 8.22, so she was close. But anyway, um, <laughs> the rest of the runners are going through Rock Tunnel. Uh, we've got Winston on screen. Oh, Kang is gone. All right, I couldn't remember who that was. Um, for Eevee, I think the, the strat is just um, use the fake out turn for X attack um, or just sizzly slide to burn. I interesting. You would have thought yeah. that. Okay, yeah, Vermillion yeah, forgot. Yeah, he forgot, <laughs> yeah. He forgot, yeah, he forgot the X attack there. I think, I think sizzly slide and maybe bouncy bubble to get some XP back, but I don't know. If... No, you uh, for the Kangaskhan, you want to do the uh, double sizzly slide. Um, the. Uh, Kangaskhan's actually got a decently high special defense, um, and we pump into that X attacks, uh, the X attack there to be able to, to boost that attack stat. It also does okay. a lot of damage. Uh, it, so that it does. Burning it that makes it things safer. There is a Machop that a trainer has in Rock Tunnel that you burn because if you don't, you die. Oh yeah, yep. you Whoop. see, that whole dying thing doesn't sound great. So, yeah, fa yeah, fainting, fainting. Pardon me. This is, hey, this no, is a Pokemon game after very all. Good, uh, very good point. Which I'm not sure what I, I couldn't see what level the uh, Eevee was there. If the Eevee's 25, he is safe to be able to double bouncy bubble the uh, the chop there, especially with that uh, oh. that heal menu that he did. Oh, okay. I I struggle myself um, getting good experience out of tunnel. I'm usually at like 25, but I'm usually not higher than that. Okay, so Zion did in fact go back up trying to find something. I might take that neat arena if I was him. Uh, yeah, I'd take that neat arena and get out of there. It. Yeah, I think you take the neat arena and leave, uh, personally. Uh, I forgot Zion's listening. We're just giving him advice. <laughs> <laughs> Evie is 24, okay. Yeah, so he's, he's a oh, little he's gonna, low. Okay. Too. Okay, waiting for that spinner, that's fine. I think Zeon oh, might be trying to brute force to... some encounters, yeah. Okay, there's a I... Spiro. I super forgot that that's an option. Yeah, you can if, you re if you're if you really in a bind. You can just be like, you, go away. And then something else will spawn and take its place. It's slow, but it works. It is something, if, if for for me personally, at this point, I would I would have taken either the Neat Arena or just not gone back up there at all. Radza, yeah. you got seven other places that it'll spawn on the run. So yeah. you don't have to get Rattata in this spot here. Yeah, I think once you get the, the Nidoran female, you leave. Um, especially since um, Zeon was doing the spinning around, uh, running out the lure steps. You gotta save those lures for... You gotta get through Route 17 with them, basically, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you only have 11. Um, and if you're spending too long doing all that... Uh, see, there's that glowing right Graveler on King Par's screen that we all would have loved to see instead of that plain one that we caught earlier. And then we have a Golbat party on the other side. With an Onyx. Flapping their party. wings, being all big and in the way. Which we were talking about earlier. Onyx in Rock Tunnel is a no-go outside of... I think no-go outside of AOP runs. You got less than 50% chance with a double great throw hitting a nice on it, which hitting a nice yeah. on it's like hitting an excellent. I know of only one runner in this tournament that would like willingly go for an Onyx, and that person's name is Sandy Beach, and it's not Phoenix Melior. <laughs> it is. It is not King Trubs either. <laughs> and oh, we got wait, rare oh, char. Hey, Ooh, rare, the rare char. Glowing char. Interesting. Uh, I think you definitely raz that. Uh, we're for millions. Just gonna yolo it, cause you know. Right. Yeah. That's... Okay, par pardon me, Sandy. Sandy says they'd only go for Moon Onyx, and you know what? I respect that. Definitely not the Rock Tunnel Onyx. Alright, maybe going for- yeah, going for Raz here. Uh, so, so if you are famil familiar with Pokemon Go, it's the same deal here. Uh, the color of the circle that's closing in on the Pokemon uh, details how hard they're going to be to catch. If it's green, 
that is good. If it is red, that is bad. It is going to be really hard to catch when it's red. And anything in between, yellow's, yellow's like, uh, not a little bit harder than green. Orange is like, eh, a little less, little easier than red. But that being is... said, though, um, uh, one of our good... Oh my god. Um, this chairmander is being a jerk. One of our um, good friends, uh, Nubis, actually did some, some figuring about the game. Uh, and we learned that that circle, uh, it is not affected by the ball being used by the second controller. However, the ball being used by the second controller does actually impact the catch rate. Um, so it may have been, uh, you may see that you've got an ultra ball and an ultra ball on something, and it's only like a, a yellow circle. It may actually be green in the game's code, um, but it just won't change depending on whether or not you have that ball as a Pokeball or an ultra ball on the second controller. It's really weird. Um, and we only learned that I want to say like a year ago. I don't know what is time. It wasn't time? even a year. It wasn't even a year ago. Yeah, that, it was that, that, pretty recently. Like, it was like it was like winter of uh, this this past winter is when that that yeah. information came out because we we were all under the assumption, especially during the AOP runs, that the the second ball doesn't matter. So like you would purposely stockpile Pokeballs the entire run just because that's that's what you would use. So I do want to finish out by saying that. The, the pushing that Anubis did and helped us fi helping us figure out what happened really made the run like go to that sub three time. Um, after saying that, I see that Vermilion has gotten burned by this full pix, which is really unfortunate. Um, Ace Trainer Sophia sucks. Um, her cadaver is really dangerous. So if you get burnt on this fight, you have to summon the second controller and you have to heal that burn. Um, if you don't, you will not kill this cadaver and this cadaver could kill you. I have lost more runs to Ace Trainer Sophia than I'd care to uh, care to admit. On my um, my learning run when I went through here, um, I was learning this game before Etchy revamped the beginner notes to be a little bit more race friendly and before it had really been like piloted. Um, so when I did this fight the first time, I had my Rhyhorn in slot two, and I had my peak my Eevee, and I was bopping along, and it, the Rhyhorn just got one shot, completely melted, and I was like, I don't. Yep. What do you do? Because it was not in the notes before that this was even a thing that could happen. Um, so, shoutouts to Echi for um, helping helping me figure out what were the the notes needed some help when we were when we were setting up for the tourney. Yeah, and and Rhyhorn dying to that Kadabra again comes back to, to what I was talking about back when they were battling. Oh my god. Rock, rock, oh, rock ground types have such high defense stats and somewhat mm -hmm. mediocre special defense stats, especially in the uh, the early game, um, the, the early gens. The uh, yeah, the the cadaver is just going to be a guaranteed one shot almost every single time. Yeah, it's it's not it's, it's scary, and um, you I think for beginner notes at least you want the Rhyhorn to be alive and well for um, the tower arrival coming up here. Uh, I'm not sure mm. about advanced strats if you still want the Rhyhorn. I think you do. Advanced strats you still do, so it, yeah. you know, no matter what, you're gonna have to do a uh, do a healing menu. Um, something I started doing in the uh, in the uh, if I get burned in that fight on turn one, um, I'll actually take turn two and I'll just use a burn heal while the Vulpix is out there, um, especially if I know I'm gonna outspeed the Kadabra because I know I'm not gonna, okay. not gonna be dying to the Kadabra on. Uh, on that next turn. Right, okay. So King Par finally getting his uh, Rhyhorn. It looked like oh. it was a glowing one. It, it was, it was tiny. Whenever no you see, it. whenever you see the Rhyhorn, you just have a sigh of relief. You're oh, just like, oh, there it is. He's getting a cringe cycle. Oh God, the excellent, Whew. Uh, But whenever you do finally see a Rhyhorn, if you're like almost all the way through tunnel and you haven't yet, it's just like, okay, finally, the run can go. Normally, everything's fine. <laughs> now you just have to get a good star. Well, it's just easier said than done. <laughs> it sure is. All right, so Zeon, I think, is still partway th in the middle of Rock Tunnel looking for a Rhyhorn and a couple other things. It, uh, his EV is already level 25, uh, which is really nice to see. We were saying earlier that Zeon was probably going to be good for experience. Oh, yeah, he's in the first screen of Rock Tunnel. He's totally yeah. fine for experience. Uh, King Bars, I think I, only, I just saw it was level 24. Is he really level 24? Uh, yeah, Which it's, is a, it's a little low. He's had before... some experience problems this entire run. Yeah, this is kind of bad. It depends on where he's at after this Cubone catch. Okay, 25. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, you want to be 25 
going into the uh, going into the Sophia battle. Um, if you're as long as you're 25 by the Sophia battle, you'll be you'll be okay for uh, for rival for, uh, rival four coming up here. Okay. Um, the beginner notes say that before you leave tunnel, you want to be 25. Um, so being for, before Sophia gives you a bit of a better gauge. Mm -hmm. I want to mention too. So one of the thing, I mean, obviously Pokemon very clearly a lot like game that involves some, some luck here and there. Mm -hmm. And one of those things that it ha that uh, one of those things where it comes up is like in Vermilion's case where he finds that rare char, didn't see a single Cubone throughout the entire time, didn't run into one, but he doesn't have to worry about his catch count anymore because it just evens back up. Not even not even like it considering the fact that it can spawn in tower 2 and be ama that be amazing cuz you only have to uh, level it up once. But just mm -hmm. not having to worry about like losing those two catches that you think you would usually get. I'm just noticing now, actually, that so so Vermilion is um, in on Tower Rival uh, with 31 pokes, which I think is a little on the low side for leaving Tunnel. Yeah, it, it uh, is a little bit on the lower side. Again, that's one of those. I try to be somewhere between 30 and 35. So yeah, he's, I was going to say 33. My target range would be. Yeah, 33 is probably like you're feeling okay when you leave tunnel with 33. Yeah, which it looks like King Car King Par is going to be at 33, and uh, Zion should be oh, at well heart. over 33 here. No, what a miss today. So yeah, he had he had 31. The Zubat hadn't evolved yet, and he also he missed out on. Uh, the female Nidoran and the Cubone, so that's like three. That's three catches that he. That's three catches essentially that he didn't doesn't have yet that he normally would. The Golbat evolving late as well. Uh, yeah. Not. It's not a like a terrible situation for him. Well, getting the rare char helped. Um, yeah, getting like the rare I'm, char helped yeah. a lot. I'm looking at Vermilion's tracker. Um, currently 51 planned um, with the entire Pidgey line. Uh, and just coughing as a one-off, which I like, like hedging into coughing, um, because Route 17 Pidgey is kind of hard to bank on. You're, you, you know, you can bank on maybe Pidgey or Pidgeotto. It's probably better to bank on Pidgeotto, um, just because you may or may not see that Pidgey. So I like the hedge into coughing here, just in case only one of the the birds spawns. Um, by birds, I mean Pidgey or Pidgeotto. Yeah, you gotta keep you gotta keep your options open when things mm -hmm. aren't going exactly your way, and knowing yeah. exactly what you should be going for. Yeah, but this is the part of the run where you start trying to like figure out your final catch path. Um, once you leave tunnel, you kind of know if you're in good shape or if you need to do a lot of late game catches, or you know how you need to salvage a, a bad catch route. You mm -hmm. know all those different things that can come up. Um, so like King Par has got 52 planned, uh, and right now. Um, right now does have um, Grimer and Muck planned. Um, doesn't currently have Tenta Tenta Cool and hope Tenta Cool Tenta Cruel. Pardon me. Hopefully we don't have to go there because Tenta Cool <laughs> sucks to catch. Um, but could be an option if something goes south, like maybe um, Ghastly doesn't spawn or something like that. Yeah, and, and that's what actually what I was gonna say. There is he he's got it kind of planned out where you know he's got his options. You know if he gets Ghastly, mm -hmm. gets Pony. But Doduo doesn't spawn. He doesn't have to waste time on Doduo. He could just go grab Grimer and then just use Rapidash for for the blue fight. Um, mm -hmm. So you know he he's got his his options kind of set up there for what spawns over these next few uh, few sections here. Oh, and King Bar is actually leaving Rock Rock Tunnel with 35 um, because he's just evolving the Nido King right now. So that's a really good catch position to be in. Yeah, he's super, and his his goal bat has a new. His Zubat hasn't even evolved yet. He's still got he's got the Cubone and the Machop, which are gonna evolve in a few levels. He's big chilling right now. He does not really have to worry too much about his catch count. He doesn't even really have to bank on Grimer Muck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very true. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know Sorry. if Grimer is a big troll or not. I I know coughing can suck, but I don't know if Grimer moves around in the same way. Uh, I would imagine not. I would imagine not, but who knows? Grimer... Yeah. Grimer doesn't strike me as a... high-moving person. Chat saying, Grimer is the easiest catch in the game. Well, I guess that's why you play Pika. 
Um, okay. So you don't have to worry about coughing, being a jerk. Thought you weren't gonna slander Pika. <laughs> Well, that's not a slander. It's, I'm not slandering Pika. Pika. I said that was better. <laughs> yeah, it's Pika propaganda right there. It's Pika propaganda coming from an EV runner. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Vermilion's going into C Celadon City. Let's see so, if if um, Vermilion does the good thing, does the right thing, does the correct thing. So, and Vermilion doesn't need any of the spawns that would show up here on Route uh, Route Eight, anyways. So, you can just kind of go. Uh, Is there so not a pull the Joker? Um, there might be, actually, but it won't be a high enough level where you could evolve into Pidgeot, so it would be better to um, get it on Route 17. Uh, so, okay, so Vermilion has taught Glitzy Glow over Sizzly Slide, um, which, yes, that's beginner strat. Uh, and good, uh, Vermilion has remembered to talk to the channeler. And that's blue, and that's red. Okay, so we have set Modest successfully. Good job. Very... Very Z bad. Zeon. 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 Uh, what are you doing? Zeon, what are you doing? He's going for it. He's going for it. He's doing his best. That's an excellent on the second that try. That is an okay. excellent. Okay. Let's go. Ed Ed blesses in chat. Hey. Oh, didn't even need the blesses. Easy game. Zeon gets it, the no, 1% No, don't Kanga. ride Kanga, it's time loss. We already have shiny Ekans we don't get to see anymore. Oh, but it evolved! It's gonna evolve! We're gonna see, sh we're gonna see shiny Ekans one more time. Shiny Ekans we'll last the, the shiny Cobra. We're gonna get a, a Zubat evolution here as well. You know, it's looking pretty good on this patch. I think he still needs a right. No, with all the these one. evos, he's going to be leaving Rock Tunnel in good shape. This is a great. We're going to have yeah. Zion's just going to like sit back and mash A a little bit. It's going to be great. And there we get the beautiful golden cobra. Oh, look at that! Those um, those markings on its chest are awesome. Yeah. Arbok, Arbok has Arbok has a really cool shiny sometimes because sometimes they do it like kind of a nice like almost goldish color. Other times they keep it kind of like a like a not so appetizing green. Kind of like trying Jolteon. to say that as delicately as I can. It's okay, it's, uh, my favorite Pokemon is Jolteon, and they ruined Jolteon's shiny color by get, making it toxic green. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my favorite evolution is Espeon, and, uh, yeah. We all know how that one went. Yeah. Okay, Vermilion has entered Rocket Hideout, fighting the Hypno, which decided to troll real Ooh. hard to put him to sleep. Hypno will do that sometimes. In fact, this that's is, like this one is of the a... main Hypno does. Yeah, this, this is awkward is a... because... Oh, gosh, This is okay. a range for him as well with that minus attack stat. Oh, and he hit the range. Okay, that's yes. good. Nice. So that uh, that minus attack. This is going to be the this is going to be the section where that minus attack stats really going to kind of start rearing its head more, just because of it. You know, you use so many headbutts, double edges, sizzly slides, so much of that throughout this entire section that that Vermilion's in here. Well, actually, like, so there's no, there's not gonna be any sizzly slides because it is the beginner note. Uh, it's just gonna be a lot of headbutts, uh, so that's gonna benefit him a tiny bit. But it, we're still, like you said, definitely going to be seeing that. And hopefully, like, he's got himself technically a bit of a lead, but it's not enough to be comfortable by any means. So he's got to make sure yeah. he's playing on point, and if something mm. goes wrong, he's able to fix it up real quick. On the bright side, the glitzy glows, they'll be good. Uh, so JJ2 and 3 looking to be a little bit better, um, but the other fights are going to be kind of cringe. So it does look like Vermilion will be using boom strats on, uh, on Giovanni coming up here yep. as well. Boom strats on Giovanni, and I'm assuming um, sacrifice strats on JJ2 and 3. Uh, so it should be safe, maybe a little slow, maybe a little awkward with uh, party management, but... Um, We'll hopefully get through without too many issues, even with the minus attack. Yeah, I could see him doing. I could see him doing sack strats for uh, for J and J, or he might do uh, the Rhyhorn strats, which are uh, a newer newer mm. strat out there. Also, um, O sevens for the shiny Arbok. 
died to Sophia. Very tragic. Hate to see it happen. This will not go unpunished. Sophia. The, don't catch the second Kangaskhan, Zio. Don't, don't go for the second <laughs> Kangaskhan. This has been an AOP run. You already got one. Now we just need I a Chansey on Route 17 to top it all off. I saw him considering that. I'm like, please, no. Don't do it, man. Maybe a Bonjour? Maybe? Bonjour? Vermilion up against the uh, the the one of the more trolly fights here in Rocket HQ. We'll see um, how much of a problem this is for him, actually, because he's plus attack, plus special attack. Oh, it lived. Oh no. Okay. Oh, he's modest. Yes. Oh, I thought it was bold. Um, I think I was modest when I saw the stats earlier. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay. I might have I might have miss saw misread the stats uh, when they I, I have, uh, unfortunately I haven't paid attention to when he has taught a move to see what his uh, stats look like. I thought no, I did. You know what? It, we tried. We yeah. <laughs> we did. We did. We did. did. A yeah. for effort. We get we get an A for effort. Okay. A for effort. A, a for <laughs> effort. We knew it was minus. Oh, that, that, was, that, 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 that was that was bad, Phoenix. That was bad. I am Canadian. <laughs> I'm allowed to make these jokes and make fun of myself. I, no argument here. <laughs> it's what we do. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so yes, now Vermillion is setting up um, for the next few uh, fights. Uh, so you put the Wigglytuff in slot two, uh, so that way when it dies, it'll go immediately into uh, the Graveler. Um, for, well, okay, so you want it to go into the Rhyhorn uh, once it dies on the JJ2 fight. Um, and then you swap the Eevee for the Graveler um, when you go into Geo, so you can do some Boom Strats on Persian. Good old boom strats. The nice thing is that um, you'll see when we get to tower that there is a free heal. Um, so even though the Wigglytuff will be dead, it will be revived in time for the JJ3 fight. So it is well planned out, um, but you do sacrifice that party slot and another one for Graveler. Speaking of healing though, I was a little... I don't know the exa exactly how PP management works out from here, but he's got, I think, one headbutt left, maybe two or something. That should be... Uh, that should be okay. Uh, because the next fight is JJ2, in which you use Glitzy Glows. Uh, maybe a headbutt to finish something off if, if ranges are real bad, but I think it'll be okay. Um, and then you're going to be fighting Haunters and uh, Rhyhorns, so you won't be using headbutt, so you should be okay. If you, uh, if you double edge a Haunter, nothing happens. In case anyone was wondering. Yeah, I guess technically you would have to hit the Pokémon for it to deal recoil damage to you. I'm definitely not dunking on a runner who did that yesterday. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I was I was a little worried. Definitely that not. That. Yeah, okay. definitely we, not. We we we're not gonna make fun of him because he was having some technical issues, so Yeah, no, I'm 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 not trying to make fun of said person <laughs> at all. I I, 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 know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to be funny and entertaining, that's all. Anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm also confused a little bit for Zion's Rival 4 here, not having the Rhyhorn swapped into slot 2. Now the question is, was it the Arbok? Because he could just be styling that, and you know what, that's allowed. He had a uh, Krabby out there. Oh, okay, so that might have just been a mistake. I think he just forgot to do a party That party was swap. probably just a mistake, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going into J and J2 right now for Vermillion. King Par not too far behind, though. Yeah, um, I think King Par is also a little ahead on catches, so this is pretty close yes. between the two of them right now. Yeah, well, King Par right now is about two fights behind uh, Vermillion, but he he should be catching up quite a bit here, just because again he does have those those two extra two extra pokes here. Um, it looks like Vermillion does have quite a few more catches that he needs to make as well. Yeah, so. They're they're close right now. It'll really depend on how catches and how some of the later game fights shake out for both of them to see who will make it out ahead. So, still going to be a very close race. Still going to be a lot of duking it back and forth. Actually, interesting because like looking at what they need to catch exactly, um, it seems like for like for million, like he has probably about the same catch. Like maybe just one more thing. Maybe just one or two more things. 
Uh, it looks like... yeah. So it looks like, um, currently, Vermillion's gonna be trying to catch Duck and Coughing, um, and the re quote unquote required catches and Ghastly and the Pidgey. Uh, whereas King Par will be looking at the Grimer and the Pidgey and the Ghastly. So it looks like Vermillion's already like creeping into the late game catch territory, the, the coughing, the Tenta. Um, whereas looking at King Par's tracker, they're hoping to be done after they catch the star um, and the Grimer. So. Well, actually, he's a 52 plan, so he probably, like. He, he may not even need, need the, the Grimer. Yeah, yeah as if long he finds as. Pidgey. Yeah. If he finds Pidgey, which. Um, he, Currently planned for King Par is Pidgey and Pidgeotto. I think this could easily also be Pidgey and P Pidgeotto and Pidgeot. Um, if yeah, we so want to either one of those way. will work. Either one of those would work for this, yeah. So that that's a little bit more flexible than what what Vermillion has. But Vermillion also has 51 planned. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, you can either catch Pidgey or Pidgeotto, um, evolve them once, and then there's the coughing. That could also be a flex spot, and you could evolve that too. Yeah, um, I think that's probably a better play. You don't uh, you don't evolve. Not, you don't evolve nine tails. Uh, you get rid of one of the birds, and then you evolve coughing. That seems like probably yeah. Smoother. It'll depend on how the party space shakes out, um, because y you don't want to have too many things in your party. You can only have six Pokemon in your party, uh, and for um, for when you go into self co, Star, it, Pony, and, and also, Trio will be three of them. It'll also depend on what spawns he gets on seventeen yes. as well, because Vermilion, I believe, has already used his. Uh, already has used his repel so he does not have that to fall back on to reset the route on 17 anymore mm -hmm. that is a very yeah. very good point indeed you do only get one repel for the route uh it's generally used to reset i see a lot of people use it on route 10 just because there's a limited number of slots but if you get a good route 10 you generally don't uh you generally can save it for later in a good spot exactly like route 17. Mm -hmm. It looks like um, Vermilion made it through JJ2 without too much trouble. Missed the, I think that was a range on Weezing. Missed that, um, but looks like there wasn't too much trolling there. Um, EV just at level 28 on Archer. Uh, so that's good. We're going to skip double edge because it looks like we're using beginner strats. And we have our Graveler who will be poised and ready to, um, to do some exploding real quick here. At this point, you wouldn't teach double edge anyways. It's no. it's not worth it's not worth the time lost to teach it for one one fight. That it, even in the advanced strats, you don't use double edge for it. You just yeah. Slide. I was just thinking about that. I don't think yeah. You just use sizzly slide on the Persian because the slash crits can be kind of dangerous. You don't really want to lose any health for that. So makes sense that you wouldn't even bother with double edge at that point. Yes, um, we're going to be seeing. Um, the Graveler coming out, I hope. I didn't see if Vermillion swapped it. Um, yes, he did. He swapped, cool. okay. uh, he swapped yeah. here just So a you'll X attack twice. You'll X attack twice. Um, a full health Graveler should have no problem living slashes from Persian. Um, even if they crit, I'm pretty sure it's good. You, if you get real low, just super potion. <laughs> Don't risk it. Um, three, and then, uh, three crits so three crits would kill the uh, kill, would crits? kill the Graveler. Yes, three though crits. you kind of you kind of hope that you get at least one fake out, but we'll see. Yeah, there's a fake out. Um, so one more X attack, and then you go boom, and then Persian is no more, and you can take that Graveler and put it in the box, um, and then the Eevee can come in and easily bouncy bubble the Rhyhorn that comes in. And Graveler go boom. Uh, oh, what did, I didn't see on just catch. I missed that. Rattata. 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 Okay, cool. So that's that's a, another catch that Zion can use there. Now we're at I think 30. 30, 30 for him, he's got 51 planned, uh, still a few things left needed to, actually no, he, he got Hidden Bell of all. It looks like um, King Par is in a, a little tricky position on uh, JJ2. The Arbok lived, um, I'm going to say a plus two drill run, is it probably what happened here. Oh, the Nido King fainted, oh dear, okay, well, hopefully... Yeah, which the, the Rhyhorn is under leveled. Typically, you want okay. Rhyhorn to be 25 for the J&J &J fight. This is um, 24. Yeah, 25 Rhyhorn's a 13 out of 16 to Oko the Arbok with, uh, with any nature other than a minus attack nature. Okay. But um, bringing out Pika will at least let you... Okay, well, I was going to say Zippy Zap, but Thunderbolt will definitely kill the Arbok. Um, Pikachu is probably faster, yeah, so... Yeah. Um, 
maybe taking one hit from the Weezing, but getting through JJ2 eventually. Yeah, the uh, the starter Pikachu is given steroids for uh, for its speed stat at the very it beginning. It sure is. Pretty much, because Pikachu has a base speed of I believe it's like base eighty or base ninety something something fairly fast. For the starter Pikachu is base one twenty, I believe. So they just yes, I think that's right. Up its speed like crazy. All right, and Zeon also setting modest. Uh, we did it. Good job, gamers. Uh, and Yay! teaching. With Teaching Glitzy Glow over Sizzly Slide. That's what you want to see. Uh, oh dear, I just noticed the move order. I think Xeon's um, using the old version of the beginner notes that has all the slots incorrect. Whoops. Oh, I miss it. What does he have those at? Uh, so Buzzy Buzz for him was slot four and Sizzly Slide was slot two. Um, there, there was a discrepancy in the notes um, up until um, they were fixed up before the tournament where it teach it says that Sizzly Slide is in the opposite. Um, it, it's fixed now, um, and it, the move order doesn't really matter. I think it saves you like one to two inputs or something like that overall over the course of the run. Um, just thought that was funny. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's the, also uh, important to just like muscle memory stuff, knowing exactly. Yeah, muscle memory also stuff, is a big thing. Um, I know. Is. I know etiquette um, in particular because he's been running the game for such a long time. Um, has a different move order than everyone else um, that he has told um, as many people as will listen yes it's faster by like two inputs do not switch it's not worth your muscle memory uh, so you know that comes up yeah my look like my my menus are slightly different from other from everybody else's mm -hmm. as well Just it's all again, comfort it's, yeah it's, it's all comfort it's all muscle memory so yep and don't switch it if you if you have something that works use that right like if your vermilion yep. skip is is dodgy and you go on an angle and you st can still get it, do that. Um, if, your if your vermilion skip is consistent every time and you know how to line it up, cool. You know, if it scares everybody else, nobody cares. Like, do things that make sense for you, right? Just because the notes say one way doesn't necessarily mean that it's the only way. Sometimes it does, but um, looks like, like, oh wait, I think vermilion went, yeah, oh, does. went the other way. Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't do the other one. He just, is, he just says not a today. That's a Cubone. That's a Cubone. Uh, that is I a love tower. So good. I he love gets tower, tower Cubone. Cubone. That's so good. Oh yeah, he That's, didn't get the Cubone. He did not get Cubone in... That's uh, actually in Victor, hype. Uh, My goodness. That's, That's really good. That's op technically that's optimal. If he, if he gets a yes. Ghastly, it's optimal. Um, okay, true. true, true, true. Yeah, because then he can... Uh, ooh, you get in the ball, young man. No dinner for you until you're done with your ball. Getting the ball, Nebby. There we go. Thank you. Okay. There we go. That's so good. Yeah. What do you get? Yeah, he gets rid of the coughing catch and the Nine Tails evolution there, uh, and and uh, he's now in a position where he only needs two of the three birds as well. That makes things. Oh, much better. Provided he gets Ghastly. Yeah. Um, Provi okay. Yeah. Can I cannot understate that enough. He's currently on a Cubone is... catch chain. Which spawns which if are he low doesn't in get tower. Ghastly, if he doesn't get Ghastly, his fallback then can become would then become uh, coughing. Ideally. Yes. Yeah. Um. The, like because he's on a Cubone catch chain and because spawn rates are low in tower, he might not get a Ghastly. I really, I really hope we see one. True. Uh. But you know, it's not over until it's over, when it comes to Let's Go. You're now, not are you guys, GG are until. You guys for, are you guys for tour, uh, tower lure or no? Um, I tower lure uh, out of habit. I think it makes more sense to keep the, the lure up from tower all the way through to route 17. Um, just cleaner menus, I guess. Um, I think it was Amber who earlier in the week told me adamantly against tower lure. Thinks it does nothing. Thinks it doesn't help at all. Thinks it might negative help. You know. But so I have I, I like have stopped. It, yeah. I have stopped using because I I used to tower use the lure for tower every single run. I have stopped doing that altogether, and I'm getting more consistent ghastly spawns than without the than when I was using lure. It's impossible to know if that's confirmation bias or not because even after the the data don't listen to Nintendo. Even after that, 
we don't know how they work or how any of that like influences catch rate, so it's impossible to tell which is correct. I think for a beginner, I think it makes sense. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily oh, good when you get to higher levels. Like you may not want or need Ghastly. Ghastly, I think, just makes running from Snorlax safer and all that other stuff. Um, also, fun fact: that hype, that um, that item ball that Vermillion just passed is a hyper potion, and if I'm low on supers, I definitely pick it up for the Archer Two fight that's coming up soon. That would actually be a smart play because I think Vermillion is lower. Yeah, I, I know a couple of the runners are getting low on super potions. If I'm like five or less, I probably pick that up. King Par just used his last potion. He's got a, probably I think yeah. four or five super potions left. He was doing some question. He was like doing some hesitating on healing and stuff. Oh, that's another. Key. Yeah. So that it, I don't think King Par is listening to us. But if I was, I would pick up that hyper potion. That's just um before the the Marowak cutscene that we skip. You said you believe he's at like five five super potions left. That's what I uh, think. He I was saw. before he started Archer. So um, he should he should be good to still have probably two to three for uh, for Archer. Uh, Archer yeah, three. yeah. Um, also, Vermilion did not yeah. see a ghastly did commentator's not. curse. No, right. you're right. I, I was too confident. I'm like, yeah, you're going to <laughs> you're see. Too confident. Sure. There's going to be a Ghastly. No. Turns out no. Surely, in, in Lavender Tower, of course there's a Ghastly. No. So uh, again, so then, he, basically then his fallback zero. becomes coughing, so. Yep. Fallback is coughing again, and that's okay. Um, it's not ideal, but it's better than Tentacool. Yeah, he's, he, he just needs to get the big four to show up on, uh, on Route 17 coming up here. Mm-hmm. Or he pulls an etiquette and goes for the uh, the Snorlax catch. <laughs> that sounds... I could do that. I missed etiquette that part of the race. That, yes, oh my etiquette did that uh, yesterday. I missed that. Oh my gosh, I have to go back and watch that lot again. I thought he was paying attention. Apparently not. That sounds. I believe it. I believe he did. I I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. We're just dunking on that poor man. Oh, this wheezing is just a jerk. All right, there we go. At least the the rock um the rock slide seems to have Let's finished see. both of them off. Grabler was there to clean it up. Thanks, Graveler. Now go away. Yeah, Gra Graveler's on the cleanup crew. He he's very helpful. Okay, Vermilion finishing up the the tower section. Gonna be going on to Route 17 to look for the final mount, and to clean up most of the rest of the catches before we get our new main. I wonder who it is. Oh, who knows? King Par is um, just going back into tower for the second visit, and, and uh, Zeon is just about to finish up the last three fights in the hideout. So we're moving right along. I think Polka Flute is about the halfway point as far as runs go. At least it's where I usually say, okay, I'm about halfway through. Yeah, you're you're about a little bit, a little bit over half. A little bit over half. Point. Yeah. Um, because bl at, at Blaine split, you're you've got about an hour of gameplay left after Blaine. Yeah. If oh, you're. No, oh no! Oh no! Was a little slow on the uh, pass. It wasn't even that King Par uh, was a little slow. It's that King Par was a little high. You have to hug the hug very the bottom. You have to hug that bottom wall for this trainer not to be able to see you. It's kind of like Alexa. The if you hug the bottom, you're fine. Um, okay, interesting. I, I don't do that pass because I I can't quite figure it out myself. Um, it, it's it's kind of like an Alexa skip. Um, if you go from the top, you have to be careful that she doesn't see you from the top, but you can kind of sneak around her in a slightly safer way, at least for me. This is one of those comfort I, things. I, I, I do it from the top. I, like, yeah, I do that, it from the top. That's the, way, that's the way I'm comfortable doing it, is coming in from the top. If you hug that corn, like... Because you've got that one spot where it kind of sticks out a little bit and then, yeah. you know, it goes down a little bit further. So if you just kind of hug that first turn there, um, she won't see you if she's facing up. And then again, you just hug that, that top ridge there when you go yeah. around the corner there and she won't see you at all. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a hard skip. It doesn't look hard, but it actually is. Um, but now all of the all of the runners have hit one optional, which is totally fine. Yeah, evens it out. Exactly. Vermilion Snorlax is not shiny. Sad. Eevee runs no problem. Uh, cut the Eevee in, presumably just to 
be able to run from the Snorlax. Um, yeah, that, yeah, I would Gastly, Gastly, I think, is guaranteed. Um, people have been saying that after Gen, I want to say six, ghost types can just run from everything unless there's um, a shadow tag effect. Um, I don't know if it's actually true for Let's Go. That'd be great if it was, but um, that's what people have said. Unfortunately, King Par got double heel tile awkward, but uh, what can you do? I don't even know how we're supposed to be able to avoid that. Okay, Vermillion is now... Gastly is, Gastly is naturally going to outspeed Norlax yes. at any level you catch it with any any stat range uh, for... Uh, Ooh, if, if, if okay. you don't so, so that's a Pidgey for Vermillion. So that's good. That means that all things spawning, we need a Duck, we need a we need a, a Doduo, and we need a Ponyta, and then we just need our new main, and then we're done catching for Vermillion, it looks like. Yep, that, it looks like that would be it. And then he has the option of either evolving Ninetales or just going for a catch. Like yes. Going for, going for Coughing, uh, going for Tenta, maybe Ditto if he sees it, but I and maybe think that ideally depends that on, be Coughing. Um, maybe that depends on how the catches shake out. If something breaks out, you might not have enough Ultra Balls to want to go for Coughing, and that's, that's, that's okay. That's a very good point That's, as well, that's yeah. when you pick up the Fire Stun. That's an Eevee. That's, that's funny. Two that's two Eevees. That, what the that's a shiny do duo. That's, that's a shiny. Oh, oh, that's a shiny oh. do duo. Let's go. What? Two shinies in what? one run. Let's go. That is a green burb. We got double shiny. Oh, oh that's cool. the right. swag. King Par, King okay. Par needs King a shiny Par. that's green now. Come on, get a shiny. Yeah. Please, King Par. Please. Get a shiny Grimer. I don't know something. Okay, now yes. the question is: Is Vermilion going to keep it in the party? <laughs> well, actually, oh, it might. Of if we're doing safe strats, might be, might be in the champion fight. That'd be pretty cool. Not shiny star. That's so much time we do loss. Not, we do not want shiny that star. Is shiny exactly star is the shiny last person. thing that we want. Um, this is a close but... race. We want something good, like. Oh, shiny gas. There's more good so news. Funny. The, and Vermillion had the pony on the screen as well. Right so all so Vermillion needs is left. the duck. Just we yes. need the fish like Psyduck. We just need the fish. That's not a great. How dare you, video game? That he just needs the bird. Like he one bird. That's all he needs. Shiny Ditto. Are you guys wishing death upon this run? Yeah, what do you, what do you guys got against Vermillion, man? What are you guys why doing against King Park? Why are we wanting Shiny Ditto? Like, that's <laughs> Chad, a horrible that for I realize, chat, that this, what is, you this, King is, this is the West Coast run, and all of y'all on the East Coast are tired, but still. Aren't, I mean, I'm East Alberta Coast, and I'm still more, functioning. More I'm in West, Mountain Time. Coast. I'm in Mountain Time. I'm thinking I'm confusing Alberta with one of the... I'm switching them up. Nobody knows oh, the geography of Canada unless you're in Canada. It's okay. Don't worry about I it. I know British just, Columbia I, and Vancouver are on the left. I'm uh, Alberta's directly next to British Columbia on the right side. Okay, I thought I it was... I don't disagree with you, T-Pat. Did, Shiny Ditto is it was fantastic. Brit left to right, British Columbia, Saskatoon... Uh, Saskatoon? <laughs> That's uh, a city. <laughs> That's yeah, a city. Uh, Sa Saskatoon... Saskatchewan. 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 I've never had to say that word out loud. Um, uh, then you Alberta, should, then You should Canada. not... Uh, well, I should, I, there's a lot of places <laughs> in uh, in Canada that have uh, native pronunciations um, that I am not good at. I do not pretend to be good at, but I'm trying, so... Yes, I now... I, I li live in America, and I'm not good at American things. I'm from That's near fair. Buffalo. I'm close enough to... Bu I, I grew up close enough to Canada that I... No. I, I know Canada. Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. That is yeah. a that is a complete and grammatically correct sentence for anybody. Yes, that's it curious. is. <laughs> yes, it is. That's why I said it. I'm a nerd. Anyway, back to the speedruns. Uh, Vermilion is evolving the the ponytail he got into Rapidash. That will be the right Pokemon for the rest horse. of the run. Big horse. I'm a horse now. Um, King Par is on Tower. Jesse and James. One of the last um, the last fight for Pika and for Nido King. They will be saying goodbye shortly and will be joining Vermilion on on the Route 17. Uh, is Vermilion, Vermilion still looking for a duck? Elixir. I believe he is Ooh. still looking for a duck. Zeon oh, that's not good. Past boom uh, uh, Vermilion forgetting the elixir is not good. <laughs> Vermilion also not listening to our commentary to know he forgot the elixir. The no, he grabbed the elixir earlier, didn't he? Did he? No, he did not. He grabbed the rare candy, but he did not grab the elixir Duck. after Ponyta. Okay, he so that's not great. So, um, 
It depends on when he uses the elixir. That could, um, it, if he remembers that he doesn't have it and just takes a TC heal, um, I guess after, um, after Koga, then it's fine. But if he uses it after Koga, that's not good because then you won't have it for the Elite Four. Yeah, I'm curious to see how he's going to play it. I, I don't know uh... if he just... I don't know if he just didn't realize that he just forgot to grab it when he was Can right there for the Ponyta. Probably. Because there's... um, If you're not familiar with this route, you have to grab four items, and there's a series of four screenshots in the beginner notes. They're like, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. But because the route moves so quickly and you're trying to get catches, it's really easy to miss an item. Um, it depends on whether or not Vermillion goes, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, before he leaves. Maybe he'll go back and notice. But I don't think that's super likely. Yeah, I don't think yeah, so. I yeah, think he's he, just going. Uh, he's going left side. Interesting. I guess this is safe, just really that's slow, because you have to get off your mount. Yeah, that's the safest path. The, the trainers on this route all have terrible vision terrible of only like vision. one to two tiles so you should be able to kind of zip through there without really being spotted by anybody unless you just get too close to somebody facing your direction yeah. but it also okay. it's understandably can be scary because that can if yes. they see you it's bad okay so vermilion is going into sea yeah. skim with 40 pokes um king par is just going under route 17 so he's about a section of the run behind King Par is going to be catching one, two, three things on this route. Maybe, f no, he has a side he? three. Yeah, he caught side yeah, on, he caught route, side uh, already. on route six when he was trying to get Growlithe okay. to spawn. So he'll be looking for a Grimer in Mansion and a Star. Um, but we we know that Vermilion may or may not have trouble with the Elite Four. So this is still a very close race. Vermillion has the Kabuto in this shot. Fun fact for anybody that doesn't know, uh, depending on what fossil you get in Mount Moon, the fossil Pokemon that's shown in this kind of little cutscene here will show the opposite of the fossil you grabbed. So because they grabbed Helix Fossil, or I believe all three of them grabbed Helix Fossil, they'll all show Kabuto in that little cutscene there. I also now have a cat attacking my toes. Mine came in earlier, but he was not feeling talkative, so. I wish I had a cat. Cat's pretty good. I just got my cat. Cats are pretty good. Yeah. Out, out of ten, at least a seven. Probably an eight plus. Prob yeah, depends on the cat. Yeah, I, some cats are like fives, but you know what? That's, that's how it goes. Zeon has gone the wrong ten, direction. Too much water. Zeon, Zeon is found is <laughs> Oh, did he catch one already? Zeon went the wrong way. Zeon is um, going on an adventure. I think he's he just got turned around. <laughs> Zeon's got the jukes. Oh, star for Vermilion. Oh. 1021. Okay, so Little average one. for Not stars. Curious. Average for stars is 1062. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what the CP says. It all comes down to um, how the stats the, are laid out. How it's laid out. So 1021 means nothing to us right now. We just like to use it as like a small gauge because overall it tells you the, the overall quality of the IVs of the star. Yeah, if it's about in the, if it's about in the middle, it's pretty, um, it, it can be bad, it can be good. Uh, if it's high, it's generally always pretty good. If it's low, it's generally always pretty bad. If you're using beginner notes, um, really the only thing that you're worried about is outspeeding everything. Um, if you can outspeed everything on Blaine and the Pidgeot on Rival 5, you're doing okay. Like, you can usually make up for a really bad special attack star just because you're doing so many safety strats. Um, so we just hope for good speed and, like, passable special attack. That's really, like, a fine star. Zion got his, uh, got his Ghastly to show back up. That's good. And it looks like, uh, Doduo just came in for King Par. Vermilion took that route very wide, but it worked out for him. And again, that just comes back to, to what we were talking about a few minutes ago. It's it's comfort. You know, it's what he's totally. comfortable with. Yeah. After, um, I want to say it was Iron, but I apologize, Iron, if it was not you, um, that hit that trainer from the bottom off screen earlier in the in the tournament. Um, 
some people just d refuse to go anywhere near that island anymore, and I respect it. I believe that was 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 that crisis. Me, it was spider. Thank you, Iron. I apologize. Spider, so that's yes. not great. That's not great special attack. Um, the speed is enough to outspeed the Pidgeotto at least, so that's good. Um, this, the special attack is left wanting, uh, but as uh, I was just saying, you can get through without it. That's minimum special. Yeah, it's not great. Wait, really? I don't know Bare if that's minimum? actually minimum. I, it might be two IV. I saw. I'm not sure. I saw seventy. I saw seventy-seven at forty-five. I thought minimum was actually lower than that, but maybe I I'm wrong. only know what it is when he evolves into a Starmie. We'll find that, out now. Yeah. We'll find out on the Scald teach. Well, he just he taught Scald beforehand, so. Oh well, never mind. Uh, so I, I remember think, long enough to look at it when he leveled up. I think Par just needs a pony. Here, pony. Here, pony, pony, here, pony. Here, here, anything. Hello, anything. Oh, there's the Pidgey. I guess um, King King Par also wanted a Pidgey. Or no. Yes. Okay. Pidgey good. Pidgey is indeed good. Kind of want the pony now, though. Edgy sweat. Pony would be pretty good. Seventy-two at level forty-three is minimum. That's what I thought. So what did you say it was? Seventy-seven. Oh, Forty-six. Okay, yeah, so he's he's barely above minimum then. I think he's like 2 IV, is my guess. Uh, but, yeah, not great. Okay, Zeon is approaching the JJ3 fight. Uh, so, almost all through the Poke Flute section, which is great. Uh, it looks like Vermilion's choosing, he's gonna evolve Ninetales later. And I not think that's fine. Cash. I think it, that makes a lot of sense. Fine. It should be fine. Yeah. I saw I saw the star troll him. He had a he had a I think a wide throw. Yeah, I think he probably had like three or four left, which is not ideal. If yeah, you have a few more, rather... I would say maybe go for it. Just get the experience that might be helpful still to get some of the things involved. There's the pony for pony. I agree. Oh, good. Okay. We got the shiny Arbok styling on Jesse James. Uh, ready to, ready to die again. We got double shinies on the screen now. Hell yeah! We're, we're, this is You'd the this is the bling red race. Oh no! no. Goodbye, shiny duo. Oh. You'll be back, I'm sure, because beginner notes use the bed heel. It's okay. We will miss you. I still use the bed heel. Par just evolve Growlithe. I mean, listen. Maybe. <laughs> this is a double shiny race. We're really hoping that King Par gets a shiny, uh, uh, All he's something, got left is something, Star Meat. Star something you, in so. Mansion. Just something in Mansion that, that King Par can try to catch for funsies, because I don't want to wish a shiny star on anyone in this tournament, oh, especially no. when this race no, is this no. close. No. No, no, no. Maybe you'll get uh, the the one in four thousand uh, shiny Larpus or uh, Porygon. Ooh, the shiny Bingus. I like it. If he gets like a shiny Magma or something. A shiny Magma it, blue. It better be blue. I'm checking right now. No, it's it, pink. It, um, I play Pokemon it's pink. Go. It's pink. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's, it's not the best shiny. A lot of the Gen One shinies are kind of lame, unfortunately. Yeah, I also had played Pokemon Go for many years. I, there was a there was a Magmar community there. That's how I know. I there was was that recently? That was more recently, wasn't it? Kind of. Oh no, 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 oh no, no, no! It wasn't as recently. Yeah, cause not really. Was... I took a Last break year. for like a year and then came back like around the pandemic, but. I took many breaks and came back many times. I took like a month break after the um, the Oras event. That was not fun, but oh boy. And Vermilion did grab the uh, Firestone for the yep. Nine Tail okay. coming up here. I really hope he remembers this elixir. I really hope that this isn't like zero double bad. I hope. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he can, he can't, you can get through. So. If you get 
a good enough star me and you get the right luck against Koga, you oh, can no. get through without elixirs. King Par's pony wasn't lured. Oh, Ooh, how bad is that? That's bad. That's that five really levels. Bad. That's really That's bad. Five levels? Even oh, if you get no. the mansion candy, you might not get that. That's really bad. Oh, no. King Par, no? King Par, maybe? Oh, he ran out of lures. Oh, no. He ran oh, out of no. lures and mansion. Um. Well, oh, wait, no. He used the super lure, um, so he's going to be okay there. But, oh, boy. That's rough. Might need to catch something in Mansion. Depending on his ball count, he might need to go for like a glowing magmar. Oh, that would that would not be good. Oh dear. I mean, glowing magmar double excellence uh, with the a Grimer, Raz is an eighty-eight percent chance. Grimer might be better. He doesn't need Grimer for his catch route currently. Um, so maybe he just catches a Grimer, um, and then just, like, takes the L on Ponyta and puts the Rhyhorn back in the party for the end game. Maybe. Because that's a lot of levels to try and get back. Yeah. I was gonna say, he does not have a Star U yet, which I'm surprised he did not backtrack for the two that were at the up at the top Ooh. of the row. Okay, so this is the first above average star I've seen... Um, in a long time in, a in this tournament. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not a week, I'm but the last race. This round. 75, I think it was. <laughs> this, um, this race, the previous race, did not have a single above average star. This is this one's barely above average, but it's the best one I've seen in a long time. So there you go. And Vermilion is about to start boiling. Let's see if he gets the turn one confuse ray. Also, chat is trying to summon Shiny Ditto. Using the wrong what is that? This? Why is that an emote? Grumpig, I understand. Why is the Ditto an emote? There's there's a Snorlax one too. Oh, I've seen the Snorlax one. Also makes sense. Yep, turn one confused ray. That's standard though. Um, that's what yeah. you expect to happen. It it kind of sucks though. It definitely does. Um, you want to kind of you never want it. Even when you know it's expected, you just would rather have the faster strat. But, you know, welcome to Let's Go. I mean, yeah, that's... But if he grabs the uh, Rhyhorn out on this uh, on his next Ooh, party menu. Okay. okay, this star isn't bad at all for King Par. Um, looks like it's going to outspeed... Uh, maybe not everything on Blaine, but it will outspeed the Rival 5 Pidgeot, which is good. That's not quite the right slot. That'll do. Uh, uh, that works as should, well, yeah. He should be, he should be outspeeding uh, everything for Blaine. I Good. believe you okay. need 90, I think you need 92 to outspeed, or 90 or 92 to outspeed everything for Blaine. Alright. We are going to see bigger shiny bird. Oh, Zeon. Oh, no. I, I knew that was going to happen when he picked That's... up the item. That's, so I that's... learned the hard way during my race that you need that ball to set up and you need to hug the bottom again. Um, like we were talking about for that trainer in tower, you really need to hug that bottom wall of the fence, otherwise he can see you. Um, and, and that yeah. trainer's an, an end runner, a run on, ender. This one's not bad. On the bright side, Ghastly has a shadow ball and that just kind of kills these Psyducks, actually. So it's... Oh, so never does, mind. So does... Side oh, a, a critical hit side beam? Yeah, that's not gonna... That's bad. Okay, I was gonna well, say, they have side beam. <laughs> Well, you know what happened is a crit, Psybeam, and yeah, that's not great. Well, um, maybe maybe we'll be fine next time around. We'll see. Oh, uh, and this is the drill run. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, this is this is going downhill quick. It's fine. I believe. Dead. Oh, I'll be okay. You believe, you believe in Zion. Oh, unless he gets... Oh, okay, never mind. He's got, he's got five we, in him. Can we get a let's freaking go in chat for, for believing? Okay, not let's the see. worst idea. Gotta just get through this fight, yeah. Vermilion, back in Vermilion. 
Uh, so, gonna... what level do you need to be to evolve Pony? 40. 40, okay. So, um, four more levels, which is gonna be real hard to get in Endgame, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so, you could try to get the Mansion Candy, which, um, if you don't feed it to Star, you could feed it to the Pony, but then you would need to have a Doduo natural into Dodrio, which may or may not happen, I don't remember when King Park got the Doduo. Um, but then that's still two more levels you have to gain in late game, when you don't gain a lot of experience in trainer battles. So this is this is tricky. All right, let's see if Vermillion can get uh, God Cams turn one. Well, there's the first one. That's good. That second can's always so tricky. Oh, he did it! Very good. Very good. I'm, that's I'm definitely not. About, I'm nervous about his movement coming off this okay. cam, though. He moved right. Good. Yeah, no, I, I am every time I do that. I have that, gotten that's tagged actually, by him before. <laughs> same. Every time I do that, I'm like, I have to go right, and I have to not talk to the sailor. It's so sketchy every time. A couple of years ago, we, they, when they were doing the uh, uh, barrier blitz, uh, I can't remember which runner it was. Somebody actually turned and just talked right to the sailor there. Zeon just... has beaten the the the, alt, the optional trainer. Whew. Yay! Yes. We got the super lure. But at what cost is the question I have now. No, wait. No, he's got extra lures, it's okay. Super lure yeah. is like a super repel, so it just lasts for more steps. Uh, there's a pony. Oh, yeah, I was wondering why there's he was doing... I was wondering why he was doing that right there's... now. He's probably just no got... Ball count? Zeon is probably just a little bit nervous at the moment. Um, yeah. And may also be a little bit low on balls. Um, may not have seen the pony also, because he's just like, I gotta fix this. I gotta fix so this right now. Oh, didn't use the lure. lure. Oh, he didn't use the lure. That's not great. So that pony up there is also going to be the not right level. No, he no, was, no, he so was it, on a no, lure. It was lure. It was lure. He was on a lure. Tried to, but it was. It, the lure's already in effect. Yeah, yeah, he was on a lure. Oh my bad. Okay. But I don't know. Sorry. He was on the, okay, this is. He so this one's level thirty-nine. His, yeah, he burned out his regular lure to set up the super lure. Oh, okay. So he's putting Which, it up a little early. That's fine. He's got enough lures that if he does run out on the route, it's okay. A little, little sweaty, but uh, we're, we're, we're dealing with it. So Z Zeon had a rough optional, made it through. We'll have to see how much of his party died. Um, not sure if that'll cause any problems or not. King Par um, unfortunately caught an unlured Ponyta, so we'll have to try and make up four levels it like somewhere. He, it looks like he did grab the um, the Firestone there to be able to evolve yeah. his Growlithe. That's a good idea. So, my guess is he's probably going to box the. Maybe he's going to box the pony and uh, put Rhyhorn back into the party for. It's his, it's uh, slow, ride. but I think that's the right call in this case. Yeah. Because you're not going to get four levels until most of the way through Victory Road, otherwise. Yeah, and um, in case it's this is kind of sweaty on all screens because uh, if you missed it earlier, Vermilion did not grab the elixir on Route Seventeen. Um, so, I don't know if... Well, we don't know... Vermillion could have a very that. rough... Yeah, yeah. Vermillion might be looking at a very rough um, uh, victory road here. Yeah, we don't know if Vermillion caught that he missed the elixir. Um, so we don't know... He could easily fix this by just going to a Pokemon Center and healing after Koga, and then saving the elixir for, victory, for, for the Elite Four after Lance. Um, but if he doesn't catch it and he uses it on Koga, that means he's going to be, I think, psychicless going into the final I, fights, which would not be good. I, I disagree with King Par and what he just did there. He should have caught the Grimer that he ran into um, instead I think of you're right. on the Firestone. Because the Grimer would have think... been faster than, than doing the party menu to grab the Growlithe, evolve it, and then box it again. Yeah, it wasn't glowing, so it's not like 100%, but it maybe could have also helped with the experience problem. I, Zeon is throwing balls at a Dodrio? What a time to be alive. It got in first try. That's cool. <laughs> what insane. Just look, that definitely should not have got in first try. I, I think he did that to try and get some experience going from the looks of it. Which he definitely okay. got experience from that. Yeah, I think he still... So the problem is that his Pidgey is level 26. Pidgeot... Um, isn't until 36, so he might want to look for catching something in Mansion. Zeon right now is kind of looking at a... No, he, he does have 50 planned with the Pidgeot oh. move. Okay, well, 
You're welcome, Xion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it was only because she fixed it. Yeah, I don't, look. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. These are these are the thoughts I have to myself when I'm doing runs, where I'm just sitting here going, okay, so I need to fix my catcher by doing this and this and this, and trying to ignore the rest of it. Oh, Million, pretty clean movement through Erica's gym. King Par going through at a quiz time. I think I've only ever hit an optional in Erica's gym. It, Erica's gym, I think, is one of the easiest to avoid optionals that seems difficult. As long as it, you hug the corners, does. you're good. It seems um, like it should happen way more often than it does, honestly. I, in, in the two plus years that I've ran this game, almost three years, I've only hit an optional in Erica's gym once. Okay. You know, and that's that was because the Joy-Con died in mid-turn, and instead of, you know, stopping, my tra my character just kept moving in the same direction I was going. Party so, menu going on for Zia? I just noticed that Vermillion did not teach Thunderbolt. Uh, maybe oh. he's doing it in this upcoming menu, uh, upcoming um, flying menu. Hopefully. Because he didn't, he didn't do the super potion either. He did already evolve nine tails though, which is a little awkward because you're supposed to do it in that menu after surge. So hopefully he catches that before Sabrina. Yeah, I'm so used to the old old menu of evolve Vulpix after Sabrina for if you need it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, because the at least the beginner notes say after surge, do it on the menu where you teach Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's that's the newer that's the newer strat. I don't find that it costs any additional time doing it that way. I don't think it, it would way. change anything. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll see what Vermillion does here. And King Par through Blaine cleanly. Yeah, and it looks like um, Zeon just needs to catch a fish, and then we're uh, we're good to go. Yeah, everything's pretty set up then. Which I do find odd that Zeon just never got Magikarp and is <laughs> and is fine. It's fine. It's is perfectly yeah. It's it's perfectly fine. I mean, he could catch the Magikarp uh, on route um, on the Sea Skim route if you want, if you preferred. You know. He could. He I'll, could. I'll message him right now. I'll tell him. Well, that he, no, he can hear us. He can hear oh, us. Yeah, no, oh yeah, yeah, he's listening. Yeah, he's listening. Uh, there you go. Okay. I was gonna say I forgot to take the rapid dash over the pokeball. It's fine. Where's the duck? We want a duck. I do like ducks. Wait, did did Zeon also forget the elixir? Nope. Went back for it. Zeon went back for it. He forgot it for a little bit, but then didn't. Forgot it, I think it's because we talked it. about it so much that he went back. Probably. I, oh, don't you dare do it, Zeon. Don't, don't you dare do it, Zeon. I saw what was up there. Wait, what was up there? I a bonjour. Ah. Uh, Classic bonjour. Classic bonjour. Classic bonjour. He said au revoir to the bonjour. Hey look, a Very fish! Good. We did it! Yay, yellow bird! How are the stars? Um, Vermilion's got real bad special attack. Um, okay speed. And King, King Par King has... Is a, very, is a pretty decent star. Yes, it's the first above average star we've seen in like five stars. Zeon's here to make his last duck. catch. Minus the main. The new main. Would King Par. Are... My apologies, go ahead. Uh, I was we, gonna are say, done... we are officially done with catches for these players. Which, for for Zeon. Oh, oh wait, no, no, we're not. Never mind. There's no, one left. Um, I was gonna say, I'm Zeon stupid. still has Never star. Mind. Let me stop. But... Let me stop saying words. You guys say the words. Hey Matt, what were you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say for the fact that Zeon was at 29 pokes exiting Rock Tunnel, and he's at 45 and C skim. Yeah. It, it just 
that's a ridiculous amount of catches to get over basically what's normally like a 30 minute section of the game. And definitely like really pulled back up, which is awesome to see. Uh, ooh, careful. Yeah, the trainers here have no vision, so this looks kind of kind of dodgy, but it's actually quite safe. I also love the shiny Nodrio. It's so green. Uh, so green. It's such a lovely color of green, too. It's so bright and shiny. There's so much green on these runs today. So I don't... Did Vermilion teach Thunderbolt yet? I don't think I saw it. Yeah, I taught it right after Air so Okay. it looks like. Cool, okay. Yeah, so I figured that's probably what he's going to do, was going to be Super Potion in that menu and okay. uh, teach T-Bolt. And now we are heading into possibly the worst fight in the entire run. I say possibly to give it a little bit more, uh, a, a little bit more benefit of the doubt. It's probably the worst fight in the entire run by like 95% this, chance. This this is the worst fight in the entire run, yes. In, double Archer. In Pokemon games in general, um, double fights where half of the double team is controlled by the AI is generally seen to be like a really bad fight, just because the AI is usually random and doesn't know what what it's doing. Um, this fight is no exception. Um, the only the thing you do in turn one is always attack Muck with Psychic and wait, watch the status lag and, or sorry, the double lag and pray. Wait, did Vermilion accidentally attack into Electrode? I believe he attacked into Electrode. Oh no. That's, oh that's... no. Okay, that's not great, right. but yeah, okay. Muck protected. Nothing, I mean... So nothing was lost because of that, because the Muck protected. So it's okay. We'll just consider that a not great archer to start. Yeah, you probably yeah you do go bat first now. Ooh, and, and... He, I don't think you do. No, I think the muck do, is a little bit muck. too. Yeah, the muck is so, too dangerous to leave alive. So this okay. muck has three moves on it. It has toxic. It has protect, and it has the most trolly move of all time: minimize. Ah, uh, that's and right. Yeah, it, it toxic star. Minimize, it it toxic the star. So That's Vermilion bad, is has not gotten burned yet. Oh no, he's still letting the muck live. Oh, I think, I think this is one of this is one of those things where it's like something gets so out of control that it just starts spiraling more. Where it's like now I the strat is now the strat is uh, psychic wheezing because muck's gonna protect again. This, now this muck is protected muck. twice. The muck I is he has not gotten burned. No, but How... he, he should really be healing the toxic right the heck now. Uh, no, because... just get rid of the muck at this point, because you get the free heal after this fight. Uh, I think it de uh, How much HP are you going to lose on this turn, though? Because it's badly poisoned. I th uh, do you live yeah, a sucker punch? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah, you're, okay. you're living a sucker punch, yeah. Okay, you live a sucker punch, you're fine. Okay. That, that was, could have been way it worse. That was a sweaty fight, but made it through. Alright, I, I think Zeon is looking for a star right now. Vermilion and just there's there. one. Very oh no, lucky. that's a bad oh. spot. Okay, take the one on the right. Good. Okay. Yeah, Vermilion God, just got very lucky on that, down. though. That was a very lucky marcher. That's a 1029 star. In in two so, races, there has been one star above average. So, so uh, they, Zeon's is slightly better than Vermilion. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. What's first up? off, what's up, G Shark? This is a little yeah, bad. He's up? got that is his last Ultra Ball. Uh, thankfully, Zeon doesn't need to make any more catches after this. Last catch. Yes, so as long as it gets in, which thankfully it did. It's, it uh, did. Anyways, what, I, uh, what I was going to ask, would, uh, is there a situation where, given the fact that there's another star right next to him, he looks at the CP and says, this is just that bad, I'm just going to try with the other star? Is that maybe, only if it's like, is that ever worth it, or only if it's bare minimum? Or maybe say, if like, it's like 960, I would Yeah, if it's, if it's below 1,000, no! I would... I would... Oh. Too far! No! But yeah, if it, if it was below a thousand, I would consider doing it. I probably wouldn't, but I would consider doing it if there was Ver one right next to it. Vermilion decided to go and say bonjour to that scientist. Um, that was... Uh, I know it was out of the vision, but it looked sketchy. Oh my god, that's a Starmie. Oh no. Oh, oh this, bad. Yeah, this, this is all yeah. kinds of bad. We're yeah, sweating bad. in yeah, the commentary booth. The bad trainer. Oh no. We're all oh, minimize. Uh, okay, okay, stop. Fun fact about uh, minimize is that um, if you ever get minimize, just start using stomp. Stomp bypasses the accuracy check on minimize, and it does double damage. So actually, Wait, that really? start. Yes, it does. So if you get trolled on Caden, bring out your rapidash and start stomping. I did not know that. It, I learned that because my 
my very first learning experience on Caden was minimize, protect, minimize, protect, minimize, protect. Uh, and I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this case. And uh, he left, but T-Pat said, just stomp. And I've never forgotten that, and, and I never will. So, this, this so king interesting. Has I didn't know stomp had a secondary effect like that. It's really tech for exactly this case. I think Xeon's gonna make it out barely by the skin of his teeth. Maybe. Yeah. I believe yeah, in he, the duck. He, but go he needs duck. To hopefully does not hit another optional. Yeah. The until he gets to the bed heal. Yeah. Or maybe safety Pokemon Center heal, because this is rough. I mean he's got Psyduck and Star Me for Ted. Yeah. So it's the Electrode will probably target Starmie, um, which Starmie can take a Thunderbolt no problem. Yeah. Um, this is just, fine for the Star, by the uh, way. The speed's yeah, a little low, but... Speed's, speed's a tick low, and the special attack is... I mean, it's 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 a low special attack, but... It's a low special attack, but it's it's got enough speed to outspeed rival 5. Um, I would use all three, yep. Um, I would use the two smart candies that he's got there as well to help boost that special attack. It's not a bad idea, honestly. Do the smart candies is that like one uh one IV essentially or not one IV? It's like, like um one, one AV. Yeah, one you're AV. basically giving another AV. Yeah. Oh, okay, so one yeah. stat point essentially. One stat exactly. point special attack. Um, okay. Yeah. We that's... call them AVs or awakening values. Apparently, the actual name is Go Power. I'll never call it Go Power. Oh, yeah. don't do that. Awakening value well, is way cooler. Yeah, okay, so it looks like King Par has indeed switched to Arcanine as his mount Pokemon, um, which is which probably the call. absolutely the right call, I think, yeah. Um, that way you're just not having to worry about um, trying to get those levels on Rapidash and losing time over not having a mount at all. I don't think this causes you problems from uh, a mount skip perspective. I'm not sure, though. Like 118 speed, okay. But from a mount skip perspective, yeah. So in Victory Road, um, you do one skip, um, where you you despawn your mount, and oh, that's you... okay. That's yeah. what you mean. Yes, I do. Sorry, I don't mean yeah. like mount skips, like yeah. where you have a yeah, uh, sorry, I was third party for Joy Con. Say, okay, I, I kind of figured you meant that, but it was like, yeah, the one where you, you get off the mount to do the skip. Sandy, who um, helped try to find those uh, those mount skips, says it's not an issue if you're on Arcanine, so that's good. Um, okay, so it looks like Xeon's going to make it very tenderly through to uh, through to Cinnabar Island. Uh, going to go to the Pokemon Center to heal just to be extra safe, which I don't blame him for at all. Um, yeah, that's very... Let, very let's... Vermillion's on his way to his last uh, hoax here. He is clean, uh, clear of uh, Giovanni. Although his Psychic's uh, PP is a little low with not having the extra elixir. Yeah, we're going to find out real quick if this goes south or not for Elite Four. So just because King Par has a slower mount, which I think Arcanine is slower than Rapidash, I think. Um, uh, slightly. It's very slightly, I think. Um, just, uh, this could be real sweaty in Elite Four, folks. Um, King Par may lose, lose a little bit of time from mount speed, but who knows, Vermillion may have to redo an entire Elite Four fight or two. We'll see. Yeah, that could, I mean, that very well could be the deciding factor. Actually, factors. what do you even do if you, um, if you don't have any psychics for Lance or Champion? Like, that's your would main the... attacking move. With the yeah, that's... or with the special attack that Vermillion has, he really doesn't have a lot of good options. Oh um, no! Yeah, the only thing yeah, I would it... imagine you would do is like if you know, like if you know about it, you could maybe get some extra spe uh, special attacks and try to go for some extra, and then just go way higher on those fights. But that's always dangerous, and then you'd have to get more healing items as well. Um. The only thing I can think of that he could try to do, which he can't, he just ran past the house that he would need to go into to do it, would be to grab, basically grab the Psychic TM. Um, yeah, and reteach it over like, like teaching it. 
teach and head but teach psychic. Pick up. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's such yeah, a that's, smart strat. That's that like would, that's the jankiest thing. That would be thing what I would it is the jankiest thing in the world, but that probably would have been that the, would be he doesn't the move know he though. Need to make. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, he I knows. don't think he realizes. Yeah. That would be uh, hilarious. And I, we can't in good conscience tell him either, can we? Like that's just not no. cool. So no, we gotta I mean, let we this can, play out, we folks. Can't reach out. We can't like We cannot. Yeah. Like if he was if he was if he was, if he was listening to the commentary, he would have he would have heard us by now mention it. But... Yeah, he would have. If if he so... poke us in her heels after Koga, that th this he, he might even clinch it. He might clinch the win. Um, but we'll see. So hold hold on to your butts, folks. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> this this run is this race is far from over. This is a sweaty one, everybody. Oh my goodness. King Par getting the uh, live it or is lived? Do you live two Thunderbolts? Uh, I don't think with this HP you can. I think you just he, got crit. Yeah, you have gotten crit. Because I think it does sixty Which, per roughly. That is very terrifying. That well, uh, at least it boomed. Okay, good. And if Trace is intelligent here, he'll use Bone Meringue and take out the Radicate. Hey, uh, thanks, buddy. Homie. You actually nice. helped. Thank you. What a and homie. Army can just double psychic through. I love that Zeon is still using the Arbok on Ted. I, I don't think that's optimal, but it's great. <laughs> it is. It is. It's far optimal far. for our viewing experience. It's optimal in our hearts. It killed <laughs> it anyway. It's fine. That poor Arbok has died so many times. <laughs> that Arbok will never have turned around. <laughs> He's fainting, and then it's just it's like, why would you do this to me, man? Why do you keep making me faint? So Zeon is Zeon's basically just run, gonna be running around next, and he doesn't need to pick up the Firestone or anything. Yeah, um, he just, he just go. Yeah. Actually, I noticed he has he has uh, Psyduck Mark to evolve instead of picking up Porygon. Uh, does he have Psyduck in his party? He does. Okay. So he's gonna evolve Psyduck and not pick up Porygon. It's slightly slower to do that, but it's it's perfectly fine. Why is he picking up the Firestone though? Uh, habit? Probably just yeah, habit. Probably yeah. that. Right. Let's see how nice Sabrina fight goes. It is possible okay. for it not to use light screen turn one, right? It is. Yeah. Um, it's possible you don't, don't get to see light screen at all. If you're gonna see it, you want to see it turn one, so you don't have to waste yes. as many turns. Um, because if you get it turn two, you have to like heal. Uh, um, and depending on how it goes, you may even have to like stall by healing on Alakazam. Um, so what you want to see is either no late screen or late screen turn one. Okay. Yeah. Late screen, makes, late screen turn two is not terrible. You just have to... It, at, once you do your X speed, the following turn, you just use a hyper potion, and then you just go through like you normally would. Mm -hmm. so it just wastes an extra turn. So I tried to get a second opinion on what to do if Vermillion has to go and do E4 without the... Um, the elixir or ether uh and i got go pick up the elixir is my answer so uh that doesn't sound yee looks like xeon forgot to uh move the doors oh no Yeah, not uh, not having the elixir that that might be a DNF for for Vermillion, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate because Vermillion's ahead. I don't want this to happen. I hope he, I hope he doesn't use it on Koga. I really hope. I hope I, I, hope I miss song. I ho I really hope that I miss song. Well, I did. Ninety-nine percent sure I saw that red Pokeball sitting in the grass still. Next there, time so. he goes into the bag, we'll try to we'll try to peep and see if we can see two elixirs. Well, we'll see if he elixirs here like he should. Um, I think you can elixir after Koga, here, don't you? Uh, you can elixir either here or after Koga, either okay. one of those two spots. Um, okay. With this special attack, I would recommend yeah. elixiring here, 
versus Elixiring after Koga. Okay, I see the Max Elixir. Yeah, yeah he just has the Max Elixir, because the okay. regular Elixir would be where the Max Elixir is. We're actually sweating over here now. And he did do he did pick up the extra candy, so he has done five candies on the army. Which is good for his special attack, I think. Um, I think that makes a lot of good sense. Good for a special attack. He's just gonna have turn around on Bruno instead. Yep. Which is, you know, what can you do? Yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta sacrifice something to make up a little bit of time. And I think getting turn around the fight earlier isn't gonna be as big of a deal as just making sure that the run's safe and you're gonna hit those ranges. Oh, definitely. Definitely. It's at this at this point it's not gonna be missed ranges that's gonna be killing the run for him. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. It's, yeah. It's the elixir. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I hate watching this happen, but here we are. But uh, yeah, okay. He might he might catch this mistake after when he goes to do the Koga menu and realize I'm using yeah. the max elixir. Hopefully he sees the max elixir instead of regular elixir and it sends a red flag in his mind like, hey, I hope I so. Have the wrong, I have the wrong item I'm using here. Uh, yeah, mom heal or center heal, um, and then this is a race again, rather than that us just be. watching a slow train wreck. That could be. If if that's that's his only option to not lose. But um, for now, we're fighting the real boss of Koga's gym, Ace Trainer Kaden. Um, he leads to the muck with a very similar move set to the one that's on Archer. I believe it's Moonblast, Psychic, Toxic, sorry, Protect, Toxic, and Minimize. Um, you need to put an X attack up, especially at this special attack. Uh, so that's a Minimize, which is not fun. Um, so you just gotta hope and pray that after this Protect you hit. Um, he did not. He did. There we go. He, nice. Okay. Oh, there you go. So we're through that grossness. Um, that's a very common theme I've seen for Caden, where it's minimize turn one, protect turn two, and you hit the second turn three. Yes, unfortunately that means he has five psychics left, which is probably enough to get through the gym, though it's going to be sketchy, honestly, because with this low special attack, you need to use a lot of psychics. He's got, I was going to say, he's going to have to, he, with, it, with his ranges, he's definitely needing it for the wheezing. Venomoth, he might be okay, because he's level 50. Um, True. Golbat, he's safe to do Scald or, or T-Bolt, uh, and then the last muck he has to Psychic on. I think we established that Vermilion's using the Beginner Notes. The Beginner Notes do not have um, ranges other than if this special attack use this move. Um, so I think 123 is the Venomoth range for Scald, though. Let me double check. I, think I, saw he had, he was I believe he had like 118 or 119 50. when he leveled up. He had 123 at 50. Yeah, he's at 123 at 50, so he's he's probably going to okay. go for Scald on the, the Venomoth then. My apologies, it's 128 plus. 128 plus, okay, well done. Yeah, so he's he's got to hit Psychic on it, unfortunately, which is not great for this. Okay, let's hope that he notices. Okay, uh, okay so King Par Hopefully also he gets explosion up. this turn. Hopefully. King Par also finishing up. He just got the 50th poke and he's heading to Sabrina. Uh, looks like uh, Zeon is flying... where? Uh, to Vermilion. Is this a mis... Okay. what did... Oh! Oh! Um, Zeon forgot to go fight Surge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You can uh, do Surge first. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like um, Venomoth did not protect so um that should considering you're gonna thunderbolt the golbat that should be enough to get through yeah because it's oops he unlikely, psychic to the golbat no he no he got protected he, yeah he, he psychic got protected. Didn't he, oh he did use psychic oh yeah he did no he moved to he moved to thunderbolt the turn before the second time or on that turn oh he got double protect yeah, well, no. Never. Um, okay, so now he's exactly out of psychics. No, he's got one yeah, left. Sorry. That was. Oh, is it one left? My apologies. I The yeah. red confuses me every time. But that means he'll probably try to elixir here. Or bed heal. We'll see. Hopefully not. The, hopefully not the max elixir. 
it, it really makes the break the run it just the most knows. important menu of this race. I know. Ah, oh, I'm so scared. I can't like, look away. Like but King I can't watch. King Car is right on his heels too. With uh, yeah, he's a gym behind. Going. He to went to the Pokemon now. Center. Oh, yes. He, he noticed. Knows. Wow. He caught okay. a lad. That's clutch. What a genius. So I think we, here we were all etchy sweat for no reason. We were so etchy sweat because <laughs> um, we know that Vermillion is not listening, um, even though I think only one of the runners is, maybe two. Yeah, Zeon definitely was. I don't know about King Park. Maybe Vermillion was listening. Maybe he, maybe he didn't realize it, and he no, like he just heard us say it's like, hey, he just needs to heal after Koga at a PC or something. Vermillion, if you're listening, talk to your Rapidash. <laughs> Let's see what kind of Sabrina fight King Par gets here. Zeon also got all the cans first try. Um, for those not in the know, that that's guaranteed. They they finally fixed it from Fire Red Leaf Green. Then they just they just didn't do that. So yeah, and Red and Blue. Fire Red, Fire, Red Leaf Green was better than Red Blue Yellow. Where it you was better than that. That's true. With you could have gotten the seed where no cans would open in red, blue, yellow. That's a thing. Uh, that's that's that is a thing. disgusting. That is a thing. I had it on a game on a, a game file once, and I could not figure out why I could not get the can. Every time I hear something new about Gen One, I'm just like, what? But that that Gen sounds like Gen One is so. Gen One was guys. a disaster. Gen One was a disaster, and yet here it did we its are. Best. And yet here we are. Later, 30, well, not 30. Years old. Please not 30. 35 years later. Almost, I mean, 96. Yeah, almost 30. Please not 30. I'm older than Pokemon. I'm, I'm older than Pokemon, too. I get it. I'm the old fart in the speed racing community. <laughs> Alright, King Par looks like he is going to be through Sabrina with no issues. Leon's got his clearing up last little bit. He's got his nine tails. I think Zeon is doing the um, the fabled Porygon skip this run. And it also looks like he's skipping Lapras because he's got it unmarked. Oh, Both you're right. Us. He must have caught something extra. It was that yeah. um, that Kangaskhan. Well, I guess the Arbok Kangaskhan, you know, just kind of snuck up on him. Arbok yeah. Kangaskhan. And then he he just he want he was looking for the duck. For a while, here he was looking for the duck, and he decided to catch that when he didn't really need to. But it's kind of one of those things, like, eh, it's too late. I already caught it. Might as well evolve it. Well, and Zion was understandably flustered on that route too. Um, yes, that all, hitting that, hitting that optional um, did not help. Probably the state of things. Probably just panicking, panicking a little bit. It's like I had a duck marked. I need a duck. Yeah, it, it takes. It can take a bit to recover from getting flustered like that. I mean, in a lot of situations, oh, sure. that's just run is dead. But it's the tournament, you got you got to keep going because you never know what ha what can happen to your opponents. Being yep. all the work, you can come back from a lot if your opponents just don't win. Zeon um, going to Erica's gym. In Erica's gym, their requirement is to show a cute Pokemon. So of course, Zeon shows the uh, the shiny Arbok. Yeah, I, f I find Arbok it. I, I love I love all of the gym oh. requisites. Oh, he had an elixir. He had an elixir? He just used an elixir. For, uh, King Par. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong yeah, screen. Yeah, Oof. Yeah, Got King myself all turned it. around. Yeah, King Par had it. King Par had it the whole time. King Par had it the whole time. King Par has been doing everything correctly. Nothing wrong. Definitely not that one thing that you're saying, that you're thinking in your head right now that he did. That was yep. completely on purpose. Yep. We're, we're not we're talking about Rapidash. Cal calculated every fine, every time. It's fine. Ooh. And King Parsh's nice. army at 50 going to be, definitely have a special attack that he's not going to have to worry about any ranges in E4. 139 at 50? Yeah. Well, oh, there you go. Yeah. That Dragonite's I'm... going down. Yeah. Dragonite's going pretty... down. He can two. He can two. Uh, he can go plus four on Morali safely. Yeah, I would say that seems pretty. What's the what's the guaranteed for the Jinx? 
Uh, give me a second here. I don't know that off the top of my head. That one I used to know off the top of my head. Uh, the Jinx at plus four is guaranteed at 143. Oh, okay, that's better than I thought it was. So, uh, and the Lapras is guaranteed at 138 for okay. plus four. So he already hits the Lapras, and by the time he gets yeah. to Victory Road, he'll probably also hit the Jinx. So I don't I know. I would be surprised if he, if he can hit the Jinx after Giovanni. <laughs> I think we established that King Part is using the uh, the advanced notes, so that I'll, we'll probably see that. Vermillion uh, coming up on Giovanni. Uh, it looks like he's gonna. Okay, two C strat this, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think that we'll expect, at least from Vermilion and Xeon, maybe also King Par, to see a lot of the endgame safety strats. So, 2C Geo, um, possibly 2C Agatha. I hope that Vermilion 2C is Agatha because of the shiny yeah. duo. And then there's also strats for 2C for Lance and for the champion. Yeah, I definitely think Vermilion's going to be running 2C here on out uh, for anywhere that you can. I wouldn't be surprised if King Par has, you know, been listening in or anything like that. I wouldn't be surprised if King Par does plan to do kind of riskier strats to try and get back in this a little bit more. I could see that for sure with how good this star is. But first, we got to get through Caden. The question is, is also... oh, oh, missed the psychic. Got it the second time. Okay, so that okay. could have been could have been better, but we're through the worst part of Caden. Uh, maybe have to heal that poison right after this fight. But yeah, I would I would heal the poison on this turn here because Beedrill's almost certainly gonna protect. Right, that makes yeah, sense. That's yep, yeah, that's exactly what I would have done. So something else to consider for King Par is because of the round that this is in, he doesn't need to get first to move on. It helps because he guarantees he moves on, but he can move on at second as well. And he's got to it, like it's it can be worth considering at this point. Hey, do I play it safe? Just make sure I don't die and not finish the run. That's true. Uh, yeah. And try to play for a top second place time. It's pretty risky to do that as well because you're betting. You're no longer betting on like random. You're betting on just like people. You can't predict that. Yeah, I think it's gonna be tough yeah. because I think Poka Guy got what a three fifteen. It was like um, a 314, I think. 314, I mean, okay. I have it, like, loaded up somewhere. Yeah, 31404, like, that's... 31404, so, like, Poke Guy's prob... Based on, like, PBs of all the other players, Poke Guy's go into round three. Uh, and then it just kind of depends on who else has the other lower bracket top two time, um, top second time. Um, only one of the um, second place times will go on to the next round. So two, uh, so, two second place times will. Yeah, but other than Poké Guy. So, okay, yeah, other than, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be very competitive. Um, and, it, like, PBs are hard to show in the lower bracket because it's hard to see how many people have been practicing really hard um, or how the races are going to go. I know Fortunate got a, a sub-320 but had a really rough race the other day. Um, so it'll depend on how those races go. Um, I, I would say that, based on my guesses, if, you're, if you want to advance in the lower bracket, you're probably going to need like a sub 320 time to, to to clinch, to even get a chance of going to round three, I think. I don't know Which, if this race is on par to be... Yeah, that's what I mean. I, King, that's what King I'm thinking. Power is not on a sub 320. That's, sub that's what I'm thinking. Point, so I, I feel like King Par may have to make some, make some risky plays to try, or accept that he just wants to try and get a PB, or just finish out the race be like i'm gonna finish damn it i don't want a dnf yeah but i mean it's at this point it's looking like yeah it's definitely probably better to play for first yeah yep. but it's like it like i said it was just kind of it's mentality that you can have going into a tournament like this where you're like if like things aren't looking as good right now if i can play to move on i can work i have an, i have another chance tomorrow instead of like playing like this is the only time I have. I um, love the commitment to the bit on Xeon's screen where he um, arboked the blue. No, that's a little bit risky with Executor. Yeah, that was yeah. that was uh, an, an interesting call there. 
I do appreciate the commitment to the bit, though. Like, points for points for sticking with the shiny and not abandoning the shiny. Um, Vermilion now going into the Rival 5 fight. Um, I think this was turn one. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, that was just turn one there. Or was that the Vile Plume? Or that two. was the Vile Plume. Yeah, so that that was, was this two. is turn three. Uh, yeah, this fight you always X speed turn two, um, just because you know that uh, Raichu can't come out second. Um, and then by the time you get here, you're plus two special attack and plus one speed, which is enough to take down the Raichu, uh, which is good for Vermilion. And it looks like King Par is getting pushy push. Oh, hey Raiders, what's up? We're doing a let's go race. It's kind of close, though it looks like uh, Vermilion's got a little bit of an edge over King Par now. Vermilion's yeah, King Par is not uh, clear altogether yet, he though. Left. Yeah, he's, got he's, his... oh, he's got a whole gym behind, yeah. yeah. A whole gym be behind, uh, and now, like, just like the rival fight as well. So Vermilion, by the time uh, King Par gets to where Vermilion's at now, Vermilion's gonna be- Vermilion's like, gonna be deep in Victory Road, you're right, yeah. Deep in Victory Road, possibly out, probably not though. We'll find out. Carolyn well, we'll has see. been, Carolyn has been a very, um, very much a decider in this tournament so far. Oh uh, yeah, I, I can imagine. That sounds like m missing hydro pumps. Yes. Uh, oh, someone in chat has caught that um, Vermilion did not buy any Expedefs during the shopping, so that means that um, Vermilion will be going full safe E4 strats. Um, so, oh, all 2C, so we're going to see a lot of that shiny Dodrio, which is good to see. Uh, so yeah, anyone just coming in, this race was really touch and go for a while, because um, we noticed that Vermilion forgot to pick up an Elixir, which could either have meant that he would have had to take a Pokemon Center after Koga, or he would have realized he was boned in the middle of the Elite Four. Thankfully, Vermilion realized that uh, he forgot that elixir and did take the Pokemon Center heal. So he's got, hopefully, smooth sailing all the way through the Elite Four and just needs to hit all the trainer skips coming forward. And not by skips, I mean skips, all just the, one. All the, trainer, all the trainer ranges. All the ranges, but and also not, getting, not hitting any spinners either. So that's important. True, true. Making sure that the one that the ones that are looking right at you are, can't actually see you. Yeah, it looks like oh, this is this is dicey. Uh, Zeon is just taking on Archer two, risking a sucker punch to kill this Golbat here. Ooh, oh, oh. oh. not even toughing it oh. out. Oh, didn't raw tough it out. Luck. Just raw lived on one. Oh, my heart. Oh, this race has been so sweaty. Um, that being said, Army we've naturally a badass. We've seen two shinies this race. Uh, which is uh, more than you see in most runs. So that's pretty cool. I was surprised King Par did not use uh, Repel. I don't know if he just forgot to buy them in the uh, Saffron shop or just forgot to use them before the fly menu there, or, or during that last fly menu there. But Oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe just forgot. That's, that's what I'm going to assume is that he forgot. The Starmie has lived on two again. Uh, that's fun. <laughs> Over on Zeon's screen. Who, d who got the duo? Vermilion has the shiny Dodrio now. Um, Zeon, however, had a shiny Arbok that he's been rocking through the entire the entire game. He's still got that Arbok going with him. Yeah, it better go all the way. Vermilion managed to hit the range on Naomi, which is the first of the scary uh, yeah, fight to hit a range on. Vermilion having nearly minimum special attack on this star, so some of these uh, fights will be... Um, I think it's mostly just Naomi that's a range from here, uh, other than I think Lance. Um, yeah. Do you know where yeah. you Okay. Cool. Zion might be a little lost, because uh, I think he wants to go into that room, but he's... Yeah, he wants to go into that room. Oh, a little lost. Okay, well, okay. hopefully he can get out of Sylph Coast soon. He'll, he will figure it out. I believe in him. I believe. Yeah, he'll figure it out. I know uh, I know he's listening, so I'm not going to say where he's supposed to go just yet. I'll get there. Yeah. There we are. No. No, <laughs> no, no. no. No, Not okay. Quite. No, oh, I think no just, go back. I, go back. Is he just exploring? <laughs> He's just on an adventure with maybe, the shiny Arbok. That's correct, like... yes. Yes. 
Maybe he's just exploring. He's just on having an adventure. a good time. You know he's what? um he's he's, he's Frodo. He's having he's Frodo. fun. He's having fun. Going on his adventure with his best friend Samwise the Arbok. The yeah, has had a run, y'all. It's been a run. It's been a, a very entertaining run. There was that, yes. it has been. There was a catch was... caught a Dodrio, caught a Kangaskhan, caught a shiny Ekans involved into an Arbok. These and these are the totally moments. Crashed. <laughs> right at the beginning of the run where we didn't get to see what would happen. Thus, the name of the Eevee. It's been good stuff. We're watching his casual playthrough. Yeah, this is his um his let's play that he's gonna upload to YouTube later. Is it, is it gonna be like, whoa, one let's play and a whole video? It's pretty fast this game, man. Yeah, right. In four hours done the game. Well, somewhere you ever heard of speedrun? You should try doing some. You try doing some of that, and he'll be like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm a professional tournament player speedrunner. Yeah, worth mentioning that um, I think Xeon and a few other runners, including myself, have learned this and run for the tournament, just to hang out and have fun. So it's still really cool to see people picking up the game and learning it in such a short amount of time. Uh, I think this tournament was what, like started a month and a half ago? About? About, about that, yeah. My first run got... was the 29th of May. Um, so, you know, I've only been, I think I've only done like six of these. And, you know, I... I've learned the game and feel decent about it, and other people are in the same boat as me, and that's pretty cool. I know Vermillion is one of the get, same uh, players who has oh, uh, yeah. I I know that um I think Vermillion and J Tattles have put in a lot of time. So is Furist, um, runners who have like gone from like zero to really quite good at the game in a short amount of time. Yeah, that I I've seen a lot of people just really improving their PB. There's so many PBs that have mm -hmm. shown up. So the there, there's yeah. a backlog. There's a backlog on speedrun.com. Uh, That's Vermillion. why I haven't submitted my newest one yet. Is uh, because mine is, mine's uh, still in the queue. I'm hoping I get it before my race on Saturday. Uh, yes, it looks like Vermillion did indeed get Alexa skip. Talked to Caroline, got the most important skip in the run, which is Colby skip. Uh, and uh, Caroline has been nice to Vermillion somehow. Uh, What's it like to have it all? I mean, that, that you special... have money, the power. Yeah. The that special attack's well, not terrible. His you, his range on fair, the dragon is not going to be terrible at this point. What else do you want? The answer to that question is a better star, because that special uh, I mean, okay, not good. That's fair. I'd, I'd like some money in my bank account if we're, if we're asking what people want. <laughs> yeah, they, don't we all? Don't we all? Yeah, it's a star. You can only expect so much out of it, right? Well, King Par right through Giovanni. That's good. On the way to Rival 5 to try and catch to Vermillion, who is now pushing this boulder 20 times. Why they thought this was good gameplay, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, it's throwback to the original game. games. Why they thought it was a good idea then, too? I mean, this is Gen 1 we're talking about. There were so many things that happened in Gen 1. Uh, Gen 1 yeah. made decisions. Are they good decisions? Some might say. I'm not to be some. fair, Pokemon they're, they're blew the heck up, so I guess we can't judge too harshly. They're, they're certainly yeah, decisions. Yeah, it's called being a hater. Sure. Being a hater is so easy. All you just do is hate on things. Don't be a hater. It's super not cool. It's super, super annoying. It's... We have enough haters in the world. Let's just try not to. It's me. I'm the hater. You're the problem? Okay. Um, I'm yes. a potator. I like potatoes. Potatoes are amazing. You know what else is amazing? These three runners that are doing a fantastic job should all be proud of how they're playing. Oh, heck yeah. Like, Agreed. just because um, none of these runners are playing on Etchy's level, that doesn't mean anything. Etchy's not real. That's <laughs> not like, real to expect anyone to do. You're playing a game that most people will finish in like 24 hours in le no matter what less than five like probably less than four or really close to four hours that's still really good and yeah. remember all these trainers got a very hard skip in vermilion skip um oh wait no Xeon missed it either Xeon got some really good skips other than that one skip that is incredibly hard to do did, so yes. that one th these players are also doing great everyone fails vermilion skip like I've seen top level runners just have a bad day and hit it it's a really hard skip to do. So here's the, here's the thing too. Like the most important thing to remember is all of these runners 
have done other runs, and they've done their first run, and guess what? Their first yeah. run wasn't amazing. Zeon went into the tournament with a four thir with a four thirteen, and he's already taken t like thirteen minutes off of that, and he's quite possibly going to take more time off of it right now. Yeah, uh, she doesn't Vermillion exist. and King Park didn't go glitches. in with a turn with a PB. So, yeah, and it's it's really yeah. impressive. This is a hard this is a hard game to master. It's a friendly game to learn, but such a hard game to master. Yeah, there's so many there's so many nuances once you start playing it. Actually, does it exist? This this meme is going to continue on. For those not in the comms booth, we had this discussion before the race that Echi wasn't Echi the world record holder for this for this doesn't game. Exist. It it's doesn't exist. He's not real. Uh, I didn't expect it to come up mid run. What happened to King Par? Did the Arcanine just like get really trolled? Is that what happened? I, I think I he got outsped. Oh, so I don't know if he, um, we're at the right uh, speed then. I think we're okay. I think King Par is a little stuck. Can we? Do we outspeed? I'm not a Jolteon. There's no way. I think we. I think we have to. Okay. Well. Yeah. Thunder Miss was kind of. Th Thunder nice. Miss was kind of the only thing you could hope for there. Uh, oh. Thunder's seventy percent chance to miss. So. It's not bad. Yeah. Um. Meanwhile. Uh, I am once again thinking of Lore Lorelei, and my head is turning all around. Okay, we're all always thinking of Lorelei. Fun fact, I Lorelei. literally... Fun fact, I literally sing that song when I go into Elite Four to focus. So that's fun. So... King Par is going to be... What is he looking for here? He's looking for his pony? Oh, okay. Vermilion did go to plus four. That's good. Um... King Par could have been looking for Pony. He he got Pony. He put Pony in his party. Oh no. Um, yeah, he's all the way back in Celadon. Unfortunately, at least it's a good fly. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he has lost some time, but in a situation um, like this, when you're this late in the run, you have fly. So yeah. Unfortunately, it, um, King Par's lure ran out before the Pony Toss bond. Uh, so he only had a level 35 Ponyta, so he had to kind of uh, adapt Improvised. and improvise a little bit. So that's why we didn't have a very good um, first try at Rival 5 on this one. Hopefully this try goes a little bit better. Maybe Jolteon could just miss a Thunder, like given the amount of times the over the tournament Hydro Pump has been missed. You could miss a Thunder one time. In, in honor of uh, Stadium speedrun, you can miss one Thunder, right? Million is past Lorelai, closing in four more fights. Zeon. I think, um, did Vermillion use an extra candy on Star? Yes. I believe so, yes. Then yes. we'll see turnarounds so on we should, Bruno here. So we should see turnaround on Bruno, yes. Uh, King Par, because he did get knocked out by Rival, um, should not have turnaround on Bruno now. Um. Maybe. I think that um, fainting is only minus one, um, but I think enough X items were used that it might just be a moot point. It, could, it might be. I don't know. It's that, that whole It'll calculation. There's a lot of... Um, we were talking about Anubis helping us out earlier. There's a lot of math that we had to learn from Anubis when it comes to friendship, how it's calculated and what it does to your stats. Uh, and we're still, like, trying to iron out exactly where all the thresholds come in. And it's still a little bit random, because uh, there's only, like, a 50% chance for when you're walking around to gain friendship. So that's another variable that's always there. I... King, King Bar still gets Bruno turnarounds. I... maybe. That's quite possible, I think. Okay, King Par threw Rival the second time around, uh, which is better than nothing, so... Still I mean, added Zeon still... here. 
What was that? It's still ahead of Zeon here. Although this is kind of... You gotta play for first if you want to move on at this point. I think so. Um, I don't know if the time of being like sub-320 is actually going to be where the cutoff is. I think it's possible. Um, the only one who's at that point would be Vermillion at the moment. Yes, but he doesn't really have to worry about that as long as the next Correct, because well. it looks like mm -hmm. he's probably going to win this one as long as this um, section doesn't go horribly wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly, taking a, taking a point. Okay, yeah. Ooh, okay. So taking Vermillion... Worst idea. Vermillion didn't buy Expedef, so he's going to try and 2C Agatha here. Um, however, because he didn't go to um, something that is... Uh, weak to electric but not poison uh he might not get the fight he wants here um you switch to a bird like dodrio or a fish like golduck to get the best option of the two c fights um rapid oh and he's also not two sing oh wait did he get espadefs he did not you don't usually use expedef for uh agatha You're right. Yeah, my my bad. Yes. Yeah, it's only it's only Lance and uh, Rival that you use the, the Spinef for. <laughs> so, chat bringing up a very good point. Um, there is a small prize pool for this tournament. Uh, there's a couple of secret. Um, there's a couple of secret benefits, um, or secret bounties. The one being cleaned up a Poke guy was uh, kicked by Koga. Um, where he, oops, I forgot to get 50 Pokemon by the time he got to Koga's gym, uh, got a small reward for that. Um, there is one remaining reward, uh, where, uh... Faint by Bruno. Faint by Bruno, um, where there is a very, very there, there is a Pokemon on Bruno that happens to know Faint, and it can do, um, I think up to 22 damage? Up to 75. Or, no. Faint? Uh, no. No, no, uh, yeah, it's up to... Up to thirty, because up to thirty Onyx can do forty-four, and so you and yeah, um, with there's low a... enough defense. Yeah, it depends on your defense, but it can do a decent amount of damage. Um, it's so rarely seen. I think there's like that three or four runners in the entire community that have actually seen faint. Uh, so there's there's a reward out there because I think two of those runners are in the tournament. Uh, so. There's a chance. Two that have gotten it three times. <laughs> Two that have gotten it three times. It's great. Um, so King Par is just going to play. Um, I think I've see been seeing King Par in chat saying, Never doubt. So true. We're going to we're gonna get something out of this race. I don't know what it is, but I'm not doubting it. And Zeon's up against Caden uh, right now. The last of our runners to make it to Koga. Not getting, and, not getting protect. Getting a little trolled by the toxic though. And the muck is down. That is the most important part. Hopefully, the rest of the gym is pretty smooth. He's got to make sure to take a heal though after, after the fight. We actually have zero clue how was good Zeon's start. Oh, no, no, no. We saw. It's like pretty. It's it's, uh, it's not bad. It was, average. It's a, it's about the same as as Vermillion's. Not quite as fast, a little bit better special attack. Opting for the heal here. Oh dear. No, uh, this is regular 2C. This is regular 2C yeah. fight. You heal on yeah, regular uh, 2C. Charizard after you've done all the x -Bex. Looks like, uh... King Par is having a little bit of trouble on Nelson over here. Is he out of Awakenings? No, he, okay. No, um, we buy a bunch of full heals uh, in Saffron Shop, so not too worrisome. It's just, uh, I think there was we're supposed to be a special uh, attack. An yeah, expect. Yeah, special attack. Yeah, so it looks like he's trying to figure I mean, out what to do here. At this point, you just throw it, you just, because you got the 2C out there, just attack and then throw on the special attack with your 2C. Yeah, I think that's what you want to do. Because the Hypno is probably going to target the Arcanine here. The Arcanina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I believe um, shortly after Nelson, there is a, um, a free heal in Victory Road too, so not too bad. Uh, it looks a little risky, but I think um, King Parsha will be able to make it without too many problems. Yeah, there's only one uh, one spinner between here and there. The uh, uh, black belt trainer, which I'm not even sure what he has. I've never never hit him before. Uh, I have. It's not super fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't don't do a run when you have a migraine. Is all I'll say. Oh yeah, that sounds like good advice. Yeah. Yeah, that's never a good idea. you have a migraine, focus on getting rid of it. Yeah, I was just trying to finish it out, but uh, Victor Road was Vermillion. immense as a result. Vermillion hit the range on the Dragonite. So all that stands left is him and Rival Fi in the uh, Rival Championship fight. After a brief dialogue here by Lance and Oak, and then a small little cutscene. Um, that I did not realize was a skippable cutscene for like the first, Ooh, first what's like, this? six months that I ran the game. This is just classic beginner note stuff. So, so Vermilion is opting not to um, not to bring out the Shining Dodrio for the for the champion fight. Gonna save just to be safe, and he's gonna ride the Starmie into battle. Uh, I don't know if it'll actually pop, pop up here though, unfortunately. It no, not. it won't. Unfortunate. I'm sad that we're not going to see Shiny Dodrio logged into the Hall of Fame. That's okay. I'm sure Zeon will do us a solid and let Arbok do it later. I'm sure. I'm sure. I believe in Zeon. Me too. Me too. And King Par is coming up to Alexa Skip. Let's see how this goes. Easy game. All right. Yeah. Easy money. Easy. Now we just got a Colby Skip. Perfect. All right. Um, so those who aren't, um, are not aware what we're talking about with Colby Skip, um, this is Ace Trainer Carolyn. Carolyn is standing right next to a guy named Ace Trainer Colby. Uh, in a recent run that um, world record holder Etchy was doing that was uh, a couple seconds ahead of world record, um, went to talk to Carolyn, uh, was standing just up and to the left of her, and talked directly to her, and somehow talked to Ace Trainer Colby instead. Um, Ace Trainer Colby, who has an electrode that did a lot of damage to our poor star. Uh, so the entire Let's Go community, ever since seeing that, has t talked to Carolyn from above or from the right side, because boy, do we not want to fight Colby, ever. Yeah, I made the mistake once. Once, that's all I need to make them. <laughs> yeah, only ever once, right? And then you'll never make it again. Oh, and it looks like Vermilion killed the Pidgeot and is most likely through champ, just as long as there are no misclicks. Uh, as long as there's no misclicks, and as long as, for whatever reason, Raichu and Rapidash don't do enough damage with quick attack or anything. Zion is now getting the gold teeth so he can get strong push. We all love a good pushy push. Pushy push. I always call it pushy push a strong push. I like call it pushy push because it's funny, uh, and it ma matches all of the um, all I of feel the like it you have for be, It should be pushy push. It should be yeah, uh, or... it should be choppy chop. It should be surfy surf, pushy push, and uh, balloon fight. What about floaty float? I said balloon fight. Okay. Don't forget flashy flash for flash. And flashy flash. We don't get it in the speed run, but we do uh, not. Yeah. Okay. Scalding... I don't think I've ever gotten Flash in, the, in a Let's Go run. Scalding the Marowak. Uh, fun fact: um, Psychicking the Marowak is a range. So uh, yeah, that's fun. With, with it's also it's a pretty attack. bad range, probably for uh, Vermilion. It would be bad for Vermilion. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be beginner notes just tell you to scald because it's not a range, uh, and I've seen it now. And that's it for Vermilion. This looks like it's going to be probably a three twenty two. Um, I think. I believe that 322 is down about right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe high 321, low 322. But... Yeah, with two Pokemon, I think it'll be closer to 322, but yeah, that's two, that's two it two for Vermilion. That's good enough to advance to round three. GG's. Uh, and then we'll see if King Par and Zeon both finish up this race. I 
I mean, King Par is looking pretty good, just a little bit. Just what? had a rough a go for rough. a little bit there. Um, yeah. All of all of yeah. these all of these runners have hit uh, one optional. Uh, oh, three twenty one fifty nine according to race time. Let's go. You love to see it. GG's Vermillion. We'll we'll give him a chance to to get you know get up, stretch his legs, grab a drink of water, use the bathroom, and then you know have, if he wants to, he can join us and we'll can ask pop some right back in if, if he wants. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you're ready, feel free to join in. We're a million. I said BRB gonna use the bathroom. Coolio. Which is fair. And then when when tech feels they have a moment to breathe, they can switch to the two view and we can we can watch these two finish it out. Obviously no rush though. And while Park. we're getting King Par to the end of uh, end of Victory Road here. Uh, let's give a quick shout out as well to our tech team today, Leggy Starscream, who uh, hell yeah managed what to get guy. through all the technical issues at the very beginning of the run, and uh, has done a done a fantastic job with the uh, with the stream here today. She really got um, put through it right at the beginning of the of the run um, when when everyone's feed seems to die right as soon as we said go, um, but got it working, which was awesome. Yeah, shout out to Leggy. And, and shout out to all the all the tech t tech people. Those things like getting having those things set up takes a lot of knowledge and it's a lot of a lot of free time as well. That not everyone is like no one's required to give for something like this, but people do it because good people yeah. like Leggy. Leggy, the um, their heart. Le Leggy has a race to practice for, but did tech for us, which is awesome. Are about to go into ice mommy. I mean, what? I mean, what? 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 We all heard what you said. We were all thinking it, anyways. Tonight's the night she's moving in, and I can hardly wait. I love Lapras giving a little side eye smirk as well. It's perfect. Oh, hello. hello. Hey, Vermillion. GGs. Uh, GGs. That was uh, that was a weird run. <laughs> that was... Wow. Okay. Um, so, you had us any, nervous. <laughs> anything you want to talk about? Um, I've never seen a shiny in this game before in my life, and I saw that and I was like, wait, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. Cool. And I saw the, the Charmander and I was like, okay, this is, this is how the run's going, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, you had a sweat in there for a good long time. I hope you know that. Oh yeah, really? Well, Was it because of the elixir? Yes, yes. that is exactly why. Because <laughs> we realized you forgot it on the Red 17. Um, when did you realize you forgot it? I was uh, menuing and I saw Max Elixir and I was like, okay, this should be an elixir. Okay, that's what we yeah, were was hoping like... was going to happen because we were like, oh no, if he doesn't notice it, he'll have nothing before champ. And I was like frantically trying to figure out if there was a better way to like get through champ if you just didn't have an elixir. And people were like, uh, quit out and get an elixir. <laughs> so uh, that would have been sketchy. You know, the funny thing is, like, I, I haven't been running this game for that long, but that's that's happened to me before where I forgot the elixir. That happened to my last run, actually, on, in the race. And I was like, um, I guess I'm just going to use Pokemon Center, I guess. So, yeah, no, that was when you did that, we were like, whew, OK, our hearts. <laughs> we we like, were all panicking on your behalf. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was I was a little scared at first. I was like, oh, wait, I, I know what to do here. Just, Okay, go to center, make it make it easy, and just be done here. Yeah, yeah, good good call there. But yeah, it was a really weird run because like I was like, I was getting some highs and some lows, uh, for my like I think a ghastly, and I was like, okay, well that's kind of weird. I, I don't I like getting ghastly a lot, and it kind of makes it weird when you're like get to put even your team and stuff like that. Yeah, I believe you had um you were looking for ghastly and you found a tower cubone instead. I found two of them. I couldn't believe yeah. it. I was like, wait, I don't want this. But like, it was good the first time. The second time I was like, hey, give me Ghastly so I can be just chilling here, you know? But my catches are kind of weird. Um, but mm -hmm. a lot of, I've been like playing a decent amount in the past like two weeks. I kind of took a break for a week because I was off, but it was good to come back today and play uh, and finish the run. It wasn't a PB, it was close to a PB actually, but. I think I think I felt like I played um decent. 
want to get better for sure. The improvement yeah. part of the run is like the best part. It's like I know exactly where I need to get better at. And uh Right, yeah. It's yeah. my practice. So you think you're you're ready for round three? <laughs> Cause you, you gotta go right to round three. Um, I mean I'm I won't say I'm ready, but like I know if I just practice more and like get better, I can like I can put like a I can put like a challenge out there. You know? I I really want to get better at this run. It's, I haven't been able to play as much as I would want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, but being able to have this opportunity to go to the third round is really gonna be really fun. Oh yeah, for sure. What do you think is gonna be like? Do you say like oh you know what you need to work on exactly? What do you think is gonna be like the number one thing is like this, oh like this or is it a lot of little things? I think the I think easily the 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 biggest thing is just change is to like know. A different route because like i'm still following like the beginner route pretty religiously i'm just like looking at it yeah. and i mean i just i just have in my brain what to do but like sometimes i don't have to do like half the things in there so that saves a lot of time also catching better for sure because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the exp early game is like so important like I, i've come to realize it from like running this game like uh, like a little bit it's just like you need the exp on eevee you need the exp for your for your mon so you get them out of here and stuff like that and I think getting to excellence is probably one of the hardest parts of the run for me personally. Yep, no, that's a that's a hard one to work on. You really need to know the catch cycles for that, and that's something you just have to play more to learn, right? So yeah, uh, something I really like about this run um, is like the decision making. You gotta have you have like all the time. You're like, should I stay here or should I move on, or right. is it worth it just to move on and you know go later on, go for like a you know like tentacle or something like that? You know, I, that's why I like right. about this run a lot. It's a lot of just improvisation. It's pretty cool. Yeah, now, there's a lot you, of on the fly. Did, did you have a backup file ready to go for <laughs> for a, 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 a bad nature? Because we we saw you we saw the the, the run. You just kind of went with it, and it turns mm -hmm. out you had a, a minus attack. And, uh, and yeah. honestly, you know, if you don't get enough experience, you're you're going to be hurting with a minus attack, which you yeah, know, clear you experienced a little bit there. In the early <laughs> Definitely, game. yeah. So, so is that going to change your preparation at all for the next get or for the next uh, round or? I'll tell you guys exactly what happened. So I just got back from vacation yesterday, right? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do one run to practice, right? So I did a run today, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and get a neutral nature so that I can have a backup, right, for this for this race. But I couldn't get one. So I was like, I thought about it, I was like, okay, for this race, I'm just gonna go with whatever nature I get. And I, and fortunately it's minus attack, which I didn't want. Yeah, that's a rough one, for sure. <laughs> yeah, but it, you know, it worked out in the end. Like, I, I definitely know, like, if you have a if you have better nature, like I can like easily save a lot of time in this run. So, I mean, just having a backup for save file for next time for sure. Because having minus attack on Eevee, even though you know I believe I was modest. I think you were, I'm, yeah. Like it was good, like later game, but like early game, it just felt disgusting. Like a lot of the parts, like I remember fighting Brock, and I was like, this is not good. And even fighting like Pikachu in the beginning was like kind of weird. Yeah, I think that's right when. Um, Matt said, "Oh, that's minus attack." Yeah, you can definitely like, just tell. When I saw your your damage roll on on the first hit there, I'm like, "Yep, that's that's a minus attack Eevee right there." <laughs> okay, uh, I have one shout out in this run. Okay, shout outs to our uh, to Ekans for spawning before Cerulean. Because if I didn't have that, I would have been destroyed. It would have been awful. You are not the only one that has an Ekans to shout out for this race. Uh, Let's just yeah, say that uh, there's a shiny in the works. Oh um, my! Another shiny. There yeah. were two that, in this race. Ryan, Ryan <laughs> no shiny Arbok in this Zeon party right now. got uh, an, Ar an Ekans like, oh, was it? Route was three. It, it was the second Ekans. Three. The second Ekans on the route three that he yeah, got. Yeah, so he yeah. caught an Ekans already, and then he found a shiny. And then he found a second one and caught it because of course you had oh to. My and God. then he he evolved it into an Arbok, uh, oh and it's in God. his party right now. Um, Wait, so. Inches. You, if you want to pull up the the stream for the for the rest of the stuff, you're, you're welcome to. Um, yeah, for King sure. Car just King Car just opened up uh, Lance. Uh, oh, we're nice. looking at the right now, and uh, Zeon's at rival five. All right, all right. I want to see this Arbuck in action. Coming up on the end should be pretty quick. Another five minutes, maybe. Looks like King Par is going to go full one C for this one, which makes a lot of sense. His um his star was very good. Um, oh yeah, my, my my star felt really weak. I had a lot of parts. It is. Being, that's why, uh, that's why I was like, I'm gonna grab another. Was a little, little low, a little low in the special attack stat. 
I yeah. think um, very, very close to minimum. Not quite minimum, but very close. Oh, that's awful. It, I just feel yeah. it. <laughs> you just feel it in the in the tax. You're like, oh, this should be doing more. You you got through it though. Um, safe strats in the end game were not a bad call at all for that kind of star. Yeah, definitely want to learn a lot more of the advanced strats because I haven't been really. I've only just been sucking to the beginner strats, but like, mm -hmm. gotta know when to when deviate and do other stuff because you know. It's it's a tough call. Like we were talking during the race about how um, the, there's the the problem where you have the the wiggly tough to sack and the graveler to to boom. Um, when mm -hmm. you're doing the, the hideout section, which means you're just losing a bunch of party slots where you could be evolving stuff. Exactly, um, yes. Which is the reason that I, I just switched off of beginner notes for that reason. Mm -hmm. um, the, like, you can go through and, and get to, like, about the 310 range with the beginner notes, but boy, is it just, like, kind of sweaty in mid-game. And yeah, it's definitely. not fun. It did definitely help you uh, kind of throughout the run, though, because having, like, when you're minus attack EV or your very low special attack Starmie, it becomes bit like the beginner notes do play it very safe and that helps when you're when you've got kind of not quite as good Pokemon to roll with. Yeah, definitely. So I mean this it, this this, yeah. this is like the first Pokemon game I ran and it's like I was wondering what the big difference was between this and running an running another RPG. And it's definitely just like looking at your stats and like knowing your backups and knowing exactly what when you can exactly kill this enemy, yep. like it's it's a very interesting. I that's one thing I did not know when I was getting into this. Every run's a little bit different, and it's it's cool for better or worse. Like maybe there's a lot of worse when when you get a lot of bad luck in a row. But uh... <laughs> true. Oh, Mizion forgot to repel. Oh no. Oh, I'm um, hopefully we'll notice. Mm. Hell yeah. Surely he'll notice no now. Noticed right now, right? Zeon is listening. <laughs> Uh, did he not buy match repels in the sapphire um, shop? Maybe. I feel like uh, probably maybe should have. Just, yeah, maybe he just didn't. We'll find out real soon. Right. We've got King, King Par coming up on the very King end. Coming up on champ. Right into champ. Let's see. Um, did King Par withdraw a bug, or is the star just gonna have to do it by itself? He is going I don't solo. I think he withdrew anything. Okay. Yeah. Solo it is. He's going one C. That's the normal strat, right? You would say for like. Yeah, that's like the yeah. the normal advanced. Like, there's a lot of racers even in like that have really good times uh, on the leaderboard that are still mm. doing safe strats for for Lance because they just don't want to deal with crits, and I oh, don't yeah. blame them because I've seen so many runs die to Lance and Pidgeot, just too many. What's um? I, what are the I odds? Had PBs die to Lance crits. It's is one in Air eight, Slash. I Air Slash is high crit, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's a high crit. Yeah, one so in eight, one in eight. It's one in eight, and you take um, several oh. air slashes, and it only has a 5% chance to miss. Yeah, there were max repels. Xeon um, just forgot. Uh, I forget what X his attack we were on. I think we, you only set up. We were oh, on you set up three for. Uh, yeah, we set up. Three for Pika, team. yes. Yeah. So I think he's just remembering. I think you heal here. Well, risky. You're only oh, risky. The oh, the dodge! The dodge! We got it here, Bazajin. And that's, should be in the clip. Hope, wow. that's hopefully through. <laughs> that's hopefully through. Uh, just can't misclick, obviously. So at plus four, he should be should be safe to just psychic through everything here. What about the Jolteon? Is he plus four or plus six? That's the question. I I didn't. I wasn't quite sure. He's plus six because he uh, he dodged on the uh, the plus six. Ah, setup. okay, okay, cool. Then we're fine. If this not, is and if thing. not, we're gonna find out here. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's, fine. Is fine. Far it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Is killing. Zion hit the hairline now. That's Naomi, actually. That's okay. Naomi. Yeah. Right <laughs> they look the same. Right. They look the right same. Right corner trainer type wrong name. Yeah. No, I knew it was the one on the first floor. I just switched the names wrong. 
Yeah, Carolyn um, was nice to most of the competitors, well, the two competitors we've seen so far today. But Thank Carolyn goodness. has not been, Carolyn has not been nice this round of the tournament Carolyn so is, far. Carolyn has not been kind to the advanced winners. <laughs> Certainly not. Jeez. And that's the slow bro. GG King Par. Yep, King Par gonna be finishing with what, three? 338 looks like. Yep. They're at three, maybe 337 barely with the good mash. Maybe. Got a mash. Mash like the wind. Mashing is a skill, I promise. Yep. With uh, with only one poke, he should be three thirty high three thirty seven. Oh, that's true. There's only one poke. Yeah. yeah. Zeon's got what three fights left in here? Five, eight. Three plus five is eight, right? Yeah. Zeon Ze uh, Zeon's got about twenty minutes of run left, so he should still be sub five uh, sub four hour. Yeah, yeah, this he, should be pretty on, okay depending from on, here. Depending on, uh, what depending on Alexa. To use. Yeah. And that's, um, according to race time, 3.37.57 for King Par. So GG's King Par. Probably be getting him in here in a bit. Wanting to stretch his legs, grab a drink, or go to the bathroom. These are these are this is a long run. Yeah, exactly. This the is moment a long run. Like, I was feeling is... it during before Elite Four. I was like, I have to use the bathroom so badly right now, but I I'm, gotta. I'm getting pretty smart. I'm getting meepy. I don't know about you. I mean, it's it's one o'clock in the morning for me right now, so <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely oh, really? getting sleepy. Oh, I I'm only at eleven o'clock almost. Oh no, Zeon! Oh no! Oh, okay, no. eight fights after this. Or eight fights starting well, now. Now I get to learn what this trainer has. I've hit him before and I don't remember, so... I hit Mon Lee. And I can guess what's next. It's probably hit Mon Lee, hit Mon Chan. Oh, well, I think we have a King Par in the chat. Hello! GG's! Hello! Hello! Thank you, thank you. How you feeling out there, bro? It took a lot of effort on my part to just not give up on that. <laughs> you, you pushed through, and that's I mean, pretty awesome. It was. Oh. Uh, I mean, you were able to recover, like, pretty all right, given how, like, given how bad the the pony situation. Everything. It was. It, it was. It was really just on me. My head was. Day. That that happens oh. sometimes. These are long runs. Um. And yeah, unfortunately, it looks like that that pony happened after the lure ran out, or something to that effect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was like, "Ah, oh, crap! That wasn't lured." Yeah, we we definitely think you made the right call though. Switching to Arcanine, just yeah. um, the rival five decided not to work out for you. Yeah, I probably should have healed. Uh, Arcanine, and I thought about it. Up, briefly. You caught up pretty well after the early game. You had some experience troubles with Pika. It was experience was really low, but you were able to kind of bring it. Uh, bring it back to the point that's like was not the biggest deal. You made up some. Yeah, bad. I had some bad some bad catches all throughout for the most part, so that definitely affected it. Uh, having to do Nugget Bridge early always sucks, but you know we bring it. We try to do what we can. You you, you and uh, 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 Vermilion were kind of neck and neck there for for a good chunk of time there. Um, where you were only like a fight or two behind, and to to me it just seemed like the uh, the the miss lure on the the pony kind of cost you quite a bit because you got it almost seemed like you got a little fluster. What what happened there? Uh, Do you know how to do this pass? We're gonna find it. Honestly, okay. I don't know how to play without a pony. <laughs> so I wasn't really entirely oh, sure what to do. Okay, <laughs> you know what? Zeon did it. The um. The, the brute force way that worked though so he's through alexa skip um yeah. and he's just gonna remount it and try to not hit colby get to, get to the the big bigger screen for here all right mm -hmm. i know what Zeon is doing right now and that is double checking the notes to make sure he talks to the right trainer good Yep. Not and, a bad we've, all, idea. we've all been there. We've all been there. 
You don't want to fight Colby. Not at all. Is that busted? Yeah, that one. Colby has an electrode. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not good. Um, Echi recently lost um, a world record pace run to, to Colby, so. Oh, man. So that's not it. You thought the, you thought, you thought the Colby from that far? Oh, you haven't seen the screenshot. Let me go get it. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Hopefully, let me scroll back up. Let me scroll up and find it. Hey, Zeon got nice Caroline today. Oh, that's good. I, Caroline's been nice today. That's we call her on a visit. This is the nicest we've seen Caroline all week. I think I can post this in the stream chat. I, I hope. Yeah, you did. Let really? Me, from it, that far? From that angle, he talks about What? <laughs> I, put it, I put it in Twitch chat as well. It's um, a total disaster. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. So that's why everyone, um, if you watch the runners from the last few races, they all talk to Carolyn from above. Uh, yeah. I will always do that from now on, though. That is, that is not <laughs> that scary. It's horrifying. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you that are curious, you can click that link there and see the picture. And yeah, it just, it was not nice. No, no. That's why we've been uh, talking about Carolyn this whole time in Colby. Zeon doing the 20 pushes, and then one more fight in Victory Road. Has anyone talked to Eve Colby this whole tournament? Not in out. the tur not in a race. No, right. thankfully. Thank goodness. He's getting a workout, and then all we got left here is uh, Dawson for Victory Road Trainers. Yeah, this is still pro possibly sub four. Could be uh, if um, everything goes well. Uh, it'll this, be really close. With this star me, and I'm sure he's probably gonna have Arbok as his two C for. Yeah, as it might long not quite can. sub four actually. It'll probably be uh, probably be a couple minutes over so or over four. Yeah, but um, a couple of rough things happened there. Um, for for the benefit of the other racers, uh, Zeon caught a snake, uh, and then a shiny snake, and um, evolved that snake and kept it in the party for the whole run. Um, caught a Kangaskhan, caught a Dodrio, and um, I think there was something else that was rather interesting. I love how uh, Zeon decided to get another one because they're like, you know what? I really want this. Because there was Caterpie because he was the experience. Got yes. Yeah, he got two uh, we didn't get Pika. And very content branded. Very content. It's been it's been quite the race. I didn't even know King's Kong can spawn there. In Rock Tunnel it can and uh caught it. So it's a one percent spawn in Rock Tunnel. Oh really? Is it is, is Trimander rare or not? Unobtainable speed it is. Runner. Wow. See if he picks up the full restore. He is, but he might just be doing that out of habit. We'll see. Which is a I'm good not... habit to have if you're yeah. if you're planning on learning this, you know, continuing with this run, having that habit of picking up that full restore is, is uh, a good thing to have. I'm also not sure if the beginner notes actually have Agatha strats in them. They might not. I think they do. It's just yeah, they they do depending on if you actually don't get glare. The beginner notes do not have the 2C Agatha strats, uh, oh, they don't, which is what uh, I was looking for. They oh, don't yeah. have the full 2C, the ones, just only the ones where if you're in a bad situation, call for help. Yes, they only have it if, 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 you, um, if you're in trouble on Golbat, is when they ask you to call for help. Um, yeah, there's a there's a 2C strat that um, eti etiquette developed, and then I wrote down, because I wanted to use it, um, that involves either withdrawing a bird or a fish, and using that as your 2C partner through Agatha, um, it means you don't have to menu between um, Agatha and Lance. 
uh, and it just makes the whole fight much safer. Interesting. I did add those notes into my my version of the bigger bigger notes myself. Yeah, I have it in mine as well. Um, all my all my stuff is race safe at the moment for obvious reasons. Yeah. Is um this uh the last race for the fam? Uh no, there are, there no, are quite a few races. Like, there is a lot of races left. There's oh, three really? on Saturday. There's oh there's really? Most, wow. most of the lower left. pot races, or most of the lower bracket races, yeah. have, have left to be done. There's um, um one, four two, lower, three, four. Four lower, two upper. Four oh. lower, two upper. Yep. Yeah, because most of the upper races were done last week because of uh, cardboard clash this week uh, that Etchy is hosting. Yeah, that, which uh, will be fun. I wish tomorrow. I could watch. I wish I could watch all of it. But, uh, oops. You know it's been a run for Zeon when he doesn't have to scroll um, to get to his special attacks. That's how many status heals he's used. That's, uh... Yeah, he's he's had a run today. It's been a run, but he's going to finish it. Um, I have faith. I think this is going to work. He's he's gonna finish it. He's, he might still get sub sub four. Yeah, and we need to remember that um, he's the real winner because he got the shiny Ekans and ran it the entire time. Yeah, I did. Do you have shiny Ekans? You know, I don't have a shiny Ekans. He, he traveled with the outside of the Pokemon for most of the run. <laughs> yep, it was the little noodle, little green noodle falling around the whole run. It was this round's bell sprout. Sounds like a victory to me. <laughs> Sounds like sounds like a day well spent. Like you go to sleep tonight, you, like you no, know he's gonna be like, man, did I do some good? I did. Remember that Ekans? He's gonna be like, I did good today. Exactly. Did it's like I, I had a good run. I have an Ekans that evolved into a shiny Arbok. All good things. Biggest con as well. It's last last of Ice Mommy today. Last of Lorelei. Now we just go through, uh, go through and fight the Bruno all the way through to Champ. The EPB hidden, but we're almost there. And Bruno's not too much to worry about, really. Things don't really get scary until Agatha. Agatha's terrifying. Yeah, I noticed it was the only one you saved for. I saved I saved for um all the other fights after that, because like if you're gonna leave four, you might as well like, you know, save. Yeah, that's default. a good point too. You might as well like, you're saving for Agatha, it's like you die on the other ones, you don't wanna go back to Agatha. Exactly, yeah. Uh... My, my cat has arrived to tell me he wants to go to bed, so I'm not leaving, but I just wanted you all to know he's here. Thank you, thank you. No, no, no. <laughs> cat. It's, um, it's getting late. It's not as late as it is for Trubs, but... Where's Zeon from? I'm curious. You guys know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. And my cat is also yelling at me that time it's time to, to check. Fork <laughs> He does the have a leaderboard now. there. He's on the leaderboard. My cat was yelling at me that it's time for bed three hours ago, because that's what I usually put in bed. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah, he's from paint. Illinois. No need. No faint. No faint. Sad. This could have been twenty three dollars. Is it whoever gets fainted on uh, gets twenty bucks? There is a uh, 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 bounty for the first person that gets faint from Bruno. <laughs> really? That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Apparently, only four runners have seen it ever. That we're aware of. Ah, well, yes. But also, there was the secret bounty. I don't know if you heard about that one earlier. The case by Coca Bounty, yeah. Yeah. What is it? 
Uh, uh, there's a secret bounty for the first person in the tournament to get kicked out of Koga's gym from not having all 50 Pokemon. Oh, I was no. afraid that was going to be me today. It, well, it was claimed by Poke Guy last round, so... Oh, yeah. I would have done it. Would, you would have done it. <laughs> Do it and then just it wasn't a digital Vulcans. bounty. Yeah. It was, it was a secret one, so no one knew it was a thing. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> that because it, it like make sure like people don't like just actively do it. Look yeah. at that right. look at that swag Arbok in all his glory. That is it, that is a swag Arbok for sure. <laughs> just saw it. Good old swag bok. Has anyone ever gotten Bug? a shiny a shiny star on a run? I hope not, because that would be so much time loss. I did actually. Nobody did. Oh my goodness. I did. a couple of them. How much time I got do you lose? I... It, like two seconds every time you send it out into battle. Yeah. Oh, no. Probably more than two seconds. That's cool. Yeah, I got That's a shiny a star on my first run, actually. Oh my goodness. That's wild. Know, uh, What's gonna curse? I know shiny Rapidash costs like a, about a minute or so for all That's the times you send it out. Looks so cool, though. It does that look cool, true. but it's not worth a minute of time loss. <laughs> yeah, it depends I don't on really how just... bad the run is. Maybe it's a maybe it's a subpar run and it's worth it to just have it be cool instead of bad. I normally just wave at the shiny as I run by it. Oh my chat. Hey chat, just wave and say hello to the shiny as we go by it. That's the classic Pokemon speedrunner response to seeing a shiny. Until you get a shiny store last. <laughs> And you're like, no, you, I throwing, I'm throwing everything in the bin for this. Then you buckle down and you go after that. <laughs> what are the chances of catching uh, Snorlax with double ultras? Uh, double ultras? Um, it's not great. <laughs> it's still really bad. Not worth it. It. Took, it, took, it took two tries for me to get it with double ultras. But it looks cool though. I think it's gonna be. Alright, Xeon through Agatha. Easy game. And for the 2C strats, you'll um you'll actually dismiss here. Um for for Lance and then summon it on the second turn. Uh level, I think it was like 36 at this point or something like that. The Arbok? Yeah, it's been in the party since Route 3. <laughs> How much residual? The HP real partner. EXP. Yeah, Arbok's yeah. been with us more than any, any either of the other two. <laughs> yeah, true, it's outlasted the Eevee. It's so sad to hear, but also pretty cool. Arbok alt main runs? 34. 34, okay. And, uh, Zion caught, caught the the Ekans at, like, level 5? Something like Probably. that. Yeah, Route 3, mm -hmm. I don't know what it was. I, I can't four, remember. Um... Yeah. Isn't there, like, also another Ekans in the, in the box as well? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. That, that, that's the not loved one, sadly. Well, it, it was gonna be loved, and then the shiny showed up, so. Sad. Cool. <laughs> Cooler thing. True, true. Lance is about good from here. It's kind of. I don't think he's gonna have a range on the Dragonite, right? Because he's gonna be like double X, X specking. Um, I I can't remember if you go to plus six and it's still a range on the Dragonite or not. Um, or if it's just a range if you're less than um, one forty. But uh, Zeon is actually level fifty four, which I think changes a lot of that math. Okay. I unfortunately am not super familiar with the range because it just it doesn't even say that there's a range on the beginner notes. Yeah, the beginner notes just say, uh, just go to plus six. So I'm not actually sure if it's a range or not. Um but I hear a lot of um top and runners being like, ah yes, you need to be one forty special attack. Otherwise it's a range. 
then I'm a beginner note pleb who's been using this 2C for like the entire time I've run, the, run it and it's like, ah, it just says to go to plus six and uh, psychic. So that's what I do. That's exactly how I feel too. I'm just like, I look at it and I'm like, well, I'm that we're 100% doing that. Even yep. though like- That's 100% what I do. <laughs> I'm glad we're all on the same page. <laughs> I just went one seed this time because I mean, I had nothing to lose and I didn't have a rapid dash. <laughs> and you had a really good, um, you had a really good star. So you were able yeah, to- but... That's my star is taking on the world. All right, one go. more fight. One more fight. Sadly, though, Final not hitting the sub four hour mark. Not quite. Not unless this fight goes really, really fast. I know. I think. I think we're just. We gotta put out the airbox for funsies. At this Let's point, it's, it's mask out of the run. Hell yeah. It's the real prize. Like the friends we made along the way. This one specific friend, though. He's doing. Does he have 2C out still? Yes. Yes, you want it out if you're going to 2C champ. Um, the hope is that it dies. Um, whatever your second partner is. That way there's only one turn of you taking air slash. I wonder how that works though if... Uh... I would assume that the Arbok has low enough special defense that it should be targeted. Um, but I've noticed that it's kind of 50-50 even to hit the Dodrio um, that I tend to use. So, hard to say. Yeah, it should, it should go after the Arbok because it'll go for what's going to be the quote guaranteed kill. Mm-hmm. We will I, find out. Yeah. I'm not sure about the Arbok stats. I wouldn't think he, it's tanky, but... I just well, it's dead now. Yeah. Oh, 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 07 for the for the Arbok for oh, the last time. For Arbok. Yeah. Oh, oh no, the Rapid has, Ash is still in the party. Okay, actually, so that's a little, a little awkward. Yeah, it seems that can cause some problems. And it's just going to make things slower. Shouldn't be super problematic. Um, we'll be slow. Um, there might be some quick attacks. And... Should be, should be in the clear here. With Star Amigo Burr. Yeah, it's not about right. I mean, it's... Worst case scenario, like, it would still... Star would still need to get crit for something bad to really happen. Yeah, Starmy Star wouldn't get crit at this point because he's already uh, plus uh, plus two speed, so he's got outspeed yeah. everything. Yeah. This isn't and, uh, uh, there's no Jolteon. Nothing has priority. Yeah, he only has a Raichu. Oh no. To come into the end here. Again, I want to give a shout out to Leggy Star Starscream, who has been our tech tech support today. Um, we've done a fantastic job, got everybody up and running right off the bat uh, when we started having tech issues at the very beginning of the run. And uh, the scene is through to the end. Pokemon to go, and then we're then the Zeon is out of here. The new champion, new champ in the making. That guy's so supportive. A lot of people go around talking about their talking about their friends like that, let alone a complete stranger. Yo, champ in the making, future best best person ever at Pokemon. <laughs> what a guy. Um he just doesn't want Trace to do it. It's got something against this guy. GG Zion. Jeez. Yeah, GG's. Jeez. Jeez. You look in a uh, low 402, it looks like. I 
and and Cat is now yelling, standing on my knee, yelling at me. I know it's all well, five more minutes. Mine is not is loafing on the floor, trying to tell me it's like, I, yeah, I it's late. Let's go. What are you doing? Loafing around. Well, she attacked my foot about an hour ago. That I really was trying hard not to yell into everybody's ears when she dug I'm the claw. Just, in I'm toe. glad I put on push to talk because I've I had a brief conversation with my cat when he started yelling at me a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> the Arbok is the champion. All is right in the world. Arbok is the champ. Arbok made it to the end. We'll see uh, if Ryan wants to come in here. Yeah, didn't didn't. I'm here. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. I was not trying to play around. I actually got lost, so I like to okay. yellow, and it's just muscle memory. And I started going yellow's route, and I caught it like. Three oh. Times. Okay. But yeah. All right. And then the Dodrio catch, because I wanted to say that I had four Dodrios on my screen. Nothing spawned. This <laughs> see. Spawns it happens. Four. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> I got three chances. I'm like, come on. I need something else. I need a duck. For sure. Uh, Zeon, do you want to just dot done in race time? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me go ahead and fix that. How'd you, how do you feel about your uh, about your run outside of those those few things there today, I, Zion? It was really fun. So, I think it got brought up. My PB, I used to run this game. I ran it when it first came out, and I never broke the 340 barrier. Because I lost three runs in a row to champion that were on that, so I just kind of stopped. And I think that for not playing it in that long and the strategy changing, it was really good overall. Like coming back, especially considering I haven't had much time to practice with work. My work's been crazy, so I haven't done any practice since the last, well, the first race of this tournament. But I think it's right. good for it. We we hope you we hope you continue running the game. Uh, we hope that all you guys continue running the game. I'll definitely be doing runs in some spare time in between other games that I like to try to learn or play. Yeah, I'll definitely keep running this game. It's really fun. Just uh, there's a lot of things I love learning. Improving in this game feels so good, honestly. I agree with that. I want to keep running this game. It's just time's my only constraint right now. And this run feel was that. really bad with that. My son is still awake and he kept like moving me. I made so many mistakes. I hit two optionals because I smacked my controller. Oh, no. <laughs> but I mean, that's the good thing. It's just time save. You know, I, I really enjoy this game. And a big shout out to Kid because if Kid would not have told me to bring up this tournament, I would not have entered. But I've had a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. been a super fun tournament so far. This this was really fun to commentate. Yeah, it's yeah, a really I fun love, game for sure. I love how we're getting to the point where we're getting races where they're they're all people that are very similar in terms of skill level for the most part. So the races are very close for you know through at least three quarters, if not the entire race. And um, I'm really looking forward to see more of that coming up here. Um, Going to be some real nail biters in the third round onwards. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, I believe we've got what uh, r uh, race tomorrow. Uh, I have it up. If we want to, yeah, one... we want to talk about that. We have Spider versus Pengi versus Nucle Nuclear uh, tomorrow at six thirty Eastern. Uh, and we've got, uh, and then we've got our tech person for today, Leggy Starscream versus Zimlick on the seventh. That's Friday at 7 Eastern time. And then, and then J, J Tattle Sheep in, versus Drywall on Saturday at noon Eastern as well. But that's not the only run on Saturday. Um, yeah, Saturday's at, got its whole set of runs. At 4.30 Eastern, um, there's a race between Furist and, I don't know, somebody else. Um, and then um, uh, at, what is that, 8 o'clock? Uh, Dynam versus Headbob versus Sijay. Uh And then on sa on Sunday is the last race of round two. Wave Warrior versus Triv versus Quill. I think there's also another one that's not on my schedule yet. Razor versus Rigby. 
Um, that may also be happening on the seventh. I'm not sure yet. I don't think that's been confirmed. Yeah, they're they're still working on uh, hashing out the details for that. Yeah, so that'll be coming up um, soon as well. So lots of let's go over the next few days, particularly on Saturday. Yeah, make sure yeah, you're and... following uh, PS PSR TV too. To or I think they're really spread out enough that they might not need to do that. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see they, they, they may elect to go on a PSR TV too. It depends. But yeah, Pokemon Speedruns TV this channel and Pokemon Speedruns TV too. Uh, keep an eye on those and keep an eye on the pings in the Discord if you're in the Discord. Uh, but other than that, I think I think we're good. It's been quite the night. Yeah, and don't go away because we've got a person who is actually one of the people we just mentioned here a moment ago. They are doing some practice runs. Uh that we're going to go ahead, I'm going to try and get us to raid on over to. So, uh, if you're in the, uh, uh, there's a Razor's Edge. So oh, we, got? we got Razor who's doing some practice runs. It looks like he's in the middle oh, of uh, Viridian Forest, so that he is just getting started for the night. So oh, if boy. You wanna... Go ahead and send the raid on over. Uh, Leggy, I put the name in there. Hopefully somebody still awake can raid. I'm not sure Hopefully. which mo which Hopefully. mods in the channel have those privileges. Leggy can't, oh no. Uh, Leggy can't raid, oh no. Who, who of our mods uh, can raid? Well... We used to it might just be a good night. Then. We'll just do a manual raid like we used to do. Um, that. We'll raid Razor's Edge 7. Uh, I put the link yes. in the Twitch chat. Everybody go there and say hello. Everybody go say hello. It's a PSR raid. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's the raid. There we are. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you uh, not the same bat time and hopefully the same bat channel. You guys yeah. all have a good night.